All right, chat. You remember these are the splits. So also, it's the NES, not the SNES. Also, no, we're not doing Nightmare on Elm Street again. If we beat the game, we're not going back to it. Chat. Yesterday, we ended up starting with Silent Hill 2, and we made our way through Outlast, Fatal Frame, Resident Evil 1 Remake, Nightmare on Elm Street, Spooky Jumpscare Mansion, and Bioshock. We actually did do a couple runs of Haunting Ground. However, there's a problem here. Um, Haunting Ground actually crashed. It died on the first run, which that's fine enough. You know, bad RNG, but we'll take it. But the second run crashed. It just crashed on me. I've never had that happen. Which was wild, all things considered. So. Uh, yeah. Oh, I'm not Paul McCartney. Uh, I'm definitely hoping Haunting on go well today, but before we get into that, how about we talk about what we're going to be doing today, chat? The games we got going on today, we started with Haunting Ground. Uh, funny enough, um, someone act, uh, we just mentioned, who was it? Um, Baby Bigfoot, you asked about it. After Freddy, Freddy was definitely the worst one so far, I'd say. However, I don't think it's gonna be the worst one in general. Because right after Haunting Ground, we have Corpse Party. Uh, infamously, Corpse Party is probably one of the meanest games on this list, because I just don't remember it as well as a lot of other games. Even having, like, I wrote down my splits just so I can have some semblance of notes. Even with that, it's gonna be hard. However, after Corpse Party, it does get a lot easier. So we just have to pass this one hump, and I think we'll be golden for the day. Because we're gonna be having, you know, a lot of meme games. We have like four short games. The tension's pretty easy. Um, we'll have uh, Alan Wake, which is longer, but that'll be fine. You don't live in the channel for eight months. Enjoy uh, the emotes and the citizen. Thank you, hope you're doing good today. Also, cheers. Uh, as well, after Alan Wake, we'll probably lead to Silent Hill. In total, let's see, I'll probably like one hour, like three hours. I'll just say about 20 minutes, probably, or maybe like 30 minutes. So, they'd like, say three and a half hours, uh, four and a half hours, about seven hours, eight hours. Uh, we're probably gonna end around, I'm guessing, Silent Hill or Night Before Christmas. It really depends on how it all goes. It's kind of hard to say. But yeah, funny enough, chat. So, this is gonna be the way it goes as well. For longer games, I'm going to be looking ahead because it's not going to make sense to put longer games on the boat if they're coming up. So with longer games, I'll be having them be done earlier. However, if they come up naturally, they come up naturally. Like, I'm not going to stop a long game from getting ran if it comes up naturally. So Alan Wake actually is pretty long, but it's coming up, like, in the actual routine. So it doesn't make sense to put it on voting. Um, and then, um, I haven't drafted beyond the Ring Towers Realm yet, just because, I mean, we have the end here. But we have a few empty spaces. Um... We're, we're probably going to be ending today's stream around one of these two. And in fact, we'll probably have to jump afterward. Uh, after this, we'll probably be putting a couple long games underneath here. So luckily, we'll be good for a bit. Uh, anyway, without further ado, how about we hop into today's game of Haunting Ground, shall we? Well, let's see, huh? Anyway, chat. Let's go into Haunting Ground again. So we shall see. And go. Alrighty, start of the night. Yep, we just started Metal Man. Uh, we're getting day three of our marathon. And I've done 19 hours of game so far. I'm definitely hoping that maybe, uh, you know, there's one haunting on go without a hitch. I, I did mention as well that I'm not going to be going for like a record time during this run. I think what I'm going to do is once you get to the Daniela boss fight, I'm going to save. Although, technically, I should save maybe a Debilitus, but. Nah, I'll save Daniela. I really need to eat my words again. Chat can laugh at me. But it's been really fun just seeing how uh, we've been going with all this, huh? That was an FA. Also, uh, in terms of category chat, uh, we are doing New Game Plus Ending A. So. Well, saving's a double effect, Manicore. For one, I'm saving it before a couple ones. Um, what's the word? I kind of don't have any backup saves at all. And, you know, you are you are allowed to make saves during a run. It just also means it's not going to be faster. But it'll be nice to have it for future. Like, if I ever need a, a backup, it would be nice. Wondering how you ever handle Corpse 31st, if ever. What do you mean? Like, if I had to run Corpse 31st, it wouldn't be any different. Haunting Ground quite literally is only first today because uh, it bugged out yesterday. If Haunting Ground finished yesterday, Corpse Party would have been first today. 
And Course Party is going to scare the shit out of me. It's not a hard game, but the memory for that game just doesn't stick with me. Oh, yeah. Uh, course Party would have been first. Yeah, I'm going in, like, I, I mention the order every time. Did I pull a list somewhere? It's pretty much my exclamation mark speed run. Uh, for order, I don't have a list because I don't really have a good way of doing that yet. But it's literally just my speedrun.com page plus a few games I haven't don't quite have on there. Candy Tamer. Thank you for the tier one. For eight months. Enjoy the emotes and the scissors. Curious. What's your lease of alert from? Uh, well, it's uh, original animation, but the audio is from the thing. There we go. Tell me you're doing it today, Candy Tamer. That's where it's from. Oh, it's been getting ready to split. But, uh, yeah. I know the songs are on some entire frame rate. Nope. This is the same haunting ground. From what? The thing. That wasn't scanned. You'll be doing good. Kick. And had that way for a while, so. Um, well, I am. Thank you for the follow, by the way. Alright, good stuff. The system is on PS2. This is a PS2 game. But I'm on PS3. But nah, uh, it's controlling about the same as it normally does, Mason. And hopefully we should be good. Even if we'll be doing good. Chat, I got my chicken yesterday, by the way. I want to start on that saga. I did get my chicken. However, is it remastered at all? I am playing on my PS3, but um, no, it just... Probably just HD output, that's about it. A balanced Capcom game. Nice. Although, chat, you know what's wild? So I was driving home, uh, like, you know, I guess I was driving either on my, I don't remember if I was on my way to chicken or, I, th I think I was just, like, on my way for chicken. I was driving to the chicken shop, right? I'm sitting at an intersection. Light turns red. I brake. The car next to me is also, like, stopped. And I see a car just, like, you know, start driving on the other end. No, this is Capcom. I just said it. it's a Capcom game. And as this, as the, like, you know, the, the car is turning going and going across the intersection normally, the guy next to me just drives. It, like, it's a red light. He's stopped. He, he just drives forward. And it just. He T bones the guy. What the fuck? Damn. Is guy's problem? I have no idea. Like, luckily, I, I drove past. The guy looked like he, uh, you know, the guy got T-boned. Uh, looked like he was okay, but, like... I was just kind of, like... Huh. Oh, a yellow? I, well, I, no, 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 it was a red light. And I was, like, chilling. The guy next to me just went forward and, like, went in the guy. We didn't finish something. It crashed! It literally crashed! I hit him under influence or sober. It was like 11 a.m. Like 10 a.m. What's chicken shop? I went to Jollibee. I was chicken joy, yeah. That was a Mandalore. A few beers deep. Yeah, maybe it was just on his phone, but like, it was just trippy to see. I was like the Falcon. I like how Hugh is already being a piece of shit. Alright, there you go. Good job. Go, Huey. Go, Huey. You never know. I'm just it was definitely um I don't know, I guess I feel pretty lucky, all things considered. Huey. Go. That makes sense. Say it's because you've seen it before. That's tired. Uh, I'm pretty sure the guy was on his phone. 
No, I know the guy didn't do it on purpose. He got out of the car to check on him and everything. It just, uh, you know... It's still a very sobering thing to see, I suppose. Mr. Out of Luck, they the Prime Gaming for 13 months. No. Come on. Enjoy the emotes and the series, and thank you very much. Hope you're doing good. Come on. Oh, absolutely breaking views. Absolutely. Have an apology to give? I don't know what happened after that, because I went to the chicken shop. You know what? Chicken was good, Chad. I got a spicy chicken sandwich, and I got, uh, like, one, one chicken. And some double rice. And I got coffees again, so. Coffee man. Come on, I'm at coffees again. Hmm. Whoa, where, where are you? Uh, hold on, that's a bomb? It is! Cute. Maybe they're tired? I it was like it was like 10 a.m. I did, my son. I don't follow I play Falcon. What? That's not really a. I guess hi then. I suppose. I want one. They're good. Ink out four years after Sonal Two. Also has nothing to do with Sonal Two. This relates to the Clock Tower franchise. I in Resident Evil. No, I went to Jolly Beach yet. The Tangerine Raid, Ms. Scarlet Tanger. I'm assuming it's because it's either Haunted Ground or you've really been uh, happy with the endeavor we've been going on. But thank you for the raid. Hope you had a good time. Uh, how's it going, Ms. Scarlet? Uh, McLeay, Dragon Blade, welcome Raiders. I am McDysis. I did a lot of spooky games. I hope you had a fun stream today. Uh, how's it going? Uh, Luca does a kill again. We do. We do. Also, give me one moment, Silence. I'll get the lights for you. And yeah, Haunted Ground ended up dying. I got the game. By the way, the game was having issues. I'm thinking it like it may have also been a problem with my capture card. Like, I have no idea. Is meme Jessica here? If she is, she's probably sleeping. She normally sleep around this time because it's just early hours for work. Uh, hold on. Having some issues today. Hey, what the fuck? Um, might be issues on the lights. It's not quite working. I might need to refund you. It could be because I have too many, uh, too much clothes on my bed. I, you know, I, I don't have much of, like, just clothes on the foot of my bed. So I might need to refund you, Silent. I can't quite get it. I can try and drain the ladders. Let me try again during the ladders. Nope. Oh, wait, wrong button. Probably had a good stream. Oh, but it was good, Miss Scarlet. Oh, yeah. Let's see. There we go. Got it. We good. I had to, like, back up for that. Good timing on that. And then, chat. How fast can I type one-handed? Oh, hold on. I'm gonna have one handed. I played a lot of video games in my time. Hope you had a good stream, Miss Scarlet. But yeah, I kind of gave the, uh, the the briefing of the day. Uh, we have some fun games coming up. The one I'm worried about today, I'll say right now, I'm really worried about it. I am extremely worried about Course Party. I think Course Party might be one of the hardest games we do. Like, it's not even a hard game per se, it's just. My memory of that game really doesn't exist like many other games do. Because I never actually played Corpse Party casually. And it's not like Outlast, you just jump into a bush and you know where you're going immediately. Like, it's a whole ass fucking game to memorize that I have no context for. Hey, right, thank you. Nice day for the run. I, wa I, I didn't do too much. Most I have is I just 
took I, I took my actual splits and I have them like from what you know what it's written down. Where is asshole dog? There he is, okay. Or sorry, has RNG? No, actually. It's just one of those games that has a very, uh, very mean like, knowledge curve. Would it be harder than Elm Street? In a different way, it could be. Like, for what it's worth, I'm on Elm Street, I know what to do. I just don't know how to do it well. No. For course party, Come on. doing is very easy. It's more, do I know what to do? Come on. It's kind of the inverse of, uh, it's the inverse of Elm Street entirely. Hi, Johnny. Like, that's kind of funny when you have difficulty in two different ways, and it really is. Is sheer difficulty of, like, execution harder, or is knowing what to do harder? And I know what you're thinking, well, you know, you can take better notes, but, like, admittedly at a point, like, the only way you're going to fully develop those notes is by doing it. And you can make the wrong option is wrong? Wait, what, what do you mean, Lizzie? You mean, like, making the wrong option and then just, like, going back to the good option? Oh, no, if you make the wrong option, you die. That's the problem with the course party. Any mistakes are, are death. You just die if you make the wrong choice. The wrong as well? Yeah. So, we'll have to see. Either way, it's one of the games I'm least looking forward to. Hold on. Got the fucker. Ew, it's on my hand. Whoa, that was a badass catch. Shit, you can't call me out. Can't say I'm not a badass. Look at that. Go, Huey. It's all fly in front of me. Go, Huey. I'm the main safety saves. I'm mine. I didn't start the speed run. Well, I mean, this run's really not going to be good, but at the very least, this actually works well for me uh, for future attempts of at Haunting Ground, because I'll finally have safety saves. But yeah, it's been a really fun endeavor. Uh, it's been one of the most fun stream ideas I've ever had, and I am glad I've been going with it. Go, Huey. That was DPR. That was gonna have a gal. Doo 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 doo. All right, good stuff. Good stuff right there, man. Good stuff, chat. Also, you ever just feel like things are different in your life? I was driving chat and I kind of realized something. I have a lot of, uh... I don't know. It feels like a change of seasons. If that makes sense. A little bit sailing. Yeah. Nice history lesson on games you love too. Fun for a catch up. Well, I realize I actually want to run Frambo again. Apparently, I don't hate Frambo now. Surprised enough, Unity version's a lot better for a speedrun because it's only four and a half. It's only four minutes of clicking and not eight. So I kind of like the Unity version a lot more. Rambo's top tier? Let's not go that far. The real question is, what do I think is the best game I've done so far? Because I said there's some 5 out of 5s, but what's the best one I've done? That's the question, Jack. Because I haven't been ranking the games, we haven't been talking about them. Rambo has not been the best one. The best speedrun we've probably done... Honestly... Homecoming. I think I'd probably rank Homecoming at the top. Sweet. Have you tried any game that you thought you'd love going back to and uh, then absolutely not? Yeah. 
Hey, four more hours? Oh, I'll be doing good insomnia. The master of Frambo. Between the two? Oh, well, I mean, Bloody Master is usually like, it comes up more frequently. Like, all right, I don't compare those two games with Tacular. Like, I know they can be compared, but like, I wasn't even the follow. Um, no, Home Port's not being done. No. I want to make sure, all right, so every game is getting its own attention. I think, I don't think it's fair to deviate and draw away attention from a game. Like, I don't want to do home pour in a lot of marathons because it takes away from both of the games and it becomes home pour. Downpour deserves its own mark and homecoming deserves its own mark. I think both of the games should be able to have their own merits to it, you know? As well, if anyone really wants to watch home pour, they can watch my YouTube video. Which will then give me a click, uh, it will give me a view, and it'll help support the YouTube channel, which maybe gives me more views on other videos. <sighs> yep. But, uh, God, uh, thinking about it so far. So far, really, the only game I hated, I'd probably say, is Elm Street and Silent Hill Arcade. Silent Hill Arcade, uh, God. You know what? For what it's worth, chat, I think the worst game we ran so far may have been Silent Hill Arcade. Like, Elm Street's... Uh, um, Elm Street. Elm Street's fucking shit, but, like, you know, admittedly, the game doesn't break around me. House of the Dead will be on the marathon, yeah. Uh, in fact, we'll be, do we'll be doing all of them, and I'll be adding in a bonus, Dev Man. Uh, I need to find out when, but uh, I'll be also adding in the remake. Because I actually have the original game working again, funny enough. I got it working again. I still have it. So that's the bonus. I, 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 I'm I testing it out. Yeah, exactly. Like, I'm, all right. Nightmare on Elm Street is a really weird thing. I will fully talk shit on it, and I think it's a painful experience. But, like... It's an NES game made by LJN. What did you expect? <sighs> like, it's trash, but like... Of course it's trash. It was never not going to be trash. Run LJN? I'm pretty sure the internet has done that for years. Typing the dead is actually, I think, sooner rather than later funny out of my son. If I learn typing, they had to wait for the others. Uh, no, Jason, I'll be doing good. And no, Dave, that no. But we'll take a look at all the games again. And I definitely want to like do a big review thing of every game afterward. <sighs> Who's the modern equivalent of LJN? Uh, every indie studio ever made. That's what I'd say, Kakun. I have downtown less uh more new time. Nice. I am glad that you're able to chill for a bit. It's always good stuff. What was I gonna say though? Oh wait. Yeah, so well I do consider Nightmare on should be one of the more rough games. I don't think it's gonna be the worst game, as weird as that sounds. Like, personally, I think the hardest game will be Alice Madness Returns. I, I fully, as, unless I decide just to, like, fucking... I mean, at the very least, it's a very generous game on its failure, but, like, it's gonna be rough. It's gonna be really rough. Are I finished, Alice? It's a fun game, but it's really long, and also there's a lot of tech in that game. As well, I can never figure out all the tech. So, it's gonna be a lot of me, uh, struggling through. Which, funny enough, even with me struggling through, like, I'm still doing all the speed tech, and it's still decently fast. It's just a really long game. I think world record in that game is, like, an hour 40 for, like, knowing what you're doing. That's for New Game Plus, too. Ah, then bloody fangs and trappers. How do you develop this? Alright, cool. Nice fight. Alright. 
Let's hope the game actually functions this time. Although, chat, I do have a question just to follow this up. So, let's assume we do all this without a hitch. It all works out. We got our thing going. Uh, how frequently do I do this? Like, I do want to mention, like, this is definitely an event-based thing, and I don't think you can do this every, like, every month or anything like that. I think it's, like, once a year max, right? Yeah, once a year max, I think. What's LJN? LJN's a game, uh, game dev, it's a game studio, back in the day for, uh, NES games. And they're, they famously made a lot of really jank, difficult NES titles. Yeah, annually makes sense. Maybe semi-annually? Maybe. I mean, that being said, I definitely like the idea of more event-based streams. That was that from? Clock Tower. We'll have to see, though. I think what ultimately I would love to do... Every month, I would like to have some kind of, like, event. I published? Either way, I was also associated with a lot of shit. Also, I guess the natural follow-up of this... Chat, the natural follow-up, I'm saying right now, obviously, no guarantees. But naturally, the follow-up to this marathon would be a marathon dedicated to learning new games. That'd be sweet. It could be. We're not doing Luigi's Mansion. I'm not doing any of the forbidden games. Except for Forbidden Memories, because that game is not a forbidden game. <laughs> I've already ran Luigi's Mansion in the past. We're not doing it again. The Forbidden Games are Wallace and Gromit, Luigi's Mansion, and Undertale. There's a few other games I don't really um, have on, like, you know, I also don't do, but, like, I'll break it down for you. Like... Why, wait, why is it forbidden, though? It's forbidden in the sense that I don't really have plans to do them again for one reason or another. Wallace and Gromit, uh, Chat can pay me $5,000. At least Nightmare on Elm Street was only a 15-minute game. Wallace and Gromit famously is a six-hour game. It does suck, Ray Cypher, and you have good taste. Uh, Luigi's Mansion, it really just goes down to... I don't actually hate running the game, but surprisingly enough... People who like watching Mario games don't like watching horror games. People who like watching horror games don't like watching Mario games. The, the two that really double dip with that are very few and far between. So I'm not going to need a viewership hit just so I can play a game that, uh, that a few people are asking for. And then Undertale admittedly is kind of in the weird area of... I don't really want to do it. I don't think Chad, it's kind of like Luigi's Mansion where I think it's the same area. Well, the problem as well, though, chat, is very often you want someone who's good at Mario games. You don't want someone who's struggling at those games. Uh, as well, out of those games, the only real one that has, I would say, a culture to it is Walsh and Gromit because of the fucking meme. Good boy. But also, it's because we have channel point memes for that. That's not judgy for Undertale. Well, no, just the speedrun's really not that entertaining. You just kill everything. Good boy. And then you fight Sans. And uh, most of the run is just fight Sans. Good boy. Come on. It's not 5k on the line. It's I get Good 5k boy. in general. Come on. Good boy. Come on. Correct. You're watching someone who's good at Mario games. You're not watching someone who's struggling with it and it usually is a jack of all trades. Good boy. I've tried doing it before, it's not a fun stream for me, so I'm not doing what we do's magic. Come on. You mean Faith? I, I yeah, I ran Faith.
death. Wait, why didn't your emos work? Oh, I think it's because of the uh, the cult. Let's see my colons. Are the colons? I'm sorry, Princess. I'll be doing good. How's it going, Roz? Why are you drunk, Roz? Why would you bully me? I've done nothing wrong. I've only done the best of things. As you can? I suppose that's fair. Oh, is it a good drunk or a bad drunk? I hope you're doing good. Sorry, Princess. Dead by Dale is a scourge of the earth? Yeah, it is. Yep, course party's gonna be a rough one. Come on. All right, Huey. There's such thing as a good drunk. Yeah, you got drunk because you wanted to have a good time. It's all the buzz. That was my right, Mister. Playing the 2021 remake? No, I'm probably playing the just the one that was on Steam. Probably the 2011 version of the game. I don't know jack shit about Course Party. That is some refresher course. I watched one run, and I hope to God it's gonna work. It probably won't. I don't know if I'm winning. Don't know. Anyway, chat, we're on game 17. Oh yeah, I don't know anything about Corpse Party. I don't want to know anything about Corpse Party either, really. At least not at the moment. It's kind of a weird game because I don't really have an association with that game outside of I sped ran it once. Or twice. Actually, I probably had 44 attempts in that game, so I've done more than just a few times. Oh no, Huey actively kills the run. He sucks, Flammer. I have learned this to YouTube. Well, uh, it's been two days since our... I'm on day three. And I just uploaded my run of Gregory Horror Show. As well, I don't have an easy way of transporting my VOD because my day one stream kind of just crashed. I also don't know if I want to do a, what kind of VOD dump I want to do. I don't know if I want to try, you know, highlighting it to like a extremely edited degree. Or I don't know if I want to just do a giant VOD dump. I'm thinking about a VOD dump because admittedly my YouTube is all VOD dumps. Come on. And uh, editing might take more work than I want to do. Here we, you fucking asshole. Stop it. You think of White Day? Yes, it is. Huey. That was your mail. Ah, uh, look at work, man. Of course. Thanks. Yeah. We'll have to see though, because I'm not too sure yet. Also, I don't really know what people want for that. I feel like editing it could be fun, but like, admittedly, it's gonna be hard to sift through everything. So it might be easier for me just to do the longer VOD dumps, which it should be easier after the first one because technically I could just do it on Twitch. There we go. For big boner time. Well, if you want that one, Mycin, you can literally vote for it. It's on the voting right now. Also, chat, can you do me a favor? For those of you in the Discord, can you just, like, I don't know, type the word pancakes in general? I'm trying to make sure we don't get in trouble on the Discord thing, so I need, like, people to type. You got me? Thank you. Pancakes? It could be literally anything, but yeah, pancakes works on discord yeah they have weird restrictions like oh if you don't yeah yeah you need, like in need activity and discord not on twitch chat that's an r which is going well yeah it's been alright. Let's see. Oh shit, I could play the ad here. Oh, I'll do it during after the older man sucking off a younger man, I think. Perfect.
Cash line pancakes here. I'm not gonna have any help here though. Yep. Uh, otherwise, uh, I know a lot of long games aren't gonna be happening for a while. I should also say that if Until Dawn wins, we do more sh uh, we do more longer games. I think, or we just add on to the games afterward. I'll probably just follow the games I have listed. I think on here maybe, but we'll see. I don't quite know how I want to do longer games entirely. It could be a ranked choice, possibly. But if Yu-Gi-Oh gets like, you know, wins, we're only doing that for the day. Because Yu-Gi-Oh is going to be one whole fucking sh Unless I really get a massive PB. Which at that point, I have to get immensely lucky to do that. Which, uh... I don't know how lucky I'm going to get on that one. Nice. Yeah, it's going good. We're on day three. I can't believe it, chat. I played 20 hours of game and I haven't even, like, I'm one tenth of the way done. And we've done about 20 hours of game. We're not doing 10 card wins. I never ran 10 card. I only ran vanilla. Also, oof. No, more importantly, I'm not bitch made. I'm not gonna learn a new category just so I can make the, the pain lessened. More power to those who wanna run the easier category. They already run it. But for me, this is a challenge. This isn't, I'm not alleviating it. Is it like a month worth of games I'm playing? It might be weak knees. I'm, I'm thinking it's gonna be about 160 hours. We'll have to see. I try, Felicity. Ah! Alright, bad news, Danielle is aggressive. Good news, Huey's also aggressive. There you go. Ow. Fair two weeks? Honestly, Jason, it might be three. Like, I'm estimating it's probably gonna take, uh... What's the word? About 20-something days? Because after two days, we're one-tenth of the way done. And don't get me wrong, we are going to pick up a lot of speed today. However, that's because there's a lot of short games coming up. However, there's also a, like... It, it's weird, because, like... Chat, hold on, before I say it's weird. It's time for the most important part of the run. It's time to spam Ricardo Flick. Well, not yet, hold on. Daniela needs to die. Did, what the? Help! 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 All right, thank God, Huey, you behaved. Thank you. Oh shit, we had a moment there, didn't we? We got through there. Huey, hey, he, he wanted the drama. Long games tomorrow? Well, it depends on what we're doing. It might be one long game. It might be one big game. Like, it's weird, because, like, on the one hand, all right, this is kind of what I was saying. Like, if anyone wants to say, oh, you run a bunch of short games. Yes, there are four short games today. However, I'll shut. Now it's time to spam Ricardo Flick. It will bring good luck to the rest of the run and hopefully the whole marathon to have Ricardo Flick. Yeah. And I'll tell you what I was about to say. Like, all right, we're, we're gonna crank out four games very quickly today at some point, and that's gonna be good. However, does it really matter? Like, all right, let's assume every game's one hour, right? Like, let's assume that's the average. But for 160 games, it's about an hour per game. Like, just going on averages. Um, all right. Wow, well, uh, Dices, you ran four games in like 20 minutes. That's, that's, not, that's not four hours. Okay. So if I ran five games in 12 hours, that, that counts as 12 games, right? No, I already made the safety save. I, I did it before the fight.
Is that Ellis, attorney at law? Hope you're doing good today. Always good seeing you around. Yeah, yeah, we're good. We only need it before the fight. Like, because now I can just go back. That's not a bad spot to go back to. But the main ones I want are me. May I come back to me because how averages work? Yes. Exactly. I do one game in 12 hours. That's 12 games, right? Lowercase Ricardo JRX. Oh, dude, he's fucking zooming. Goddamn. Dude, what the fuck is wrong with this guy? It's okay. That was so weird. That's good. Lowercase Ricardo, we man. Also, you missed the O on Ricardo. That was a line break. There we go, we did chat. How long is until dawn? Uh funny enough, uh Yuna, are you in the Discord or not? I mentioned that because for all the longer games, I typed what I think the, um, you know, we're going to be expecting. When I think, I think it's literally about 420. So. Yo, the weed number, huh? <laughs> there we go. And this going out. Yeah, Until Dawn is actually on voting, too. So if you want to see Until Dawn, uh, it's actually really close to beating Yu-Gi-Oh. Uh, we'll be playing whatever wins tomorrow. If a shorter game wins, I might try to cram in more shorter games. Or, you know, like, not short, but like, the shorter of the longer games. Or maybe I'll just follow up with, like, Clock Tower 3 and all that. We'll have to see. Oh, that was a Coco Dog. I'll be doing good. Make to go is here sometimes, yeah. Yeah, there you go. You got any man. I'll be doing good. Well, if Yu-Gi-Oh wins, that's a whole 12 hours. If Until Dawn wins, that's four hours. And admittedly, like, uh, let's say average on stream, we're doing about 10 hours. Like, rough, like, give or take. That was an inversion. Oh, you were pinged, Victigos. I'm not sure why. But I'm assuming it's probably a good. Or neutral, I suppose. Come on. There we go. Alright, Huey, are you actually behaving? Holy shit. Come on. I see not being a piece of shit today. Wow, Huey. You know what? Go I hesitate Huey. to say it, but... Good boy, chat. You can say one good boy Huey. He actually did his job. Holy shit. He did the bare minimum. It really depends, Lamprey. Akumu? I never sped ran Akumu. I only did casual. I want to remake this game, I would take literally anything they ever made of Haunting Ground. Like, they, they can literally make, like, a decorative plate with Fiona on it, and I would probably buy it. Nice lights, they're red today. Although I'm gonna change it back uh probably when I have the chance to blue. Oh Jim Skylark. I'll be doing good. I should do it right now. Unless this doesn't work. Doesn't work yet. I'll have to wait. Uh, well, oh, well, that works then. Okay, fine. I'll keep, I'll keep that. That actually works. Like, it's hard to change it back anyway. Dude, Huey, you're actually doing good. Holy shit. What a good boy. Blame. Well, I'd buy a Fiona Titty Mouse bad. In, in game. Yeah, I'll be doing good, A Bomb. Cheers. Like, depending on the run, it could be draining or not. 
Ah, oh, shit. I don't think that's a Humunculus. I think that's Ricardo. I mean, we'll be fine because I got the second one. And the third one, you have a lot of leeway. It might be. But honestly, it's been really neat just seeing how this all goes. I kind of already talked about a haunting run a lot on the last stream, so I'm kind of just like not talking about the game as much this time. Like, by the way, chat, just for um, a retooling of the game, um, I did rank it already. I know the ranking in this game. I already know this game really well. I know the ranking. They're all good. I got character. I'll be doing good. Ranking of this game, four out of five. It's A tier. Well, I do think that this game does have some issues. And, you know, Huey is a pain in the ass. He also ha leads a certain charm that makes Haunting Ground one of the most unique speed games of all time. There's not a lot of games that kind of require you to live speedrun dog training. In a horror game, especially. And, you know, it doesn't always hit. And, you know, the game itself has general issues. Like, it just kind of does worse as... Like, on a simple basis, it's kind of worse than Clock Tower 3. But the inclusion of Huey kind of makes it stand out in a nice way. So, I give it 4 out of 5. It's been a good time, Strawberry Princess. Oh, shit. Well, it's funny because I did uh, Haunting Ground last night, and I also did it this morning. Haunting Ground was one of the meanest games in this marathon somehow, and I don't know how that happened. I'm really surprised. All right, chat, we're in the forest. All right, we should be good. Hell yeah. Well, on the upside, we are getting to course party on time, but that's gonna be a doozy. A real doozy. Maybe I love Huey. Well, I don't hate Huey. Although, it's funny because as much as I bitch about Huey, I'm the only person who ever spells his name right. I mean, I do love this game, but admittedly, I have only been wanting to play each game once. I'm being very fair on that. It's just kind of weird that the games that are uh, some of my personal favorites have been writing my ass the most. Rule of Rose doesn't have puppy AI, so this game is better, dog AI. How does it spell again? Uh, T R A S H. <laughs> yeah, there we go. I like that one. That's pretty good. Hey, okay, we're good. We in there. There's a D's nut stroke. It's pretty good. Is Brown's 100% manual? No. Okay. For Rule of Rose, there's not a dog in that game. He's a glorified metal detector. If you replaced Brown with a metal detector, you'd have the same game. Huey, for what it's worth, is an actual dog. Huey's actually one of the only dogs in actual gaming. Everything else is a glorified plushie or metal detector. Or a gun. Exactly, Mikey Story. So you're behaving? Surprisingly, yes. And Dog says otherwise. Well, there you go then. This says otherwise. Is, isn't Missile not even really a part of the game? Isn't he like just kind of like. It's not like a pointing click. Yeah, at that point, I'm definitely right. Yeah, he's, up, he's absolutely a metal detector at that point. The dog in Stardew? I can tell you immediately, I don't think the dog in Stardew is even compared to an actual dog. And most games shit. All right, I'll tell you right now. If the dog isn't frustrating, it's not a real dog. And the dog has no frustrating bits. It's not a dog. It's a marketable plushie. It's a metal detector. <laughs> I will absolutely gatekeep the fuck out of video game dogs. I'm crossing as dogs. You know you're not wrong. I can block him building stuff on the farm. You know what else can do that? A rock.
Huey. A marketable plushie can do that. Yep. Not the dog. Pressure. Well, I mean, even at that point. Silence whose dog is a dog? No, it's a marketable plushie. It counts? That's a plot point. That doesn't count. Yeah, I mean actual problems in gameplay. I don't mean like, you know, actual like story. Dogs and games can be replaced very easily with other objects and you have the same story. Huey kind of actively gates you because he's a dog. He's actually one of the only real dogs in gaming as a result of this. Another dog in Skyrim? If it's a dog in the, any game like Fallout or Skyrim, I'm pretty sure it's not a dog either. To my understanding, they're glorified weapons. Huey. Uh, the dog in Fable, it's a glorified metal detector slash weapon. Huey. Is that bad? No, you can enjoy it all you want. That's fine. Huey. But real dogs do need training. You know who else gives you side quests? The homeless guy down the street. That's just kind of the game right there. You can't replace Huey with a homeless guy. He's kind of just very, very much a dog. Oh, let's try one on the list. I've not played every game ever made. Come on. And also, I'm gonna move away from this conversation because every time I complain about dogs, it never goes well. It's kind of it's always annoying. So I'm gonna go by saying that uh, I wish less games had dogs. More games had drunk homeless guys. Anyway, now we're getting to the good parts. Stay. Stop. Well, you know, I do have a fun thing to say about dogs and games. Go. Chat, talking about dogs and games. Um, back in the day, a lot of people really enjoyed the idea of like, oh, you can pet the dog. It's so awesome. You know why that was awesome? Because it meant you had a real world. Missile try at Skull Girls. I finally got my snack box, but I don't know what to play yet. Uh, I just got it, so I'll have to see. I can finally play fighting games. Oh, anyway, but here's the right, chat. This is an actual, I think, decent take about dogs and games. Dogs and games these days don't matter. They're marketing plays. Back in the day, having a dog, uh, you know, a game that had a dog, the idea behind wanting to pet the dog meant something. Why? Well, surprisingly enough, if you can pet the dog, it gave you more interact, you know, more interactability in the world. You did it because you as a human being would normally do that. You wanted to pet the dog. Meaning, if they added that in, it was a way for you to actually live in the world around you. Right, but here's the thing. Nowadays, it's a lot more of a fan service. It's just kind of there. They put dogs in the game for money. They're just doing it because, oh, yeah, the dog's so cute. And so applies? Not as much. It's not really a natural state of the world anymore as much as it's a marketing ploy. Huey, Got him. Anyway, chat, more importantly, who wants to watch an older man suck off a younger man until he dies? What about straight? I never played it. It's time to watch an older man suck off a younger man until he dies. You? Perfect. There we go. You have. Ricardo, you were always... That's what you're sub for? Ah, oh, it's the good stuff, chat. Ready? Here it comes. Look at him go. I agree, Loptacular. Yeah, yeah, there he is. 
I go there watching an older man suck up a younger man until he dies. Alright, Chad, that being said, now I've shown you the peak of Geist's content. I need to run to the final boss fight. It's gonna be a long stretch of running, so I'm gonna play an ad. If you wanna avoid the ads, it's gonna be Ablock Twitch Turbo subbing to the channel. If I don't play the ad now, you'll miss the final boss dick kicks. So, I want you to watch the dick kicking. Uh, that's how you avoid the ad, alright? By the time we're back, we'll be gearing up for the final boss. Uh, outside that, it's literally running the whole time. Because we're just running there. So, Ablock Twitch Turbo subbing to the channel. And Prime Gaming! Alright, here you go, chat. Ready? Yeah. This whole old man suck up joke isn't funny. Who says it's a joke? It's an older man sucking off a younger man till he dies. What else do what else would that be? Hey, thank you for the tier one for nine months. Enjoy the emo sentences and now the Twitch baby, and thank you very much. Hope you're doing good today. Yo, <laughs> suck you off, bro. Oh, I mean, make sure if you're sucking anyone off, it's consensual, chat. Am I still a jury main? Uh, I need to buy Street Fighter 6, and I need to play it. Uh, I was doing Kimberly when I was a GDQ, but I'll have to see. Oh, yeah. Beat the feet allegations. I do got him. Seaman in the marathon? No, I never sped ran Seaman. I just beat it casually. I didn't want to speed run Seaman one because it was very emotional. I liked the ending of that game. And two, I really don't want to talk for five hours to Seaman. <laughs> A lifeline? That's three hours. I talk for eight hours every day. Yeah, not to Seaman. He might sign me sneeze. But that is the case. That was gonna skip fair, but good. You are C-Man? Well, there you go. Oh god, what was I saying though? I forgot what I was actually saying before that. Anyway. But yeah, uh, it's kind of weird though this game does have an older man sucking a younger man to death. You're dev man? You are dev man. I'm not doing all talking only games. There's like three of them. I'm not doing that. No. Alright, the Captain Clown. Hope you're doing good today. Also, I'm not gonna lie to you. Uh, part of the fun of doing something like this is the fun of it. Keyword, I don't want to just talk, uh, do talking games all the time. That sounds frustrating and, uh, a lot more difficult for what it's worth. <sighs> There we go. Alright, I think we're all back from the ad, by the way, right? Anyway, welcome back from the ad. If you're wondering what you missed, we walk to the final area of the game. That's about it. We walk down the giant tower. Luckily, I know the game pretty well, so you don't miss much of that. Oh, I'm back. So, we're, not pulling, we're not doing the suffering, I'll tell you that much. It is the Ellis Attorney at Law. You didn't request that color. Silent did, twice. Haunted, not hunted. Hey man, they have the Prime Gaming for two months. Enjoy the emotes in the series. And thank you. Hope you're doing good today. And also, cheers, J Man. Hope you are having a nice day today. Rum is good. Well, make sure you don't drink uh, too much Ross. Rum can be good. Also, welcome back from the ad, everyone. Rum is for drinking, not, not for burning. Well, I think Ross is drinking rum. Go to jail? Alright, Ross, trying to email only mode. Chat, spam a... Spam a party emote. How about we spam cheer? Let's do some... Let's, wait, let's do a grill. Grill for the party. Mm. 
There we go. And doo -doo -doo. I'll leave it up probably till we get to the fight. Look at all look at all these partiers. Let's see. And Alright, chat, time to kick this man in the dick until he dies. Ready? That's part of haunting ground. Chat, fun story-wise, now that we're here. You know what I can tell you? Back when Haunting Ground started getting better speedrun times, a Japanese speedrunner came into the game and he removed the dick kicking from the speedrun. He found out that, uh, you know, not kicking the dick was faster. So what I ended up doing was I found out a way to make dick kicking faster again. And I ruined Haunting Ground speedrunning because I wanted dick kicks to be faster. Alright, just a scamp. So I'm saw them. Hey, Chuck, did I make a save here? He has balls. He trained them for thousands of years. And you know the Order of the Iron Crotch? Yeah, I'm not gonna lie to you. I feel like if I was ever to run away to the mountains, I would want to join the Order of the Iron Crotch. I would like to train my dick to withstand these blows. It's the iron crotch. I just said what it was. That's every guess. The order of the iron crotch. It's a real thing. There's some monk in China who, um, he has an order, and, uh, the whole thing is that you withstand blows of the dick. Yeah, I said what it is. It's called the order of the iron crotch. Ah, the diamond foot, of course. I would simply not- oh, of course. Oh god. That's fine. We did it, chat. We're almost done. And... That's Lorenzo, by the way. Ricardo died earlier. He got sucked off, remember? GG, chat. We did it. Haunting Ground took me two and a half hours. Holy shit. The game should not have taken me two and a half hours. Thanks, Huey. But it did. It's all Huey's fault. One time, the game quite literally crashed on me. So, um... Hmm. Let's see. I can't believe it's all Huey's fault. I agree. Oh, God. Oh, we did it, chat. That's Haunting Ground. 17 of, uh... 17 games done. 
Wait, are we 17? No, there are 16. Wait, are we? Hold on. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. 16! God damn it! 16 games done in 20 hours! Wait! That's terrible! Wait a minute! No! Huey. Yeah, that's right. I forgot. Bioshock was number 15. Some of those were short. Uh, honestly, not too many of them were actually really short. The only one that was short was Outlast. Uh, Number on Elm Street, I knew it was going to be longer, so we can't quite count that as short. Clock Tower was short. Um, so there were two. There are two real short ones, I would say. Why is that terrible? Well, I thought I'd be further ahead by now. That means I'm one-tenth of the way done. Man, Frambo was long. Number 15. Frambo, ta Frambo takes hours. My PP and Frambo is two hours chat. Frambo could not have been shorter. I mean, it could have been a little bit shorter, but like, Frambo is actually reasonably length. Uh, no, because I'm doing good today. Yeah. And I remember on Elm Street, no, I expected it to take two hours. I'm actually going, mo like, Haunting Ground, Dead Rising, and Sound of the Arcade kind of fucked it. Anyway, chat, like I said, this game's a four out of five in terms of speedrun. In terms of a game, 10 out of 10, but like, you know, for a speedrun, 4 to 5, I think. That's a fair P that's a fair estimate. I rank it in the low A tier. Yup, chat, we're entering Corpse Party. That's gonna be a pain in the ass. So. Honestly, not bad. I probably got like a one hour run. Yeah, course party, my PB is like 47 minutes, I think. Doing course party? Yep. Surely nothing will go wrong. Surely nothing will go wrong, chat. Which version? I don't know. Whatever I have on Steam. Uh, anyway, chat, I don't need to play an ad, but I will be setting up games. What category are we doing for Yuppie Psycho? The only category I've ran. I think it's the executive one. Okay. Chat. This is gonna be your only. Uh, this is only gonna be rough probably around chapter three. This is gonna be rough around chapter one. Ready? All right, chat. Horse party. So, going into the next game. Uh, so, I'm going to say right now, uh, I kind of said during Haunting I'll say it again. This game is the exact opposite problem that Nightmare on Elm Street has. As an Iris. With Nightmare on Elm Street, I know exactly what to do, but it's very difficult. With this game, it's very easy. But I have no idea what I'm doing. Let's go. No, Freddy is definitely the one who reams. This game is more of a, a fucking, just attacking my memory. Okay, don't know what to do, let's go. Let's do this, chat. Course party? I hate course party, chat. All my homies hate course party. Music? The music is bangers. Also corpses at this party, there might be. And you have an anime, I think it's called Death Note. I love Death Note. There's still RPG Maker games, so much activity. Yep. Well, chat, I will be making saves. Luckily, you can. All right, chapters, uh, you the run doesn't die if you die. You actually can make chapter saves, and then, um, Wait, is it this room? No. No, it is. Hold 
fun in the fall, by the way. Okay, good. There we go, okay. Am I doing good? Should I tell it to you? I bet. There we go, okay. There's a locker room chat. Okay, we're making progress. You know what? I think last time I did this, I forgot to do that. Boom, boom. All right, in all fairness, chat, I'll say right now, this game does not suck as a speed game. Uh, this game, I can tell you very early on, and this is gonna be a, this is gonna be a, uh, this is a fair ranking, I think. Also, I hope it's not too loud for audio. If it is, I can turn it down, so let me know. I rank this game as a very earnest three out of five. It's a very earnest three out of five. It has charm. The route is decently fun for what it's worth. Also, is it this way or the other way? Other way. Haunting Ground's a four out of five. This game's a three out of five. Haunting Ground actually, you know, has tech for one. Uh, but also, this game, it mostly plays it straight. There's some fun dodges, but there's not really a whole lot you do outside of play the game. Like, I ranked Mad Father a 3 out of 5, I think, and this game, I would say, is about on par with that. RPG makers, unfortunately, really don't go that high. And, like, I would rank it above Mad Father, but not, like, immensely so, if that makes sense. Oh, Spooky is 4 out of 5. A lot of RNG, but it's still not bad. On oh, the wrong way. Yeah, Spooky's is 4 out of 5, because... No, Bioshock's 5 out of 5, because that game's a fucking banger. Alright, we're going the right way. That's good. Corporate America, 3 out of 5 is bad. I'm not Corporate America. I'm also not the American school system. Oh, yeah. Bioshock's great. Bioshock's easily 5 out of 5. Like, that's S tier. Actually, I would like also give the uh, opinion and based on like tier list too. So a little bit of A, a little bit of B. <laughs> Alright, let's see what this Chat, Ratskis. Beautiful. This thing game infamous ass. That game is fine. I don't know making a decent tier list of over time. Don't you worry. Alright, I think I'm going the right way, by the way. I think I'm doing it properly. Hold on. We're almost on chapter one, I think. Chapter one done, baby. Okay. Chat, we're on chapter two. All right. At the very least, I don't have to reset. I'm not reset hell. By the way, skip the credits. You just close the game up. Wait, I don't want to do the opening. God damn it. See. Nice gold split. Every split's gonna be gold today, chat. 
Wait, I was the wrong way. Shit. Oh god, chat, it begins! There's more than three chapters? There are five. Alright, we're doing it. Oh, it's very easy. It's very easy to make a mistake in this game. Roll of Rose stole the com. Roll of Rose is a bit far off. I'm doing it from older of uh, newer games to older games. Ah, shit. Do I go down or up? I think it's down. I think. Okay, chat. This is where it's gonna get a little bit hazy. A little bit hazy here, chat, okay? Well, I don't know when Roll of Rose will be, though, but eventually. Usually I'll talk about uh, what games are coming on the next day. Five Nights at Freddy's is next, yes. Nice. This is going to be a long run. Five Nights at Freddy's, which one? The first one. By the way, Yamajugo, it's a fucking meme. Okay, I have run a few games that are absolute memes. Like, the next four games are going to be like five minutes max each. No, no, one of them's ten, sorry. Uh, we're gonna have a lot of short games coming up, so. Lowrider's a meme in a different way. PN? PN's also short. Yeah, like, that's, uh, here's also the thing, like, I, I've had, like, I know people who, like, you know, chat talk before, like, oh, you run a lot of short games, and it's like, yeah, sure, you know, uh, I'm not gonna count all my short games, like, oh, I ran, like, four short games, it's no reach, right? No, I'm not gonna do that. Wait, hold on. Hey, what's this one? There we go. I'm not gonna do that. Okay, good. Because, in the same vein, I'm not counting Yu-Gi-Oh! Forbidden Memories as 12 games. I do that one. I very much do that one, Myson. And that one will be coming up. I just run like Exactly! Oh, I run a three-hour game. It's not a three- It's not three games. It's only one game. I count one game as one game. And there's a lot of long games that happen, too. So. You, can, you can't just have the bad. PN's- It's a meme game, but it's a pretty, like- It's a fun one. If you haven't never played it- All right, chat, we're doing pretty good right now. Hold on. Woo, look at that spicy stuff. Oh my God, he did it. The amazing graces. Holy shit, he's cracked. See that, chat? It's like, I feel like Happy Gilmore. Happy learned how to play. Yeah, but exactly. Pro gamer, absolute pro gamer. Uh-oh. Hold on. You know what, chat? I'm even gonna save the game. Yeah! Why? I don't want to kill my run on accident. Wait, am I going the wrong way? We're going to the bathroom. What? Well, I can't believe it. He's making safety saves. Stop him! He's not gonna kill his run in five minutes. Holy shit. Wait, am I going the right way? Yeah, I am. I know I'm going to I'm going this way. I was proud. Thanks. Wait, I go the right way. I think I did. Okay. I think I did it? I think I did, yeah. I have some PBs. I don't know if I'll get a PB or not. Me too, Craft. Me too. Yeah, we're good. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. Okay. We should run it back? No, we're not going to run it back.
You got your one run of it. So that's nice and safe, by the way. Also, El Poe Loco, let's go on the other end. Are you going to pay me to do it? They went the wrong way, by the way. Maybe. No, I am going the right way. Holy shit. Miss Elm Street? Yeah, I'm doing it yesterday. Wait, I'm the wrong way. That's fine. Hold on. I think I know where I'm going. Is the bot up? Yeah, of course the bot's up. It's up on Twitch, but like not YouTube yet. YouTube, I have to like highlight all these. And... Wait, am I? Where the fuck am I going now? I'm in the body, right? I got the. I got the head, but I'm on the body yet. Ah, uh, because I'm after an engineer, I've been doing good. Wait, was it this one? Now I'm getting lost again, chat. Okay, my memory is not perfect. Okay, I'm getting lost again. This is fun. And then wants to pay to see it again? Then what? You, you just said you wanted to see it again, so you're going to pay me? That's the point I'm making. I don't want to just do things instead of doing them. The VOD is up. You can use the VOD. There we go. So I did remember to go, kind of. All right. There we go. You need fresh suffering? Well, right now, you try, right now you're quite literally getting a game that I almost always reset during Wheel of Game streams. You should be happy with that. Enjoy the moment while you have it, chat. Let this be a lesson for many of you. Enjoy the moments. Being in the moment's a lot nicer. A lot of you are like, oh, when's Blank Game coming up? Enjoy the moments. It'll be much, much better that way, I assure you. By the way, chat! Wait, hold on, do I get the doll? No. That is chapter two, I believe. Chapter two! Alrighty, hold on! Enjoyed it? That's good. Invited to kiss around. Chapter two! Hell yeah! Alright, chat, cheat three chapters left to go. I'm actually not doing that bad. Yeah, alright. Happy learned how to putt. Alright, it was a blast. I'm glad I like to sign up with you. Well, like, you know, I'll be uploading all this YouTube chat. Uh, hold on. Wait, I don't remember to put her. I don't remember. Hold on. Okay, I remember. I know where that is. Okay, cool. Hey, do the passion? I say about almost every chapter in this game. I don't remember it that well. I think the chapter's funny and it's all about uh, the desire to piss. And you know what? It's relatable, Chad. I get it. I was gonna sell it, but doing good. Let's go. Uh, do I run the other project? Nah, no, I've only done, uh... I've only done Fatal Frame 1. I don't think I needed to go that far. I didn't talk to the body was gonna be attacked. I don't remember what that did. I think that was necessary. I think I didn't need to do that. Okay. Finish the series. I think at some point I should play this game. How scary is this game? I don't actually know because I've never played this game casually. 
mentioned a while back, but chat, there's a lot of games I sped ran and never actually did casually. And this is one of them. So I don't actually know much about this game. Well, chat, sometimes the desire to piss is quite important. I'm going the right way, by the way. No, I'm not. We're going to take the desire to piss right now. Hey, it's just midnight. Thank you for the prime gaming. Enjoy the emotes and the scissors. And thank you. Welcome to the swarm. Hope you're doing good. Oh, I don't know. At least hope you're doing good. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Like, oh, God. No, I hate the... I don't like... All right. So, I don't like a lot of long... Like, all right. I hate 24-hour streams, Chad. I detest doing them. I don't like the idea of 24-hour streams. I don't think they're good. In most cases, 24-hour streams don't tend to be very good. Hold on. My YouTube's- I- so I wanted to do it on YouTube. The problem is my first- I'm probably gonna try uploading the first one today. Magical Ray, but the problem is, uh, on the other one, uh, I didn't quite get to, uh, make my VOD. Because, uh, what's the word? I'm trying to just make sure I'm good here. I don't remember what I actually had to do. Oh, here we go. There we go, okay. Yeah, so, um... Also, Alex, I'm getting some to Iris and go to the most of the season. Thank you very much. I'm going to talk for hundred hours. So, one for YouTube. Yeah, so the first VOD I had to download because the stream crashed, and that was an issue. I mean, it's not the end of the world there, but also, I don't need to read these notes. I know I'm doing that. But that's kind of why, like, I had to download them. It's going to be, like, a long upload. So, I'm hoping I can hopefully get it sometime tomorrow morning or just whatever you want to call Thursday morning. I want to speed on this game. Uh, I think my PB is like 47 minutes. I'm probably going to take closer to an hour and some change, but we shall see. Also, admittedly, um, I don't know because I'm washed. I mean, I have it on my Twitch stuff, but I'll be putting it on YouTube, hopefully. And also, I think about how I wanted to do it exactly. Wait. Wait, what? I don't have the key. Not yet, at least. Is it down? No, not yet. Okay, no, this is the one right thing I I already I already I already got. Okay, I remember this. But yeah, I'm also watching a lot of these games. I haven't ran them in quite literally years, and this is also a way for me to revisit every game I've ever done and find out what kind of works and what doesn't. Which is nice. I think it's this one right here where you can talk to this thing. Nice. There we go. I got this nail puller, by the way, when that's just a hammer. Let's say I wanted to buy a hammer, chat. Do you know what a hammer is? Hey, Steady. Hope you're doing good today. Uh, I'm not a fan of the ones who reveal soon in the middle of it and soon come back. I mean, like I said as well, though, like, for, all right, so for this one, I, I'm not doing this as an incentive. Like, chat, nobody paid me to do any of this. This is something that I decided to do because I thought it would be fun. Hey, with the follow, by the way. Like, a lot of this type of stream would be, oh, if you sub, you know, if you get this many subs, I'll do the next game. Like, don't get me wrong, nothing wrong with that inherently. It's more just the, um... Does it involve ham? No. It could, though. Hey, with the follow, by the way. My no day, but my day's going well. Yeah, I can't complain. Sorry I hear your day was semi-annoying. Hopefully, uh... Hopefully it gets a bit better. Are we able to chill? Oh, what was I saying? Yeah, so 24 hour streams. Let's talk about that really quick. Chat, 24 hour streams almost always just... Oh, wait, hold on. I need to talk to her twice or once. Yeah. Malice! Thank you for the raid. What are you up to today? Tell me all about it. What are you doing? We have a shout out for Malice. 24 hour streams, one, most people aren't going to stay up with you.
That's that's number one. Howdy, Henry. Hope you're doing good. Welcome on in. Oh, so that's going to be so far too nice. Hold on. I wonder where. I really think welcome on in, everyone. I hope you had a good stream. I am McDysis, so hope you're all doing good. I'm doing every game I've ever ran in a row. It's been fun so far. So it's not this one. I'm trying to remember how to run this game. I'm mostly doing good, and I think we're almost there. Okay, we got it right. And then the ghost comes. Yep. Yeah, so if anyone has any questions, you're more than welcome to, to let me know. Hey, Oni, are we doing good? I think I be you. Okay, now I can fully tell you. But yeah, for 24 hour stream, most of chat's not staying up with you. So for one, viewership will drop later on. You don't get to have the best of the, uh, the stream. Oh god, we gotta run. Oh, the horn on this. It's a fun energy. I forgot the order of the games. I'm going from older games to newer games. Wait, I went the wrong way. I think I did. Oh, there we go. That we're good. Okay, we're good now. Alright, we got this chat. And then also, people get tired after a while, and then when you get tired, you're not giving your best energy. You're not giving your best self. I have the giant timer. People can see how long we've had been playing for all these days, so I'm not too worried about that. But yeah, thank you for the shout-out, by the way. I know it's a very long point for me to essentially say 24-hour streams are just kind of, like, a dip in quality. You'd be better off just doing, uh... You know... Other streams. Are you taking break days or in the spring? Yeah, I'm taking Friday off because uh, I want to watch Twisted Metal and I'm going to be taking Saturday off for my stepdad's birthday and I want to watch Barbenheimer. I am taking actual days off, Chad. Nice. Uh, I put good around the house tomorrow so I'm going to play in the back of noise. Sounds good. Hope it goes well. Wishing all the best of luck with the. Uh, House. Uh, one game, which game I'm playing straight 24 hours? I don't want to do that. Even hypothetically, it doesn't sound very fun. Uh, there's some of us when the time of 12, 12 hour streams. That just sounds like a regular stream getting subs. Have I actually switched a new audience? Not really. Like, unless you're consistently streaming around that time, wouldn't make much of a difference. Not enough about it, I'll be doing good. As well, even if you get a new audience, they're not going to come back, because they're not going to be awake during the time you're normally streaming. I'm going to do my time away. It's not really time away, it's like taking a regular day off. Like, you're not away from your job when you take a day off, right? Kind of that sort of deal, you know? Oh, I enjoy it? Oh yeah, I'll be, like, I, I, I'm good. Usually I just chill. Even if I just veg out, it's like all good with me. I guess the girl now. Yeah, chat, chapter three. All righty. All right, let's go. Two more. Wait a minute. I am actually kind of cracked. Yeah, this is mostly for memory too. I'm not even using the notes I made. Out of my split notes. Remember that one chapter? Tired of Forge where I lost it last time, but I think I'll be better this time. Maybe.
Dog gamer. One of them be my No, no, my PB is way better because my brand my PB actually was running the game consistently. I think I already went the wrong way, by the way. Yeah, I think I already went the wrong way, shit. I already went the wrong way. Suicide bathroom. Oh, that would have been easier. See, now I can refer to my notes. I went the exact opposite way I meant to go. Great job, Ignisus. Proud of you. you. Did good, my friend. Entertained. Well, that's how you remember. I'm glad I, like, have my splits, like, up. Okay, I don't have my splits up, if you're wondering what I do have. I literally just type them out in a note file. There it is. I mustache. That was even kind of... Let's see... Okay, we're good. Well, how do I hit so much? Because uh, I've only ever sped ran it. And surprisingly enough, when you're doing something that you know you might be set up for failure on, it's not very fun. I, I also don't even really hate this game. I like the game aesthetically. It's fun. Fun music. A lot of fun stuff involved in it. It just, yeah, shockingly enough, people don't really want to have to suffer through something. Ever horror games have puzzles? Uh, kinda, yeah, I like puzzles. I just, like, most games have puzzles. That's how I'd say so. Alright, chat, I'm going to the infirmary. I hope this is the right way. I mean, see, I have thought about that a few times, but I don't know, maybe. Boom, 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 boom. I'm actually doing pretty good. Like, all things considered, the way I normally do in this game, we're doing really good right now. Wait, what? There we go. Wait, what? There we go, okay. That's more like it, okay. Is this one to the right or to the left? I don't know this one, okay. Have we pulled yet? No, we're getting in the pool right now. We're getting there. I know where it is, by the way. I know where it is, chat. I know where the answer is. Don't know it yet. Okay, I don't know it yet. But yeah, so I'm gonna PB, but like, I'm not gonna lie to you. We're gonna be vastly under what I thought the estimate might be. Tongue bag. Okay. Wait, do I have the cell phone yet? Where's over here? No. Where's the cell phone at? I don't know every I never casually played. But I don't want to play Outlast. Not yet, at least. But Outlast, I'm voting. Do not know the way. I'll be good. Don't you worry about me. Wait, am I going the right way? Maybe I'm not.
Boom, boom, boom. Do this, don't you? Cell phone plus friend. The fuck's the cell phone? Where's the? Uh, maybe it's back by the uh, infirmary. Oh, the dice is you jackass. I'll be back more. Oh, at least the game locked me into the right area. It's not this way, I don't think. Maybe it is. No, okay. I think I know where it is. Luckily, it's locking me like hell. That's actually pretty nice. Oh, wait, wait, no, no, no. What the fuck's this cell phone? Is it like the upper staircase here? I think it might be. Chapter four is definitely gonna be one of the problem chapters. I'm not gonna fail the pool, chat. That's my guarantee. Oh, what the? No, go here. Not there. Where the fuck is the cell phone? Isn't it a sterile somewhere near the bathrooms? It might be. Apparently it is. Huh. Is it the room here, maybe? I think it might be the room here. Now. Want you to look it up? No. Hold on. I know I get a uh, tongue from that like floor eventually. We should be able to do this. I got the tongue bag. Maybe it's the oh, I think it's the infirmary. That's right. I remember now. I made the right option too. That's how you know I didn't die, Chad. I mean, it's still a bit rough, but it's not the worst it can be. Wait, hold on. Oh god damn it! Okay. Somewhere we got the cell phone's right here. Wait, do I? I don't have Yuka back yet. Oh right, I never got back Yuka. I'm a dumbass. That's right. But at least I know what the problem I'm doing is. Like all things considered, the yeah. Oh wait, was it Naomi? I don't remember the names of the chicks. I, I need the chick. I need the piss girl, right? Where's the other one? Wait, do I not have Naomi? I think I know where Naomi is. I think. Maybe I don't. Wait, where the fuck is she? I thought I had her. Oh, I think I have the cell phone off the ground. Then you call her. Something like that. There it is. I like hot peppers. Like the general concept of pepper. Yeah, they're nice, but uh, I don't really think much about it. Sort of just eat them. 
Oh, music in this game is great. There you are. Now I can do the thing. Well, Jack, if they say it's better to be pissed off than pissed on. <laughs> <laughs> every time. Every time, man. Every time. It's accurate! Am I wrong? Depends on who you ask. I suppose you got me there, Phantom Box. Hold on. Pull lever. I think now I get Lord Ump, right? Yeah, there we go. Alright, so we're done with this section. Now I'm on the, the Lord Ump. Okay. Music game out. Oh, on. There's a lot of music. Okay, now I think we can do this one. Okay, ready? Pool time. Now I know what we're doing. Verdos will be doing good. Oh, I think there's an enter it. I don't have to walk down or anything. I'll walk down anyway because I'm stupid. Cat, that's gonna be the best moment of this marathon. I'm gonna say dog tied, and everyone's gonna post uh, Dicey Lol. You know what? That'd make you feel good, Chad. One ink Dicey Lol as I post dog tied. Right? Dog tomatoes? No. Oh. I love a dicey law. It's such a good emote. I chat. I feel like we don't point and laugh enough at people in society. <laughs> I know that's a meaner way of laughing, but like, it's fun on Twitch. All right, chat. I'm going to succeed at the pool. I think. Hopefully. I'm going to suck seed right now. That's what's gonna happen. We don't need a pull. We don't need to worry. Clearly, I got this. Clearly, I got this, and I won't have to redo chapter four. He owns daily. Perfect. Go. Takes a couple of extra presses. I suppose. It's here. Yeah. See, literally first try, chat. Literal first try right now. Boom. Yeah, chat. I can't believe it. You understand, chat, I can tell you how Corpse Party got made. It all goes back to the 1980s. So back in the 80s, there was this guy named Danny Elfman, and he was the uh, lead singer of a band called Oingo Boingo. And you have to understand that Danny Elfman kind of made this game. Alright, hold on. Did I get the thing, by the way? I think I did. Good luck on the runs. Mr. Hands now in the term of five months. Enjoy the emotes and the scissors and thank you. We're doing great today. Also, cheers. I hope all is well with you. He was struck exactly, Chad. He wrote this hit song Dead Man's Party and decided. What if they made a video game about a bunch of high school kids killing each other? I think I'd give it to the ghost. Thank you, Mr. Hands now for the term of five months. I mean, luckily we're at chapter four. The very same Deliria. Oh god damn it, I didn't even do that. Why is that child naked? What the fuck? Wait, what the What the fuck am I looking at?
This is a weird game. I've never watched the intro to any of these chapters. Yeah, remember the scene? Apparently it's in the game. I accidentally hit intro. How long is its fucking intro? Long? I think you're right. About eight minutes, really? Okay. Well, I'd say you be careful. You don't want to watch the opener. Wait. Suicide bathroom, okay. You went back to where you were. Okay, I have to do all this shit again, by the way. The whole chapter. It's fine. I guess right now would be as good a time for an ad as any, right? If I run to play during any moment, maybe playing catch might be the best moment to do it. Yeah, time. I mean, it would make some sense. Uh, all right, chats, really quick. I'm gonna play an ad during this section. Uh, the reason why is because we need a backtrack to where I died, and that's gonna take more than uh, three minutes. So, if you wanna avoid the ad, it's gonna be ad block, which turbo sub channel. Luckily, the next like five games will be avoiding the ad because of this. So, um, yeah, if you wanna avoid it, that is how to do so. Anyway, chat, uh, I'm gonna play it about, uh, about now, so. All right, ready? All right, don't avoid it, ad block, twitch, turbo, sub to the channel, and also prime gaming, so. There's your options, chat. All right, here it is. Yeah. Okay, we did it, chat, I did it. Course party? Yeah, chat, you know what? During the ad, just for course party, I know we have nothing to do with it right now. How about we just spam bone zone? A bone zone hyper, how about that? It's a chorus party chat, it makes sense. And bones, any any bone zone. I mean the music in this game is all bangers. There's gonna be one banger in particular chat. We're gonna spam the hell out of bone zone. Oh wait, I went the wrong way, didn't I? Hey what? Wait. Wait, where the fuck am I going in? Infirmary doll, god damn it. Well, at least I'm remembering. I, I have it written down, thank god. Yeah, how you doing today, by the way, uh, Mr. Hands Down? Good luck simply helping. This game's, uh, certainly giving us the business. There we go. I gotta grab the doll. I play Layers of Fear? Yeah, I'll play both the original and the remake. I'm doing every game I've ever done, and that is both those games. And you obviously the big list will be on an X uh you know, Xbox Run Speed Run. And uh hopefully tonight maybe I can just draft something that has more of a spreadsheet that's like, hey, here's all the games that probably estimated lengths. And then um let's see. Oh, I didn't get an ad. If you didn't get an ad, that's base, you're all fun. Ads was done by the way too, so that's good. Boom, 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 boom. Hey, we're doing pretty good, though. Doing good. 
That is true, Iris. That is true. Um, the one thing that's also to be said about this marathon idea, chat, I'm definitely really happy with, um... I guess I could say sense of purpose. Like, I feel like I'm definitely in more of a groove than I've been wanting to do for a while. Goals? Well, I've had this goal for such a long time. Like, I actually, you know, just picked a day to finally put it to fruition. Welcome back to the ad, by the way, everyone. If you're wondering what you missed, I, um... I'm catching up. We're back on the giving the tongues to the chick. That one. Hey. Okay. Oh, right. I need to follow the ghost bird. Uh, celebration of speedrun career. It kind of is, in a way. Like, it's a neat celebration. And honestly, it's really unique because not everyone can really do it this way. I don't know. It's been really fun. been wanting to buy some of this. I like direction-oriented things. I don't want to, like, just do things for the sake of doing things. It's a good way to just, I guess, burn out in a way. Although, I do know how to ante up this challenge in the future. I do have a way of ante, uh, giving the, uh, the ante up. Although, actually, no, that wouldn't work. That, that would not work at all. Holy shit, that would not work. I was gonna say, uh, do every game I do until I get a PB. However, some games would quite literally require, like, I, I do that already for shit like Dead Rising, and that, like, I pretty much never get off Dead Rising. Yeah, it's nice, Cat Man. It's nice to have the, uh, the drive. Hunger. That would take years. Uh, I don't know if it would take years, but it would probably take the good chunk of a year. Some of the grind set, literally. Oh, we're going this way. All right, Shane. Thanks, Lucy Two Cents. Hope you're doing good today. All right, I should definitely make a save around here this time. For safety now. Or maybe I simply don't be dumb. Either or. If you get a run uh, above some percentage of the leaderboard. I suppose that is one way of doing it. Actually, I guess maybe I didn't grab the bag of tongues I needed. Hey, that's the winder. I'm trying to think of what I need. Like, I know what this does. Like, this, uh, let's this work. Then you force that. Now we're back to the pool. Alright, chat. I'm gonna make a save after the pool. I don't actually know during the pool. I want some tongue. Got my save on. What did that monument do to the dead body? Uh, it monumented it. I, I don't know. Chad, are you ready for the most exciting game after this? Literally cinema. Full time? Were there two items in the pool or one? I could have sworn it was just like one. Is the game better than the anime? Well, I've never watched the anime, and I don't know uh, the actual story of this game. Because admittedly, I've only ever sped ran this game. So I don't know. Um. 
seen. Chat, it's going to be a meme. I'm telling you that right now. Finance of Freddy's is absolutely going to be a meme. I mean, a casual experience would be neat, but also, I'm not going to lie to you. I really don't want... I hope this... Like, is this guy have voices? I don't want to read all this shit. What's happening now? You're trying to prevent her from drowning in the pool. She wanted to take a swim, but it was really cold, so her body just froze. Yeah, this whole game story be defined by the lyrics of the song Dead Man's Party. I got a handle. Wait, what handle is that? Oh, it's this thing! Wait, right? I could have sworn it was that. Wait, what was that the handle too? What was that the handle too? I don't remember. Is it the showers? No. Maybe it's all the way up. I, oh, I don't remember. We have the second bag of tongues, but like, where's the second bag of tongues again? I don't remember what the second bag of tongues is. Ah, oh, of course. Is it this one? No. God, what was it? This is the part that's really fucking me here. Oh. I know I don't go to the ghost yet. I don't think it's the infirmary. Not bad. I don't have the other tongues yet, so this ghost isn't gonna do anything to me yet. The ghost wants to kill me, in fact. Morning, Nug. Hope you're doing good today. It's not there. I think I made it back by the bathroom. Maybe it's the old school. Is it the old building? No, that's later. I'm thinking of that later when you try to find her. That's probably chapter five. Well, that's good. Maybe it was here. No. Where the fuck was this handle get you? Hold on, do I, do I have like an item menu? I do. I do. Rusted valve wheel. I have no idea where that goes. I think that was actually by the pool. I think I just missed something at the pool. Oh my god, I know what I missed. You're supposed to go back to the power room. I think then you... Um, it falls out of the pipe. You acquired from Jewel. That sounds about right. Yeah, it's like right here, I think. There. I hate it here. I had the right idea. It's the wrong execution. Because then that gives you the bag of tongs. I go back to that ghost that killed me, except this time I give her the tongue. And then, I, you know, and then she dies. I had a chat. I was about to say, because, you know, giving the ghost tongue, huh? Get it? Like the ghost tussy? Chad, did you hear the memes? Apparently, uh, 
Uh, people are gonna have sex with aliens now or something. Wait, what? Is it no? Really? Yeah, apparently. Wait, hold on. I thought it was yes. Uh, yeah, it's all the document. It was like an interview thing. Some yeah, aliens confirmed real by some guy. Hey, we're doing better. We're doing better with the clinic. We're doing a lot better today. Hope you're doing good. Hope you're doing a nice day. Wrong end. We'll be fine. I made a save, chat. This is why you make the save. See, I learned my lesson. Yeah, they confirmed aliens to be real. I'm actually not kidding. Although, I don't know exactly aliens. Uh, you know, it could always be a variety of things. It has to be a distraction from the general thing of life, but like... Some guy pleaded under oath and... They said they fo uh, found a unknown spacecraft with non-human life form. They, well, they mentioned, mainly mentioned they found uh, non-human biological uh, life in the uh, in the spacecraft. Although, chat, this could be, uh, here's the thing. Couldn't that just be the um, like all the animals they sent to space years ago? Like they sent animals to space to die years ago. <laughs> We found the we found the dead ape we sent to space like 40 years ago. <laughs> like that technically would be non-human. I want to say technically that is non-human. <laughs> a load of animals and time capsules, pretty much. for Laika. Yeah. But it's so wild that, like, I don't know. It's just really trippy that in the modern age, most people just like, talk about this like any other news story. It's like a major finding. You say it's like 10 years ago. Like, holy shit, man. You'd have like everyone like, oh my god, aliens. Now I was like, hey, Lamar. <laughs> Just in case. Yeah, we're doing good little clinic. Listen, so much has happened lately. Look, man, I got a lot going on lately. <laughs> I just love that means like, are you not surprised? I got a lot going on, man. Wait. Am I not supposed to give the tongue bag? Oh, I give it to the body? Wait, what? Dude, what the fuck did I do with the tongues? I don't remember this one! Well, good thing I saved. Good thing I saved. I guess I give it to the body and then I just go... What do I do here? I don't... This is a corpse party in a nutshell. I mean, luckily, I have the, this is how you make the save. I'm, oh, God. That being said, chat, uh, if you're wondering, I'm talking about a lot of lessons learned in games. It's not, every every game is going to be a gold split. All of them. So something to be said about games like this. Chat, I really can't stress this enough. Forge Party teaches you the lesson in the world of speedrunning. Do not, under any circumstances, uh, run a game that you have never played. At best, you will be annoyed. Go now. Oh, here we go. Not having the knowledge is really, really difficult. Outlast? Outlast is a weird one, because it's like 10 minutes. A whole ass game is like a lot more rough. Also, is it not this room? I thought it was. Uh, 
Oh, this cool speedrun tech? You should still play the game casually so you have a good idea of what's going on. Otherwise, you might get very, very lost. Dude, where the fuck am I going? Oh, I got the last tongue bag. I can give it to the check now. Almost done, chat. Wait, what? Almost done. Uh, Super Mario Rally. RPG Mega Horror games are usually pretty fun. However, ups and downs. Also, there's never seen Outlast being 10 minutes and this being about an hour. That's the difference. Anyway, while this is happening. Yeah! All right, chat. One more. All right, one more chapter. We're almost done with Corpse Party. Thank God. It's been an hour, 10 minutes. I Chapter four is my problem, child. Okay. Final chapter, chat. No, we're going to be fine. I think it's... Uh, so what happened? Uh, I think long story short, those two characters are saved, but if they leave now, everyone else dies. So they're going back to save everybody. Also, chat, look, she pissed herself. Oh my god. I mean, I'm not kidding. That was literally her whole arc. Right? I can't believe it. The guy who was uh, hanging around the public men's room toilet is the bad guy? The public toilet? Holy shit. You're just like you? you? You pissed yourself? Sorry, baby scrubs. Hope you're all right. By the way, chat, in case you're wondering, Yuka's whole arc was Yuka wanted to piss. <laughs> and she just gets kicked and then she pisses herself. That's her whole arc. That's it. And then you have one of the creepiest guys. Yuka. This guy's fucking creepy. I like this guy. Dad, I've never played this game. This is like this dude. He's a fucking creep. That's rough. Moral of the story. It's better to be pissed on than pissed off. Wait. No, it's better to be pissed off than pissed on. Get your evidence. A kind of bit creepy. In fairness, it is a horror game, chat. Not much. I don't actually know. I intend to let she piss herself because she got kicked. Can I just play a normal game for this? See, I thought about that, but then I didn't do it. And that's the problem. to say. By the way, I mean, I probably should revisit Course Party, but every time I don't, like, revisit this game, I hit more that I don't revisit this game. Alright, chat, ready? Alright. About to hit one of the coolest songs in this game, chat. Wait, I'm the wrong way, shit. It's not this one. This one's also a banger. Now, the best part of chapter five, the more I fuck up, the more of a banger you guys get. You shall see, chat.
Let's go. Boom, boom. All right, chat. Here we go. Oh, actually, I don't know the banger yet, but run uh, the first of pages. Yay. Sounds woke you up. It's pretty good song, Insomnia. Wait, I'm not fine. Are you excited? Done. I think I need, like, yeah, find the stuff on there. Playing Course Party 2 tonight? I've never played Course Party 2 ever, so no. Actually, it's, it's better of all time. So, uh, no. I was gonna this. Okay, I think it's up. No, I haven't saw the bridge yet, I don't think. Hold on. I think it's left. No, it was up. God damn it. Wait, I went the wrong way. Shit. What? It was down. Unless it's here. No. Okay. Yeah, I know it's like a switch you pull, and then I fix it the other side. There it is. Is there anything else on this side? No. Hold on, hold on. I think I go the other way now. Because I haven't hit the puzzle or the death puzzle yet. Wait, what? I guess I did that right? I. Huh. Did I? Maybe I did. I could have sworn the idea here was that you had to, like, fall down the hole and then, uh... Alright, let's see. I don't know where all the papers are now. I don't. But I kinda do. We'll see. This is the fun part of the game, chat. Alright, we're going the right way. That's good. Okay. At some point, though, I think I do want to give this to, um... Uh, you know, it's kind of funny. I think last time I got good at Course Party, it was also a... I had to learn the game again. And every time I, you know, revisit Course Party, I learn the game again, only to never run the game again. I don't know why. I don't know why I stopped. Why is her ass bleeding? Uh, I think she got stabbed earlier or something. Wait, it's not this way. I think it's this way. I think. We shall see. No. God damn it, it was the way I was going. That's fine. Well, Chad, we learned a valuable lesson. Boom, 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 boom. What's the lesson? Get good. Is this one? No. I think it was the next one. Oh, there it is. Locked. I can unlock that later, I think. Boom, boom. 
God damn it, chat went the wrong way. Okay. Wait. Wait. I went the wrong way entirely. Wait, where the fuck is this room? There we go. Oh, there we go. God damn it. Nice. Okay, I got him stuck. That's good. Meowskis! Alrighty, Chad did it. Oh, it's Bop? Oh, we're gonna get a better Bop in a moment. Oh, God damn it. Cheat Ghost? Chad. How, what do you think about that Cheat Ghost? That's the real question. Thoughts? I don't know anything about the story of this game, Chad. Ah, uh, that's a better answer. I like that one. I don't know jack shit about the lore of this game, no. Probably not, there's a reason why I don't have as much of a chat uh, attachment to this game as some, uh, some of the other games are. Okay. Wait, did I not do it right? Wait. I guess I did that right, okay. I did that right, holy, I, holy shit, I actually did it right. Holy shit, wait, I did it right. Wait a minute. What do I do now, hold on. Okay, here's the banger. Chapter 5? Chapter 5 is the banger of all time, chat. Oh no, it's a ghost! Ah! And it's a party! Mega Man vibes? Wait, wait, wait. Bye. I think I have to park myself, and then that will get the other side. Okay. It's not this room, what am I doing? Oh, it's this room. Alright. Oh no, the teacher died! 
A heroic sacrifice, Chad. Okay, we did it. It might just be. It's not an old building. I can test it later. Hold on. That we're so close. We're on the cusp of greatness right now. Also, just in case, make that fucking save. Thank you. In basement time now? You think it is, but like, I don't think I get to the basement. Oh, I need to pull the switch, I think. Hold on. Wait, what? Where the fuck am I going? Is it the school? Wait, is it old? It is old side. Oh, there we go. That's right. They get the cat in my hair. Okay, I'm beginning to remember this. Wait, no. Very vaguely. Dude, I gotta get to Oh, we go all the way up. It's the attic. That's right. It's all the way up. All the way up. There we go. Alright, we're not doing bad. Oh, there's enough for Ronnie. I'll be doing good. Wait, no. There we go. Alright, here we go, chat. Any watch the anime? I think it, that chat says normally good things about it. Holy, am I, hold on. Okay, don't run the order. Oh, I have it written down. It's right, 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 uh, hold on, it's this way. Right, right, left, right, right, okay. There we go. Hey, wait a minute, there's a harder puzzle coming up. I don't know the answer to. It's gonna go bad, chat, isn't it? Wait, hold on, it's down. Here we go. I passed any runs to the marathon. I don't practice offline, but I did watch a run of this and I tried to, I also have my splits up. So I, I wrote down like all of my splits just so I have a vague idea what's going on. And honestly, most of these runs are like already one make was entirely unpracticed. I kind of want to be unpracticed because I feel like if I'm preparing for a run, that's not exactly me knowing the run. That's just me researching it, like cramming it day before. I still have notes of this, but a lot of this is still just muscle memory. Everyone died? No, we'll see what happens. That's down later, hold on. This might take a few attempts yet. I don't remember the order, so I'm gonna watch this guy do it. God damn it! Well, chat. Probably should have watched the entirety of that, not just winged it. God damn it! Oops. Whoopsie daisies. Alright, just give me the answer. I don't remember what it is. 
Oh, thank God it's instant death. Well, I don't remember anything about some of the finer puzzles in this game. Why? Probably for good reason. Okay, there we go. Right, it's Sans Undertale in the flesh chat. All right, there we go, we did it. On the other side, the way back's so much easier. You just fall down. Oh no, we have to hide. I like how they like, kick one of them out and then it's like, well, that's fine. I'm sure nobody's here. Okay. We're almost out of here, Chad. We're almost done the whole game. Right at the end. Uh, of course, we're the same. Okay, it's gonna be super easy to fuck up if I'm not careful. So, we're doing that. Cool! Oh, this is over. Opening again. Okay! Uh, what are my choices again? Missing someone? Wait, I died. Am I missing someone? I thought you weren't supposed to give that one. I don't. Like, it's a uh, again. Yeah, a lot of the games I don't quite remember because I haven't ran them in years. Hey, Yumi, am I missing one? Or she come later? She might come later. I thought you had five there, though. I was right. I was right. I'm missing something. What the fuck did I miss? Who did I miss? Oh god, well thank god, I... Giving the wrong items? Maybe. Oh, there's nothing else for this section, right? No, no, we're, we're here. Okay, hold on, hold on. Wrong right. items. I thought it was yes, yes. Yes, no, yes, no. That's the answer. Right, it's yes, no, yes, no. Yeah, I know it's a sixth chance. Yes, no, yes, no. There she is. Okay, I did it right. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, no. I give him. Oh, of course, Lucan, of course. Thank you, by the way, Chad, for clarifying that. Alright, that's right. Alright, chat, now it's time to make like a leap and get the fuck out of here. Alright, chat, ready for the shortcut? Take us out. Whee! You see, it was intended. It's a speedrun threat, I assure you. Okay. 
on. Wait, is it down? Alright, hold on, we gotta go, we gotta go! Chat, we're almost done, we're almost out of corpse party. Holy shit, we're almost out. Almost out! And we are out skis, baby! We're out skis! Alright, we're almost done, ready? Ready? Time's coming up. Holy shit, that only took me uh, about an hour and a half. Actually, you know, that's not so bad. An hour and a half's not that bad. Wait. It took me an hour and a half. Yeah, it took me an hour and a half. Okay, that's not that bad. That's really not that bad, all things considered. Yeah! We did it. All right, chat. You know what? Now I'm ready to do us corpse party. What happened? It's a dead man's party. It's only me. I'm gonna lie to you. Okay, so look up, go on YouTube, and look up the song "Dead Man's Party" by Oingo Boingo. I assure you, it will tell you everything you need to know about this game. Yeah. I know this game is literally supposed to be anime dead man's party. That's why it's called corpse party. It's the dead man's party. Corpse is actually a Japanese word. I'm lying to you every sentence I've just said. We did it! You know what, chat? I think I'm ready to speedrun this game again. I'm not gonna lie to you. Like Franbo, I'm ready to speedrun this game again. If I'm learning this fucking game, I'm gonna de-rust it. Alright, chat, you know what? I'm gonna do two marathons and I'm done with this fucking thing. Games I feel like doing, and games I feel like revisiting. I'm gonna do a marathon like fucking Frambo Corpse Party and some of the other rejects I haven't been doing in a while. I feel like if I learn this game, I may as well put all the work in and get it back, right? Anyway, final ranking of Corpse Party, 3 out of 5. I think this game is solid B or C tier. Even with me being confused... Alright, chat. Even with me being confused, I honestly think RPG makers are a very fair... They're, they're honest. They're honest speedruns. They're very honest runs. You can't really fuck around with it. They're very honest speed games. I think honest is a great way of putting it, too. Like, honest is really the best way I can put it there. On, uh... A chat. Chat. We're entering the meme block. Okay, so the next few games... The next few games I'm doing here... I'll tell you right now. This was my first April Fools on Twitch. And I wanted to learn a bunch of really short meme games because, you know, it's a fun idea. April Fool's, you fuck around. So this is our meme block. And uh, I actually made my own splits because I think every streamer of your speedrunner eventually have the anime splits. So, the way this is going to work, uh, we're going to hit continue and then new games. Ready? Okay, our new game then continue. So uh, let's uh, go. All right, we did it. So that makes it immediate. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to hold down CD and I'm going to push plus. Yeah! Night one. Yeah! All right, chat, there's night one. The sick action at Five Nights at Freddy's. Here's night two. Oh my god, look at him going at blistering speeds! No way, I can't believe it! Yeah! Alright, chat, night three. We're gonna survive all five nights. We're going at blistering speeds. He's a god. Somebody stop him. He's going too fast. How does he do it? Wait a minute, night three! Oh my god, he's already through night three! 
Yeah! Oh, that's a keyboard? Oh, uh, my regular keyboard doesn't have a numpad. So you need a numpad, and this one has one. This is my old keyboard, and it needs a plus. So CD plus. That's how you do it. You just push CD plus. I have a knife four. Oh my god, dude, look at that knife four! Holy shit! Wait, he's so cracked! Yeah! Alright, night, night five, chat. Night five. I even have the anime splits. You can tell how fast you're going with these anime splits. Holy shit. And the last one. Oh my god, look at that. He does it. That's Five Nights at Freddy's. Holy shit. What a gamer. We did it! A hundred and twenty dollars! We did it, chat. Dude, how much money for me to pull finance at uh, Freddy's speed on no skips? That's not as fun. I know it, chat. Hold on, I think I can, uh, I do this. All right, I did it. Chat, that's Five Nights at Freddy's. We did it. Does it work on the sixth night? Oh, I can show you. All right, so you wanted the sixth night, right? You wanted night number six? Okay, sixth night. Check it out. All right, chat, I'm gonna give you bonus content for free. Zero dollars down. Ready? I don't even get my $120. <gasps> Holy shit, he does it again! Six night! Yay! Chat, this is another game I've never really played. I only know, like, I played very little of it, so I don't actually know any jack shit about this game. I've just watched it. <laughs> so I know the meme. That last night, can I do it again? I'll do one better, chat. I'll do one better. I'll do one better right here. Actually, hold on, hold on. We're not gonna do that. We're not gonna do that one. By the way, it does work on 2020. Yeah, 1988! Yeah! Chat, in case you're wondering, there is a five second category of this game. It's called Golden Freddy Percent. The way you run it is you get Golden Freddy as fast as possible. Time starts when you hit Custom Night. So what you do is you hit 1988, and then you just do this, watch. How's it going, Mars? Great to see you. Two crack, right? All right, ready? Ready? Here's Golden Freddy percent. Three, two, one, go. Uh... Alright, I did it. That's, that's Golden Freddy percent. I'm plugging this fucking keyboard now. Chat, this is the graveyard. Uh, this game is a, well, according to Steam, a horror game because of the fear of uh, old age. All right, we beat the game. There. Are you happy? Oh, that's right, chat. We'll do the actual speed run. All right, here we go. Here's the actual speed run. You're wondering, I'm holding down forward. You hold down forward. I paid five dollars for this game. The graveyard. Oh no, this is the uh, the bench percent category. This is bench percent. This is the full game category. Because the other one, you just leave and die at home. 
Walking Simulator, it's somehow worse. It is Cosmic King, of course. All right, chat, ready? Anyway, this is game number 19. You never see me speed on this? Yeah, I, I don't really do the uh, less than five minute game that's a meme very often. I think it showed up on a Wheel of Games once and everyone in chat was like, what the fuck is this? Chat, by the way, in case you're wondering, this is another one out of five. Why? I have done nothing but hold down forward this whole run. All right, chat, we're hitting our only bit of tech here. I'm slightly turning towards the bench. All right, here's the, here's the only bit of tech in the run, chat. You turn around. All right, that's the only way to take on the run. Now you're wondering, when does the run die? When, uh, when does the run end? When she ends. Hello, the tier two for 36 months. That is nonsense. Remember April Fool's back in 2018? It was April Fool's. <laughs> It was a Dutcher with a tearing to grow We had some fun April Fool streams throughout the years, chat. I'm saying that right now. Like, Yu Gi Oh! for the memories of Lowrider, that was the first time we sh uh, did shit posting. In case you're wondering, when does the run die? It's RNG. So, it, it dies when she dies. Die da hier nie overloop, haar portret al lang verloren, een blauw kruisje nooit gedoopt. En Roger Well, there's not a lot of tech. You walk forward and you die. What tech? Does this be up at all? No. I mean, I think it's RNG. The veil schaduw. He just dies. That's it. There's no way to make her die at, like faster outside of she just dies faster. Right, I paid five dollars for the ship house. I don't know. Oh, she's getting sleepy. The flies are going. Hold on. GG! We did it! Wait! No, she's not alive. Wait, is she? No, no, she's dead. Woo! We did it! Oh, she's dead. Woo! F? It's not a world record. <laughs> I like half of chat cheering and half of chat at a cap. I'm fucking dumb playing that. Is that really it? That's it. That's it. House of Caravan. Anyway, chat, that game's a fucking one out of five. Wow, I can't believe it. All right, ready? Oh, it's beautiful, Chell. Oh, anyway, this game takes 30 seconds. All right, okay, on. On. Wayne. Mom, I... All right, um...
Okay, am I trapped? Hold on. A key. Hold on, I can get out of this, I think. Can I? Hold on, get out of this chat. Hold on, we can do this, we can do this. Chair glitch? Yeah, I, I, so I did the chair glitch. How, how do I get... I actually never got out of this normally, though. Hold on. I might be able to do this. I need something. A matchbox. Oh, and chat, is there a chair in here? Can I need a chair? I might need a reset. There might be a resetter, chat. Might be a resetter. Yeah, you know what? This is probably a resetter. Oh, can I grab this? Wait. God damn it. Oh, book. God damn it. Hold on. I need something. Yeah, hold on, chat. This is going to be a resetter. How about we reset the run? I need the chair to follow me. Maybe stop blocks. It takes. It actually, it only takes 12 seconds to do it right. Hold on. Shit. Wait, maybe, maybe, maybe. God damn it. Yeah, do it again. Yeah, do it again, chat. We're gonna have to give attempts until we get it. This game be under a minute? Better than under a minute, Zanga. You can beat this game in 12 seconds to do it properly. And that is much better. Holy shit. Okay. Hold on. A key. Need something. Hold on. Uh hold on, almost there. Almost there. This is scuffed as hell, but if I get downstairs, we're fine. I need something. Wait, hold on. I need something. I need something. All right, GG, we did it. That's it. You get that key, you go to the front door. I know you must hate me now, and I understand that. I'm not proud of some of the things I have done. It's scuffed, but we did it. However, I will do anything. Anyway, well, 17, 18, 19, 20. Game number 20, chat! That's 20 games! Oh my god, I can't believe it! Are a caravan I told you we're hitting the, the short games block. For centuries, the caravans have had the unfortunate tendency to die young. Before long... Alright, we have one more short Lady game Madeline for getting the serious game. What happened? Uh... You will become the last of the caravans. We... We became the last of the caravans. I am sure that someday soon... You will have to do at least the same things I have done to protect the caravan. Well, game 21 is going to be play novel. Anyway, chat, in case you're wondering, how's the caravan? From the mansion to the Two hospital. out of five game. But most of all, it's short, the but at least you do something. The There's a trick you do. It's a cool trick. It's just, Therefore, it's too short. It's 13 seconds. A healthy life There's not really a whole lot of longevity outside of memes. An urge. Uh, after this, we get some actual speedruns again, so don't worry, we're hitting actual gameplay again. Alrighty, chat, ready? Okay, I bet you're ready for Silent Hill, uh, play novel. You're wondering, what the hell is this game? Well, first of all, welcome back from the out, everyone. 
two. Yeah, have a good night, Cello. Rest easy. Thank you again for uh, the tier two and just for being around. It's always nice having, always nice having you around, Cello. So um, yeah, Chad. So this is Silent Play novel. This is a Game Boy Color, our Game Boy Advance Color. Um, it's not a twenty-four hour stream now. I've been breaking it among many streams. But this is a Game Boy Color Silent Hill game or Advance, where the hell it is, and um. It's about as good as you expect it to be. It's a visual novel, so buckle up. Yes, it runs exactly how you think it does. Anyway, um, yeah, let's go. Alright, anyway, um... By the way, I don't read Japanese, and you probably don't either. So, um... Play novel. Play novel. Yeah, you just keep hitting next. There's one puzzle in the game. You know the weirdest fact about this game, chat? This is the game that proves where Silent Hill takes place. Oh my god, look at Harry Mason wake up. It is. Beautiful stuff, Jack. Beautiful stuff. The funniest part is you do- I did this game before I did regular Silent Hill 1. Is that weird? It might be. It's funny? It is, isn't it? Alright, chat, we got our first fight. Alright, we won. There, there you go, that's the fight. Uh, they kind of matter. Uh, but also, I... Uh, no, they matter. They do matter, actually, Zopita. I don't know why you're answering for me. No, they do matter. They do matter. Funny enough, Kibana. Uh, certain dialogue choices allow the game to end faster. Can you lose? Uh, technically, ending the game at all is a win. Always got the same fan, the same ending. That sounds like a skill issue. Because this game famously has many endings. It's kind of weird. Like that's what the trading cards are. On right, digital level, yeah. Oh, here we go. Hold on. Uh, chat. Time for the only puzzle in the game. Uh... This is- sorry, there's like three, I think. Does that have UFO ending? No. Alright, we did the puzzle. There it is. And in terms of ending, you want to die fast. Either way, yeah, don't answer for me. Don't answer my own questions. Dog ending? It's, that's Sonal 2. This is Sonal 1. That was the next right. I'm doing good, by the way. No, you can't just quit the game. You have to get an ending. Also, the other skill is how quickly can you mash buttons. Which, you're pretty much mashing buttons for 10 minutes. There we go. Beautiful stuff. As we all A. I actually don't know if that was a B. I just, I just fuck around. Critical Maryland is Ryan Cole. Oh, yeah, it's earlier. Someone asked. Am I going for 24 hours? No. 24 hour streams are stupid. 
I've been going the court. I've been doing about 10 hours per day because 10 hour 10 hour bangers are better than 24 hour like wasted time. I also don't really believe in doing a sleep stream because it's weird to me. Also, most sleep streams are lazy, so I'm not doing that either. I don't mean lazy in the concept of sleeping. I mean lazy as in people aren't really doing a sleep stream. If you're gonna do a sleep stream, at least turn on like media share or some shit and like annoy, have the audience be able to annoy the hell out of you and wake you up. So. I'm just doing many, uh, I'm just every day I stream, I'm essentially, uh, oh wait, hold on. Shit, I need a coffin to shoot me. I'm probably gonna end the game right there. Yeah, it's fitting for pretty. I mean, I ran a lot of weird shit. And also, once again, I do want to mention the fact that, like, someone might try to ring up, like, Ignisus, do these even count as speedruns? Yes. If you don't count these games as a full game, then you go for the memories counts as 12 games. Ah, it's not an I've been doing good. Uh, let's see. Four! Holy shit! What amazing speed tech jet. You just shoot it. That's yeah, a super cool hype sound whole game. I didn't care about the run half the time. I just mash buttons till it done because I don't want to think. All right, chat. Time for the other puzzle of the game. I did it! Yay! But there it is. That's a puzzle. Well, maybe they really like the puzzle, silly fair. Oh, God. Cheryl? Is that Cheryl? I'm trying to make B so I can actually get a game over faster. I don't know when I can get it, but I want to get a game over as fast as possible. Come on, game. Let me get a game over soon. B is for bad, right? It's Lisa! When the fuck do I get to die? Lisa, come on. Kill me. I'm just waiting for the sweet embrace of death chat. Okay. It's Dahlia Gillespie. There's like the graveyard. By the way, chat, I'll tell you right now. Take a wild guess how I rank this game as a speed run. Take a wild guess. I'll give you a hint. It's a one out of five. Hi, Swordfish. Yeah, we've done a, uh, a lot of games. Let's see. I said a one out of five, Jets. One. 
Although it'd be on the higher end of the one out of fives, in all fairness. Better than the graveyard and five nights at Freddy's. No, you're still just mashing buttons. It's a speed run. I don't give a shit about the story. I don't know. They'll be doing good. It doesn't matter if the story's good. It's a speed run. I don't care about it. What a beautiful game, chat. Alright, game 21. This being obviously a banger, chat. I've been mashing buttons this whole fucking time. Nice. Just gonna drop it in chat? Yeah, go for it. Oh, and Coffin's gonna shoot me, I think. No, he didn't shoot me, shit. Yeah, what game, by the way? Hold on, what game? I want to uh, drop it in Discord, because then I get to incentivize more people to join Discord. Dark on the final recommended. Yeah, I said drop it in Discord, the more because then I'll incentivize people to join Discord. Yeah, what an ending. Uh, remember when Cheryl had a gun? I remember that part. I have no idea what the fuck's going on anymore. Pro Pirates Run in the nine months. Enjoy the emotes and the scissors. Thank you very much. How are we doing good today? GG. To you did it. Enjoy the Twitch baby emotes and the scissors. Thank you once again. Hope you're doing good. Also, cheers, Pro Package Player. What a beautiful game, chat. What a beautiful game. Anyway, it's a one out of five. Yeah, wow, I can't believe it. Also, I don't even know the route. I just mash buttons till I'm done. And I hope I get it right. I don't solve the puzzles. You see, detention's actually good. Let's see. Yeah, detention's actually good. Also, I actually have really good notes for detention, even still, so I'm gonna use those. Wow, chat, I can't believe it. He did solid play novel. I think that's good. Oh, here we go, chat. Alright, let's do attention. I learned to play this more efficiently. Well, funny enough, I actually have really good notes for detention. Uh, chat, this is back when Ichdysis took really good notes. Such a good game. Oh, I love this game so much. Uh, I do apologize, chat. You're pretty much not going to be able to read the story at all. Uh, because uh, I have the text in Korean. And um, obviously, um, one, it was two things. One, I can't imagine most of you can read Korean. And two, I don't have the Korean language pack on my computer. So you're just going to see a bunch of like dot dot dots and like weird symbols. I don't mean weird. I'm not saying the weird symbols is Korean. I mean, quite literally, the weird symbols are because I don't have a Korean keyboard. So it's just not going, it's just going to be like, question mark. 
Yeah, it's punctuation and shit. Good save? It's not even a save. I'm just merely, like, explaining. Because someone might go like, oh, what are you talking about? That's like, no, no. I literally mean it just... I don't have a Korean keyboard. <laughs> or, yeah, I would need to install a codec or um, a pack or something. But yeah, Voxybox, fun fact. Uh, my first ever song for, like, you know how I have the intro playlist? Detention was, like, the song I used. It was the gunshot song. Because I fucking love that for intros. So I began a lot of streams with that song. Alright. Yeah! It was the uh, the gunshot song. Anyway, chat, this game is actually a good speedrun. Shockingly enough. Like, we went through, like, two games of sh- or, sorry, four games of shit. You play an actual game again. Hey, does anyone know this guy's name, by the way? His name's Wei, right? It's Ray and Wei. I could, I could be wrong. I think it's Wei. Let's see. Yeah, it's way. Okay, let's see. Yeah, this game is actually pretty fun. This game is amazing. By the way, I'm saying right now, like the speedrun's obviously not gonna do an amazing justice. If you've never played this game, it's so fucking good. I just don't run this game all the time because, like, it's... Actually, I don't even know why I don't run this game. I can totally do this game again. And so, Lee Des, thank you very much for the 217 months. Hope you're doing good today. Enjoy the emotion of the city once again, and cheers. Hope you've been good. Wait, no, I just... I really don't know why I don't do this game enough. Probably because it doesn't have a whole lot of, like... It's not really a flashy game. It's very... What's the word? This game is very point and clickish. Subtle? Well, it's not even subtle skips, it just. It unfortunately hits a lot of the uh, poorer notes of a point and click speedrun. It's definitely among the better point and clicks, but like, it's still a point and click. Like, a point and click speedrun can only be so good. This cat lady vibes is pretty accurate. Ah, there's a queen of coins. Yeah, she is following me. It does have an English play. Yeah, you can totally play the game in English. It is, it's faster to play in Korean, so we're playing Korean. <laughs> ah. Oh, I fucking love this game. Which, I can tell you right now how I rank it, like, just knowing how I do this. It's a... I might do the tier list ranking along with numbers, chat. You, you, like, I think that's better, right? Doing both tier list and number. Like, it makes more sense to do both. This is a 2 out of 5 on the speedrun scale. In my opinion, 2 out of 5. However, this wouldn't be a 2 out of 5 in the sense that, like, it's... How would I put it? It would be, like, a C tier. 
Like, it's certainly not bad, but like, it'd be like a high two, low three kind of deal. Yeah, it'd be like, speedrun wise, it's very, it's very basic. It just doesn't really have a whole lot going beyond that. Neat game, fun to watch, just not very, uh, like, you, you, uh, here, here's how I do it. You would speedrun this game once, you would never speed on this game for eight hours. If I had to grind this game for eight hours, I would um, probably cry. Like, I would never grind this game for record. <laughs> Some people might like that. I don't want to. <laughs> ah. I said, some awesome fucking imagery, man. Now, oh, Strat, you ready for plot twist mode? We're playing as the girl. It's girl. Oh, yeah, just, you know, River of Blood. It's casual time, be man. Scary, right? Ah. Uh... Why the guy hanging? He felt like it. Ever play Ghost Rider Tokyo? Yes, I actually sped ran Ghost Rider Tokyo, and we'll be doing it again later on throughout this marathon. Don't know when it comes up, but much later, because it's uh, like a later era game. Anyway, chat around game number 22, I'm pretty sure. He just hanging out? Yeah, just hanging out. You get it, Emma. You get it. E. No way. I'm gonna play it safe, by the way. There is a trick you can do where you can, like, uh, phase through these people. But uh, I'm not gonna do it. Why? I don't trust myself. <laughs> we shall see. Although, tell me, my count might be a little bit inaccurate because I'm not counting to like fucking Waltz and Gromit on this, so. And also, we're gonna be getting inaccurate because I'm also putting the long games earlier. So, it'll be a bit hard to say. Alright, let's see now, chat. Uh, uh, let's go. No awesome grommets? Uh, no one has paid me $5,000. I did Wallace and grommets? Not during this marathon. Oh, wait, hold on. There we go, okay. It's a fun game. It does suck me coins, and you have good taste. Uh, do I have a total playtime estimate? Uh, well, this game's gonna be about an hour. But also, my splits gonna be inaccurate because they're also including wait times. Oh, chat, one dice. Marathon? I don't know. Um, in theory, it can take 160 hours, but I have no way of calculating this. Because that uh, assumes a lot. Why did she punch the mirror? She felt like it. So we'll have to see. Oh, I'm going this way. Alrighty.
Oh, God damn it. Uh, let me do that again. I fucked up, chat. See, we did it. Uh, uh, and it is quite the spooky game, isn't it? I got that one. I can't have anything in the sink. Yes, there's dice in there. Hooray, I did it. There's a bit of sharp sounds in this game. I could turn it down a little bit, but I don't think the audio is too loud, right? I could be wrong, though. Uh... Hold on. Hold on. It's right, good enough. The break days in between. Uh, well, I'll take now. I'll take you know some days off in general. <laughs> like I'm taking Friday and Saturday off because I'm wanting. I want to watch Barbenheimer and I want to watch some metal. That's what I'm mainly doing for stream days. And that's how I've been counting it so far. Knife. Yeah, it's fun. I'm gonna chat, you ready to play dice? I'm gonna throw some bones. Except they're not bones, they're teeth. Practically the same thing. And I get a free bowl, fuck yeah. Now seeing Oppenheimer? Yeah, me too. I wanna watch uh, Barbenheimer, it's gonna be fun. Yeah, exactly, Kits of Bean. Alright, chat. I bet you're gonna like this puzzle. Sorry, but there was no other way. I thought that was fun. Oh wait, there's not a bounds in this game now. I forgot all about that. I don't remember how to do it. It was found after I... There is not a bounds. I remember that. You can actually skip most of this chapter, I think. I just remember how to do it. So I'm playing the game legit. You know what? I should learn the out of bounds. I forgot. This game has an out of bounds now. It's one. You can uh, clip to a wall. CBT. I suppose that's fair. Uh, no idea who Oppenheimer is. Uh, history of uh, the atomic bomb, I suppose. Why we get detention? Uh. <laughs> If you're wondering the actual answer, literacy. We read too many books. Sorry, right, we didn't read enough books, one of the two. Anyway, uh, hold on. Uh, 212. We're looking for 211. Nice.
Yeah, I think it's like over here. There's like a fence or something you can clip through. Only the wrong way. Yeah, you can clip through this wall. That wall right there. You can clip through that. I just don't know how to do it. Wait a minute, chat. The door's locked. Wait a minute. <gasps> chat, I can't believe it. It's the guilt of our sins for murdering Wei's neck. I never would have guessed it. It's Yaoi hands, also correct. Alright, we did it. Never mind about it. I mean, people like, uh, you know... What's the word? I guess more time biographical is directed by Christopher Nolan. We murdered Way? It was the only way we were getting out of that school. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! Ah, Chad, I'm full of them today. Uh, cheeky guy. Cheeky, cheeky guy. Alright. Thank God, by the way, I have decent notes in this game. Alright, let's go. Yeah, so that would make sense. I don't really get people not being into it, but yeah, I think Grace Average Punch is the nail on the head. Is this the room I'm thinking about, by the way? It is. Wait, no, I need this room later. I like thinking board speedruns, are doing good. Well, chat. All right, I, all right. I want to watch Barbenheimer because I want the bleakness of, uh, you know, some of the darkest recesses of humanity, followed by uh, what's the word? The uh, the optimism that the Barbie movie could inspire. How's my body doing again? Chat. I'll see how it goes. I'll let you know, I'll let you know how it is. Chad, I haven't seen the movie. Don't spoil it for me yet. I want to channel my inner energy. I'm watching Oppenheimer first, and then I go get brunch. I can't believe it. it's, it's your average gamer. He caught a whiff of girl, but he didn't realize it was girl, so he's running away. Yeah, I think Oppenheimer into Barbie's the way to go. Sniff up. Exactly, gets me, and I can't believe it. Look, it's some guy. This around creeps at Comic Con? I don't recommend that. I don't think they're as polite as Japanese ghosts. Wait, no, this is not Japanese. Sorry. Uh, this is uh, traditional Chinese or no, this is uh, Taiwanese. Taiwanese. These are Taiwanese ghosts. I apologize.
So, um, yeah, I think the uh, Taiwanese uh, spirits might be more polite than creeps of Comic Con. Oh, so I wasn't starting. I'll be doing good. Pockets, yeah, I see Marlon and the rest of my experience. Oh, there you go. Yeah, it's, uh, Taiwanese. Red Candle Games is a, uh, Taiwanese, uh, game dev. From Taiwan. Yeah, look, I have oodles of money, and now I'm gonna spend it by throwing it on the fire. Can't believe it. That should be nice. Kicking it. Well, that's good. Uh, there's a paper and gods first. Cool. Uh, let's get a little bit better on Savo. By the way, it should be fun seeing uh, the duality of man between the two movies. not going bad, but you know what I'm talking about? Like, it's definitely a neat game. The puzzles are fun. There's a lot of puzzles in this game. And just the highlights of this game are absolutely going to bleed a lot more in the casual experience than the speedrun experience. Like, speedrun-wise, you might just have missed a lot of the, the fun. I went the wrong way, by the way. I might be. No, I, I'm going the right way. Cool. Look, it's the sniffer. He's back. Oh, God! I got sniffed. I didn't turn around in time. Yeah, I'm not a fan of that one, Drev. I'm not gonna go for that. Like, I'll, I'll probably watch Saw, but I'm not gonna watch... I'm not gonna talk about Paw Patrol. Like, I don't know, man. Barbie at least has a relative interest. Like, I don't know. I, I kind of enjoy the idea of the, uh... I, don't know, I, I like Ryan Gosling. I like that he's just like me for real, for real. I can't relate to Paw Patrol. I can't relate to that at all. Why would I? Ah, yes. I too am a... a what? Dogs masquerading as pigs? No. That is great. Hey, good. Apparently they are. Oh, it's fucking great. Dude, I want my bones to crack. I need like more cracks. I'm not getting them. Oh, we already said it's starting uh, forced again with the uh, saw and paw patrol. Exactly, Mount Calf. Play Devotion? Yes. I actually speed on Devotion. It's great. I love Devotion. It's really good. Alright, chat. We avoided the sniff at that time. We did it. Proud of myself. Okay. Let's go. Exactly, Drev. Now, I'm not watching Saw Patrol chat. I don't care about Paw Patrol at all. I don't think mo like most people are going to go out of their way to watch it unless they have an interest in it. Like, Barbie, like, I don't know. 
It's got Ryan Gosling as the as the, the Ken Kennergy. I can relate to that. I can't relate to dog cops. Also, I don't have children. Oh, see, I'm Margot Robbie. The feet fans are winning in Barbie. That's how it goes. No world where you can relate to Ken and Barbie, not even ironically. Well, I can't really relate to Barbie for a few reasons. <gasps> I agree, Edward. I, 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 chat, I will absolutely beat the foot allegations. Dog cops are still cops. By the way, I don't care about the dog cops. Have a good lunch. Dreaming. Hey, I just got my snack box and I haven't died in a hardcore while yet. All right, chat. Time for this to be tough. Just you not. Free hand. You hated it? Which one? Talking gold? Damn. Then you go driving up, then you defeat. Oh, did, did you download the Jordans mod? Uh, he makes jury wear Jordans. I'm not kidding, that's an actual mod people made. Hold on. Oh, I forgot to do the film projector, that's right. Wait, hold on. Take your right film. Hold on. No, it's her same. I only show the drone to you, though. I think so, yeah. I mean, either way, just be happy you're getting the freedom to avoid, uh, you know, the foot allegations entirely. The jury is the coolest hell character. I like jury. But chat, I'll say right now, if you main jury, you're, like, you will have, you can't, it's hard to beat the foot allegations. I, at the GDQ Street Fighter VI launch tourney, I played jury, and then literally days later, I was chilling. I see Mike Yuyama, I was like, hey, how's it going, Mike? And then he says, oh, like, Dice, I heard you're a foot guy. And I was like... I ain't beating the allegations. It's 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 Jover chat. Can't fucking believe it. Paris, that did make me laugh. It was pretty good. Uh. 
Okay. All right, we got this. All right, now I can do the phone. I missed one thing. Full embrace it. Well, yeah, it makes sense. And I really like playing Kimberly, but I don't know who I'm in. I'm kind of waiting to play Street Fighter until I die in WoW. Like, I kind of don't want to quit hardcore until I either hit 60 or die. And even then, I'm on a raid. Like, right? Okay, here we go. Yay, I did a chat. I don't know how it happened, but, um... I guess this marathon was finally the thing I've been kind of meaning to do, I suppose. In a good way. But you must understand, Graffetti, with great risk... ...comes great reward. And now you just slow level Paladin for safety. You see, I picked a Paladin because I thought it would be fun. And then I'm realizing that, uh, you take fucking forever to level up as a paladin. However, the safety buttons are kind of nice. Although, I kind I, I don't know, if I rolled again, I think I'd want to pick something, like, I'd want to be a tanking paladin or something. Ah, there's an effect now. Don't see as big deals who can think when they want. You never had your boss tell you that you have a foot fetish. No, you're not allowed to bubble hearth. It's actually against the rules. That's the one that yeah, that's one thing you can't do. God, I can't believe it. Average American police interaction. Holy shit. I can't believe this game predicted the future. All right, uh, mm. almost done. I've been hearing about it. Yeah, that's the one thing loves how you they can't bubble heart. They just, you know, it's nice to have the safety buttons. Any plans to play the new Five Nights at Freddy's? Um. I have not played a Five Nights at Freddy's game outside of one. Any of Five Nights at Freddy's one, I've never actually like played it all the way. I've only ever done the speed run because it's a meme. And a very little amount of watch it too. Wonderful place. I think my grandma's been there and she said the same public domain phone. It seems like a nice place. I killed you, I'm glad you enjoyed that. But, uh, right now, alright, chat, I mentioned it earlier, but we're not really doing any casual games for a while, because I want to get through all the speedruns. Although, funny enough, chat, I turned down a sponsorship offer. There were, I got a, I think I would like, I, I would have been paid to play a demo. I turned it down, because the grind set's too real. I gave a very polite message, it looked interesting, I was like, yeah, right now I'm on a man on a mission. Man can't be removed from the mission. A game? I don't remember, but it was some new horror game. Oh, so look, chat, the average American book. If you're wondering, it's a book on the table, and then it tells you, like, oh, hey, it's a, it's a book. And it's a gun. I'm great. 
<laughs> also, I'm not gonna lie, I kind of enjoy being on my own, my own grind set. Yeah, chat. Uh, so this game's all about book clubs. So we're gonna show her our books. Look, book. You can't tell it's a metaphor. Keep a book. Alrighty. Not doing bad. Not doing bad, Chad. Not doing bad. It's so trippy not having actual dialogue here because of the fucking, uh... Korean. Oh, you know what's funny? I don't know why this is, chat. I really don't know why this is. Um, because I bet you're wondering, hey, wait a minute. Uh, if you have no tech, if you only have dot dot dot, that's faster than having Korean, right? No. So installing the Korean, uh, you know, language pack, you can actually get the language and it's not any, like, faster or slower than not having it. You just being in Korean is faster. Wow, they have the raid. Hope you're doing good today. What were you up to? Tell me all about it. Oh, it was a good stream. Yeah, I'm not sure why it does that. It's really neat. Fast and Chinese. Funny enough, there's a reason why Gray Cipher. Where's the music? Uh, Mummy Demastered. You want to know why Chinese is not faster? Because that's a good question. Because Chinese would be faster normally. Uh, however, um, Chinese in this game goes vertical. I don't know why, but it's vertical. So it ends up being slower. It is the only language in the game that's vertical. Okay. I mean, it's a bit of a charm. Not a lot of games have you play in Korean. Free Kool-Aid? Chat, would you drink the eye Kool-Aid? Oh, I don't have any money yet. That's right. Another class over by Chinese then? Okay, that makes sense then. Also, this is a weird puzzle because you can know the answer, but it doesn't matter. Because if you don't do this, it doesn't work. What does direction have to do with tech speed? It ends up just being slower. Like, as a result, Korean's faster. But, at the end of the day, also, yeah, well, uh, wait, what, so, hold on. what were you doing today, Val? Tell me all about it. Also, I'll say right now, in terms of a speedrun chat, at the end of the day, if someone runs detention, that's based. I didn't need that note. There we go. Uh, 
Sí. Uh... Hold on. There we go. I'm placing attention. I might have been. I may have been Roz. Uh, pur what, what, what's Purple Source Rex? Wait, what is that? Explain. An old skin new Kool-Aid flavor? Cool. Wait, hold on. Uh, hang on. Hey, yep. Detention being- I do not have detention being a jury main chat. No. Also, this game is really pretty. Also, how are you doing, Latito? Hope you're doing good today. I love this game, man. It's a beautiful game. I do want to mention as well, this game looks remotely interesting to you and you've never played it. Play it. It's a really sweet game, a lot of fun puzzles that like, you know, even watching the speedrun aren't gonna immediately tell you, especially since you can't read any of the text. Like, it's a beautiful game. And then, oh, well, I hold loose speedrun in this game. I like this game speedrun a lot, even though it doesn't really at least seem like I speedrun it much, just because, you know, not a lot of games are gonna have amazing speed tech. A lot of games are just beating it. That's okay. Celebra? What is that? Oh, I of course, Phantom Box. Of course. Oh, 103. Oh. Uh, let's see. It's one. Three. Four, six. Oh. Kimberly Mains be jail. Wait, why did Kimberly Mains be jail? What's wrong with Kimberly? I like Kimberly. She was cool. She had maximum spray paint. The pig. Hello, Mr. Pig. That I'm sorry. Can we have an effing chat for Mr. Pig. He's dead. Specs. We put a coin in him and turn into a movie ticket. There's been a murder. Uh, she had to buy a movie ticket. She wanted to catch the. <laughs> she wanted to catch the showing of uh, Barbie. I got me a big bank when you were ten to get money, get women on the side. Oh, there you go, fresh legs. That sounds like a piggy bank with your eyes. I like that. Yeah, same around Barbie, exactly. Oh, 
You see, look, that's the average Barbie going experience. And this is the average Oppenheimer experience. Not wearing pink? Well, everything around her was pink. Let's see. Oh, that's the Arvenheimer experience right there. That guy. That one better, chat. It's him! I can't believe it! Oh, God. Doing good, Weezo. You're doing good. I'm actually doing really good lately. It's been nice. The past few days have been really... It's been good. I'm very happy that uh, I wanted to do this marathon idea. Like, I keep thinking that, like, you ask for advice? Depends. We'll see if I saw him. It's not about punching me in the back of the head, is it? I'll say you didn't trick the dog. Maybe you're doing good. It is Joel. Oh my god. Chad, this game has all the memes. Maybe we should run this game more. Oh, that's Joeler right there. Somehow Joel is there. Well, he's very important. This game understands. It knows what the game needs. You need a giant fish. Chad, if I ever make a game, I'm assuming we're like a giant fish floating around. No reason. Just he's just gonna be there. Why is a giant fish there? What does it mean? It's it just gonna be Joel. That's it. Uh, new Shrimbo community. I was account for five people chatting at once. Start on four or five. That's another chat. And so I stop counting. I don't know, man. I don't really have an answer to that. Which is which be weird sometimes. That's that's my answer. Millie, I don't even I don't actually know. Probably not the answer you wanted, but like Yeah, I don't really know. Hold on. Unregistered users. Oh, actually, no, I, I do kind of know the answer. Twitch hops around. Like, it doesn't update viewership one to one. So, like, the viewership right now that it's showing is probably more akin to viewership that was like two minutes ago. Action was done the game. I love Joel posters. Joel posting is always good chat. Exactly. Hey, it's, we haven't been doing bad. Although, it's kind of funny because with this game, I think I have some of the best notes I've ever taken in my goddamn life. On be doing good. Like, funny enough, uh, I could probably give my notes to someone and they would know immediately how to run this game. Like, my notes are superb for this game, and they're really fucking good. Oh, well, I'm glad you're enjoying it. A 
the rarest jewels around. Damn right. All right, chapter four, baby. Look, it's some old guy. Also, the story of this game is beautiful. We are missing a jewel. Which jewel? Jaw? What's jaw? What does that one look like? Well, I know you. Well, the thing is, you tab out, I know it can freeze the stream. You'll DM it. Definitely do. That doesn't work, though. <laughs> Raws have the setup. Oh, that would be good if you set it up. Alright, there's one. Wait, am I doing the good ending or the bad ending? I don't actually fucking know. Wait. Hang with the two bits. Got him. Hey, Roz, is that the setup you're trying to do? I'm going to double doors. That's right. Nah? Oh, okay. That dueling. I just keep adding jewels as we go, chat. Alright, I'll check it out after this run, probably. You dealing with 7 TV here? No. Because I don't want to... I don't want to adapt to 7 TV. <laughs> Look, it's nerds reading, by the way. I wasn't kidding, chat. The reason why they got detention is because they're illiterate. When's Gollum? Uh, uh, I'm not doing it. That's when. I just know I was mentioning you're gonna pay me by the hour. You pay me by the hour? Sure, why not? I don't mind doing it at that point. Gollum was that bad? Uh, I didn't want to do it as a speedrun because it reminded me a lot of Alice Madness Returns, but not, not the good parts. And quite frankly, for doing it as a one and done, it would be a, uh, you know, more effort than it's worth. Yeah, I don't quite want to do it. Yep. Alice will come, though. Hold on, here's the button. On. I'm gonna run all around. Oh, really? Yep. I'm JDR. I've been doing good. But, hold on. I'm curious here. Hold on. Give me a moment. Hold up for a second. That's how it goes. But yeah, we're not doing it. Uh, maybe I'm starting Gollum. I mean, it happens. Either way, I don't plan on doing it. I tried doing it, didn't like it, and I really don't want to do it, so we're not doing it. Pretty fair answer. Thank you, Windows Defender. There we go. Okay, that's more like it. I, I was like, wait, I'm not trying to get the good option. What am I doing here? Sweet.
and do Elm Street again. I'll probably do it again at some point. Luckily not anytime soon, but I know I'll come back eventually. Are they burning books? They are. Rip those books? Well, the, the books are evidence that they're committing crimes, so they had to get rid of the books. This game is that there's an illegal book club going on, and uh, they get in trouble essentially. Well, that's how illegal book clubs work, Chad. See, in the U.S. of A, you have a lot of freedom of speech going along. Uh, in this game, uh, you couldn't read certain books. And uh, that era, that, that, I think it's like the military era of Taiwan. So, um, you'd get in a lot of trouble for doing so. Oh, I can just leave. There we go. Uh, uh, I know what I'm talking about playing over hood. Wait, what do you mean for points wasted? You mean for like channel points? I don't I don't want to use channel points for that. Okay. I don't really like doing audio alerts, I don't know why. I obviously tends to vary, but uh not always the jam. Go. They can be funny, but yeah, I'm not I'm not super into the idea of it. As a person preference, yeah. I mean, I don't like them, but well, it's dead. All right, almost done, chat. Almost done with the game. Also, never got an answer on the golem one. the way it goes. Wait, I go the wrong way. What the fuck? Another good stream? Wait, for what? Oh, yeah, with audio spam. Gotcha. What the fuck? Wait, why is this working? Wait, what? Wait, hold on. What did I do wrong? I, I thought it was the arches. They, these th oh, there it is. God damn it. Oh. Good luck with that being you. Good luck with that. <laughs> Some arena games? What do you mean arena games? Like spooky sounds or spooky games? Right, that works a lot more if you're uh, someone who gets scared of spooky games, though. Ah, gotcha. I want to work here because I don't really get scared of them. 
Also, admittedly, like, I don't know. I have very minimal alerts. That's the very few that are done for, I don't know, bits. Mm. 24 hours in. Oh, shoot. We've officially been playing games for one whole day at this point. God damn, Chad. You're right. Oh, God. Is the vibe check yet? No, not yet. Probably soon, though. You think I'll start Alan Wake tonight? Of course. We've only been streaming for like a little under five hours. Like, minimum, I want to go eight hours per day, and I'm probably going to try hitting ten per day. So, of course, we're now Alan Wake. In fact, Alan Wake will probably be right. Uh, we'll be starting Alan Wake in one moment. All right, chat, almost done. Time for the final walk. God, I hope I remember how to speed on Alan Wake though, because I don't. Walk of shame? Quite literally, yeah. That's that's accurate, to this month. Alan Wake is a cursed game. Must too long in read the ending. Uh I think it's, uh, the idea, I think it's like Samsara or something like that. Doom to repeat yourself. Because you did not learn. This is the bad ending, by the way. The good ending is that you were able to move on because you learned your lesson. Oh yeah, this ending actually works with the speedrun because, you know, you keep cycling. Oh, there. GG, chat, we did it. Watch Barbenheimer? No, that's not the lesson. Lessons don't be a snitch. Oh, no, wrong. Lessons don't be a snitch. Oh, my back. GG. All right, chat, that is game, I think, uh, what, 22? 22 down? This game is a two out of five, but a high two out of five. It's like closer to three, but like, even still, it's just two, two point and clicky. Not bad by any means, but like, a little bit under Mad Father, I think I'd rank it, like C tier. Not bad though, beautiful game. But, uh, again, a lot of the stories, uh, yeah. Yeah, I think it is Samsara. I am right. It is, yeah, it's Samsara, I think. I was not then. I we doing good. There we go. Alrighty. What a game, huh? What a beautiful game. And chat, now we're going to a game that is, uh, oh boy. Also, the first 24 hours of game. 22 games in 24 hours. You missed attention? You did! We just beat it. Ooh, my legs are cool. You're gonna miss Sun Hill? Yeah, most likely. We're probably gonna do Sun Hill after that. I'm probably gonna end on Sun Hill today, by the way. Ethics. Yeah, it happens all the time, though. In case you're wondering, yeah, yeah, it's all the time. It's always annoying, too. Hmm. 
I'm gonna try booting the game, make sure we work here. You mean graphics? I mean graphics. Oh, of course, of course. Anyway, chat, I hope you're ready for the three hour speed run. All right. Let's go. I was in shock from the crash. Alan Wake. More like Alan sleep. There we go. I'm not gonna get world record in Alan Wake. Why? He's slow as shit. I had to go to the lighthouse. I knew there was something important waiting for me there. Chat, you have to understand. Clearly, clearly the two minute games don't count. This only counts as one game. Two minute games also count as zero games. You don't even recognize me, do you, Ryder? You think you're God. You think you can just All right, there we go. All right, my audio is back. That's so fucking weird. Go, Ellen, go! You missed your deadline. All right, let's do this. That wasn't reason it ain't good. Boom! Ow! Boom! Okay. I realized that the hitchhiker was Let's go. a character from the story I'd been working on. Chat, don't you love, uh... Don't you love Alan trash. Wake? Alan Wake, how about you wake up some bitches? Ah, of course. Uh, now begins the Alan Wake pun, of course, Jet. I bet you're wondering. Titus, what's the Alan Wake speedrun like? You know the guy from Never Ring Nightmares who's slow as shit? Imagine that. It's Alan Wake. Teddy with the raid. Welcome on in, Raiders. I am McDysis. I do a lot of spooky games. I'm doing every game I've ever ran, and right now we're on Alan Wake. We just finished Detention, we finished a bunch of meme games. Now we're on Alan Wake. Oh, we're doing good. How's Mr. Shasta? How's it going, Teddy Raiders? How was Dark Souls? Did you beat me, Jessica's PB yet? That's a real question. The cabin was a death trap. I had yep, we're doing the dank Alan Wake gameplay. On the worst rando lock. Wait, is that a moose? It is moose head. But yeah, right now we're speedrunning Alan Wake. This game is about uh, about as good as you imagine it to be. You are hurt. You should go into the light. You are only safe there. There we go. Uh, checks. Ah, makes sense. Well done. I have something. Oh, well, hope it was fun. And welcome on in, everyone. For I hope you're doing good, Raiders. That beyond the lake he called home lies a deeper. Dark Any of the darkness you missed? You mean like the darkness games? The no, those gonna be much later. To its so um, to its you got a mo you got a bit before that. Like right now we're on game 23. No. Follow my light. I was going to remote roll, so we're doing good. This is the 23rd game I ever learned. I entered your dream to teach you. Well, actually, this may be like 24. I don't actually remember. Either way, on the list or on game, I'm going in order. It's not a pure order is the problem. I show you the most important thing. The hitchhiker has been taken over by the dark presence. You can't hurt him now. The darkness protects Chad, him from all you have to understand, this is American Only God right now, American Jesus. Make him vulnerable again. Watch. Take the light. He's gonna give me a flashlight. See, he's showing me the light. The flashlight toward him and burn the darkness away.
Yeah, I know he's American Jesus, not just like, you know, regular Jesus. But it's still inside, controlling him. He can't be saved. He's still a threat. He is still your enemy. Here, take the gun. Take the gun. Good. Alan, take the gun. what I've taught you. That is all. I will give you back your dream now. Terrible darkness was I'm, I'm not gonna lie, it's kind of based. The, was the, last safe place the sentence Earth. from heaven for one moment gives you a flashlight and a gun and then just fucks off. Like, you know what? And now I'm gonna Pretty based. This is it. Ow. Alright. I tell the Alan baked. Cat, they're gonna chop Alan up and turn him into an Alan steak. It's kind of like the Jill sandwich, but it's Alan Wake. Is that Rambo Rachel, the girl who hates Alan too? Oh, of course, of course. Probably no fillers or Alan Fake. Reading, so you're doing well. Oh god. Cat, I heard when Alan Wake dies, he wants to have an Al he wants to have an Alan Wake for his funeral. <laughs> uh Let's act like Look, chat, it's the wife. It's Alan's bitch wife. Holy shit. I want a shot of the town in the background. Sure. I'll even give you a title for the shot. A city boy. Moments before he got eaten by a bear. Hi. Alan, time to vibrate. Good time to visit our town. I understand. Alan's shaking because he's dealing with a social interaction. And as a writer, he's never done that before. So currently he's riddled with anxiety. He's a B word? No, just kind of the meme of the boomer meme of every guy hates their wife, including Alan Wake. Famous writer such as yourself, Mr. Wake. Exactly. A pleasure. I'm an avid reader myself. I hope this isn't. I mean, I get it, chat. Look at him go. This is gonna be a TwitchCon. I'm gonna talk to someone just fucking vibrating the whole time. Look, Mr. Maine. Pick two. Vacation. In fact, you can physically see him. I can't believe it. My being here, just between the two of us. I'm sure you understand. Fair enough. As writer, I assume he's shaking from alcohol withdrawal. You know he might be. Very nice. I got a couple of really good ones. And I see you made a friend. That's cute. Right. Yeah. Hey bestseller. That was my favorite writer. Are you there yet? Barry. Yeah. Look at him go. You see, Chad, now he's shaking because he had to make a phone call. Eric's sure pretty great. Pretty great, uh, Happy Chow. Pete Chow. Pokemon in. Barry, we're just settling in. Okay, Al. I'll call back. I don't wait by having an alcohol is going to a con sober. Oh, God, no. Alan Shake? Here's Alan shaking. I love you too, Barry. You know he's going to be calling you every five minutes. Barry is Barry. I can always turn off the phone. Barry is Barry. I can't believe he's talking about Barry Allen. Text message. He's on a microwave of baby. He's a side of you too. Allen, we're here. Come on, let's get back to the car. Barry from Resident Evil, the very I same. I can't believe it. I've got all your books. I got the you see, chat, the, the real horror of this game is that Alan Wake has to go to a small town in uh, right Northwest America, I think. Let's understand, he's afraid of things like nature and diner pies, I guess. I wanted to find Stucky to get the key and... Cauldron Lake is a special place. You know, though, Very I want to, I want to, I'll stop joking for a second. I'll stop the already does. You can hurt yourself. I really want to go to uh, Even that 
I want to go to a town like that. Like, chat. They do have the north, like northwest small town, so it's kind of nice. Isn't it based in? Maine? Is it Maine? It might be Maine. It might be right, actually. I thought it was based around like Washington or some shit. So I actually never sped around Delhi Premonition. I thought about it. Like, I actually had the notes and Farouk walked me through a lot of it, but like I just never got around to it. I play control. No, I'm not actually Val. Don't worry, honey. I'll get you inside safe and sound before it gets dark. And I've got the flashlight. I'm okay. Alice had a phobia. The fear of darkness. I wanted to make sure we were inside Cat, with the lights on. Do you think I'd look good as a cardboard cutout? Do you think I would have made it in life if I get a cardboard yeah, cutout of myself? Look inside. It's dark in there. We need light. Can you figure out how to get the power on, honey? An old generator had been connected to the power cable. One, two, three. My cardboard cutout pose? I don't know what I'll do though. That's a problem, Teddy. I, I don't. What's my pose? Right Falls, Washington? Yeah! Okay, so I was right, it's Washington. But yeah, all right, hold on. Is Washington nice? One of the places I thought about possibly moving to is like the Seattle area. Like, I've never been to Seattle, but it sounds nice. Are there any events around like Seattle? Like, PAX, right? When's the next PAX West? Maybe I'll go there. Not anymore? It's not nice anymore? Expensive? Ah, oh, well, that'd make maybe a little bit less. Alice? Honey? Alan? Daddle sucks now. What happened? Surprise! The cabin had gone dark. All oh God! Were out. You live in North Seattle, a Canadian border. You like it? Gotcha. Oh God! The birds! Alice, I'm coming. All right, I'm coming. What the? Hipsters? Proper taxes. I live in LA. I already pay taxes. Keep going. Not the crows. The wild part about the uh, the crows in this game is that they eviscerate Alan's fucking spine. Then move away. Ooh, that's depressing. Though. Okay, maybe not Seattle. Gas station was my best bet. They'd have a phone I could use. It looked like a long hike through the forest to get there. I mean, I like being in LA. What's a Columbia Gorge, T Vector? Come down to Arizona? No. No. I'll visit Arizona. I refuse to move there. I like uh, not boiling alive. Anybody there? Please. I've been in an accident. Nice. It's nice to visit. I, uh, I enjoy, you know, boil alive. I've been to Arizona. I, I like not being a lizard. I like not boiling alive. It's a dry heat. The lights up ahead were a good sign. I, either way, I'd rather not boil. Done, again, I don't want to boil at all. Station to find a phone. Have heat stroke, then boil. Oh, of course. Anybody there? Hey! Like, I have friends who live in Arizona. I visited. I've been to Arizona a few times. I don't want to move to Arizona. I know that much. Go, Alan, go! Is it California? Uh, I've been to both. I uh, I much prefer uh, what's the word? Yes. I like my particular brand of boiling. Right ball, sheriff station. Oh, man. Hello. Hello? Right, there we go. Roman. Help me, Let you. Oh no! Farming equipment was Lord out awake. He's a writer, and his books are coming to life. So he's being, he's a nerd. He's gonna die because of his literacy. Moral of the story, chat, is don't read. There were more of them. That's what the game's been about the whole time. 
Yeah! Kick it. Boom. The dark forest was the last place I wanted to go, but I had no choice. I had to get to the gas station. All right, cool. My favorite fact about Alan Wake is that he apparently can't jog more than 10 seconds like I have breath. Yeah, you know what's sad? I'll say it to someone who's recently had to replay Neverending Nightmares. How the fuck does Alan Wake have less stamina than that guy? That guy is literally an asthmatic Bobby Hill. Alan Wake is arguably an in-shape writer. Like, in theory, he should be better off, right? Australia is nice. Chat, I did not want to move to Australia. There's a few reasons why I do not want to move to Australia. There's like a good, like a good handful of reasons. Uh, the most important one, I don't want to be that far away from my home. I think there's like a thing over here. Huh. Yeah, I'm afraid of that. Let's go to Lancelot there. Well, actually, the big reason, Chad, is I really like my family and I don't want to move that far away from my family. Like, that's probably the most important one. And then, uh, as well, uh, the giant spiders kind of scare me. Eerie hand painted graffiti was revealed by my flash. Wait, there's just batteries? God damn it. Of supplies near it. That to be gone. Well, that's fine. Hey, Lazarus Rising. Thank you for the raid. What are you doing today? Tell me all about it. What are you up to? I'm real? Because I want to live next to my family? I like being close to my family. No game. Man, no game. I had to make my way up some other way. Wait, what? what you mean, no game. You're not about. You're not a bot account, aren't you? Are you? I don't want to, no bot accounts. Yeah, before. That's more accurate. Okay. Misspelled. Okay, I was confused for a second. Dude, hell yeah! I got that without the hit. Somehow. Hello, hey, hope you had fun, Diablo 4. Are you doing hardcore or like regular? Hope you had fun. That was a harmless. Well, that's the most important reason, Chad. Kind of mainly the family thing. Like, the giant spiders in general are kind of something like, I, I don't want to deal with the toilets, Huntsman. Chat, I like I like being able to go to the bathroom without a spider attacking me. Quite important. That's uh, San Diego. I mean, I'm still looking around places, but uh, I'm kind of uh, just currently content with some of what I got. Is there a shotgun? Dude, where the hell? I need, like, a more gun. Oh, is that the one? Hold on, I think that's the one I was trying to do. I think it's over here. I know, like, there's a shotgun nearby. Yeah, here it is. Or flare gun. Okay, so that's flare gun. Because, like, usually it's not, like, one of the bosses, and I know that much. I think I have this one, then. Okay. Head to Neo and Captain Chris. The gas station was closer now. It's light welcoming in the darkness. Really like politicians? You mean like the guy who uh, shot himself in McDonald's? Belly Burster is the best with no cooked. Monster dog is second best. The dog is... Go, Alan, go! Look at Alan Wake go. Like, try to make sure my nose isn't bleeding. That's you? Is it you? I've tried for mobile, I tried weapon mobile. My need to, Reese. Another Grimace Shake victim. 
There's also the Australian politician who swam out to sea and never returned. And then they named a public pool after him or something. Which is kind of funny in all honesty. Like, say what you will, Chad. I have to fully acknowledge. It's pretty fucking funny. Talon is what food eats. Are you food? Alright, here's the boss fight. As you might think, it can be Okay, good fight, I think. That was actually a really good fight. Could have been a little bit better, but fuck it, I'll take it. body vanished, leaving behind only a lifetime of nightmares to come. Does it get lost at sea? Well, chat, I'm gonna go deep sea fishing. And with the emu war. See, the emu war, though, is funny, because, like, I know it happened, like, the 1930s, but, like, isn't the fucking guy swimming out to sea, like, recent, and the other guy shitting himself in McDonald's? I'm not gonna lie, about all things that are, like, funny, like, I think those are way funnier. The lights of the gas station felt comforting. Like, the emu war is more like the meme of like, oh, you know, there's like a form that was attacked by emus and the military just couldn't stop the emus. Or that there'd been some kind of fight. Because they didn't, you know, they didn't want to murder emus. Meanwhile, like, a guy shooting himself in McDonald's is very much a, uh... The man shot himself in McDonald's. Back here, sweetie. How was it? Worst weather I've ever seen. You should put some coffee on. It'll warm you up. Oh, uh, the Ashram. Yeah, that's something I did. Ashram don't kill a seabird? Oh, I won't. I'm gonna tell, I'm gonna tell, uh, Shiroi. Bad luck to kill a seabird. Coffee's on. Great, thanks. I'll need it if I'm gonna finish this. Bad luck tomorrow. killing a seabird, Chad. Oh, hey, I just finished those cover mock-ups. They're on your desk. Well, on the hour, hour. No kidding. I didn't think you'd get them done this quickly. These look really good. Oh, sure, until Barry gets his hands on them. Which, by the way, will happen over my dead uh, body. Uh... The last time the last time. Words. Oh, and speaking of Barry, he called. <gasps> Alan! Alan! Please check the fuse box! Why is the I'm fuse right box here. right here? I'm on it, honey. Honey, it's a power outage. I, I've got the flashlight. You okay? Okay. I'm sorry. I just... It just really spooked me. I'm gonna shine the light in her eyes. We'll just break out the candles. <laughs> Yeah, it's Energizer Batteries chat. Barry, you like jazz? Hey, Dr. Rogers, thank you for the tier one for 36 months. Enjoy the emotes and the decision. That's actually three years. Thank you very much, and cheers for the three years. I'm glad you've been enjoying it for as long as you have. phone's on the desk. The battery was dead. It's charged now. Have you started looking for my wife yet? What a good time. I'll say I have purple scissors. can you tell me what happened? I'm not sure. Harold Hall was in the late remember. 60s and Skumo we was shooting himself in the 90s. I walked out of the cabin. The cabin on Cauldron Lake? I feel like there's no good How time to, like, again, like, this? if you shit yourself in a, like, a McDonald's, no one's ever going to forget, ever. I left a little something there. Also, chat, as you know, I have no plans of murdering seabirds. Is Tommy going to meet me in Elderwood National Park? There's a spot called Lover's Peak. Midnight. Don't do nothing stupid, pal. Fall for the rest of his life? And I will. The early morning light hurt my eyes and made my head ache. The man on the phone had said, go through the fence on the left. As a Burger King, no one would care. <laughs> That's true. That's that just Burger King. driver's license had been placed on the front seat. The caller meant business. Barry? Ow, ow, thank God. Where the hell have you been? And BP oil has spilled 200 million gallons of oil. Yeah, I remember that. I'm here. Alright, sir, I've been in good. Barry, listen to me. I'm at the sheriff's. And he is squire. Come and get he is. I can't talk now. Ow, what the hell is going on? Sneak King, we're not playing the Sneak King. I needed to get to Elderwood National Park to meet Alice's kidnappers. 
No, 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 no Burger King video game chat. We're not playing it. No. A writer is a light that this is the original. The world of his story from darkness. Marvelous, sir. I just wanted to settle all the damage the Anderson brothers might have inadvertently caused. There we go. Are you feel need? Ah, oh, yes, need. Sneaking is hilarious. Well, I'm not playing sneaking chat. Jeez, Mister takes a swing at everybody. This is not her fault. She's Wait a here. very nice girl. Easy there, boy. I'm yeah, I mentioned that one. Hey, Rusty, right? That's why I think the uh, the guy oh, swimming out to sea is funnier because he's just hand, banished one day. Kind of full here. Actually, I'm sorry about this. Would you mind grabbing the registration form? There it is. Well, what you were saying in the car? Just listen to yourself. Oh. What you shot a guy? Also, we didn't do a good order. Disappeared. Yeah, oh my God, Chad, we got the vibe check. Shit. It's the 2 a.m. plus three minute no. vibe check, Chad. Look, Hope y'all doing good today. I got so into Alan I'm Wake puns. But we're doing just... good, chat. I know I did that earlier, didn't I? Wait. Either way, I hope your vibes are good, it's chat. Might are doing good today. And here I'm having a good time. I hope you're all doing good today, chat. Vibes good. Glad to hear it. My vibe has been good today. Honestly, I've been really good lately, chat. I don't know. I feel like um. I don't know. I feel much more strengthened on my resolve of uh streaming stuff. That's nice. Will need a most he banished. He did. At times it was desynced. Oh, what? no, it's 3 a.m. plus like three minutes. I just forgot to do it at 2 a.m. Right now it's 3 a.m. But it's 2 a.m. plus like three minutes. Or plus... It's it's 2 a.m. plus an hour. Let's go with that. I knew I should have gone to the cops. This wasn't the smartest thing. Okay, nice casual Mac. But I was still angry with Barry for trying to talk to the dead space. It's pretty terrifying. me right in the sheriff's station. The cops wouldn't scare them. And they had Alice. I don't remember it. Well, it's about Stephen King. If Stephen King were cool. And not addicted to cocaine. Ah, uh, who am I kidding? Alan Wake's totally addicted to cocaine. Radio Raccoon TV. Welcome, Raiders. Hope you're having a nice day today. We're doing every single game I've ever ran. How is Bloodborne? couldn't be far gone he had found a page from the manuscript it would help me yeah i hope you had a fun time i want to play bloodborne again it's been a while sure that rusty was safe was had dead a little bit for 10 hours i did that once bloodborne was a fun time chad i'd like to go back to bloodborne eventually oh no an axe too late someone had destroyed the circuit breaker there was no way to get the lights back on all right, good. Yeah, I, I saw I've never beaten Bloodborne though. I'll probably get around to that. Yeah, I like Life of Pi. It was fun. I like that demo. All right, I hope that counts. Ain't it satisfying? That's always good. Had torn a mammoth-sized hole in the wall. The Damn, I whipped him. At all times. Rusty, fishing is over. For those murderers who purchase a park, license never. The bears and wolves never approach any other. God, I hate this guy. He just like runs. What if you made an enemy that's an annoying piece of shit, Chad? But that's what the creators of Alan Wake said. Come on. Got him. Alright, he's dead. Go, Alan, go! We kill them. 
We did it, chat. Good job, Alan. Oh, I saw about park regulations from Alan Wake. Will, he'll he'll read them to you. Yeah, fair part of Alan Wake is how the guy can't run for more than ten seconds, but he writes about how he's able to like outrun the police later. This is the original. Lover's Peak was at the far end of the nature trail. The OG right here. I thought I dodged the hit because it fucking glitched out. The police also have asthma. Well, clearly it's because Alan Wake writes the story, and he wrote that the police are, like, super lame, and Alan, while having to lug around his, uh, fucking 50-inch dick, managed to outrun the stupid police in this game. What number is this game? Currently we're on game number 23. Give it up for game 23, chat. Any same place in most small Hodunk towns? No. I. It's 5 a.m. and I. Los Angeles. 23 out of approximately 160 ish. Run, Alan, run! Dodge. Shit, I go the wrong way. I think I did. I'm not dead. Oh god, shit. I made it! I made it! Holy shit, Deathless! Holy shit! That's just 40, 14. Hey! Well, no, it wasn't 14. I said we had 15 done. We had 15 done yesterday. That's more than 14. That's like... A magnitude higher. Say it. Although, I'm not gonna lie, Alan Wake's really gonna fuck our counter up, chat. We made progress, we got four games done quickly, and then Alan Wake happened, and now we're losing time we're losing time on our game spread again. Okay, Wild Fox, in that case then, Alan Wake counts as five ga or three games, because this game takes three hours. Shit. Right? If you're gonna discount small games, you have to give more credit for big games then. Too? Hell, of course I see him. Come on, we gotta move. Why? <laughs> you can't only have the bad. Yeah, Favor tomorrow. I lost my gun back there. Tomorrow counts as twelve oh, games. Well, I mean, all right. If Yu-Gi-Oh wins, Yu-Gi-Oh is going to only be the game, the only game of the day. I'm not doing more than just Yu-Gi-Oh. When I first arrived here with Alice, he you can't just have the bad chat. It's both good and bad. There was no way this was a coincidence. He was the kidnapper. <laughs> Gone, ye demons. Until dawn? Hey, we'll see. If Until Dawn wins, you probably get more games tomorrow. If Yu Gi Oh wins, you just get Yu Gi Oh tomorrow. <laughs> Friday, 
Hey, we'll see who wins. Stairs, Wake. Use the flares from the emergency box to hold them off while I get these boards off. Give me the gun. Yeah, no can do. Let's see who wins, chat. Are you kidding? Give me the gun. Who's really winning? No Yu-Gi-Oh. Hold them off, damn it. Let's cross your fingers. Yeah, it's actually accurate. You don't vote then. I mean, at some point we have to do both games, but. Just a little longer, I almost got it. How? Go, Alan, go! Let's fight, we'll see who wins. It could be any game, chat. Oh, and like, how's it doing good? Last games that are include the remaster of PS Plus. You could. It is an option. Can you go through that gate? Uh, I don't know. Probably not. This is it, Wake. Until sleep. No, Alan. You're cozy. Yu -Gi -Oh. At some point, we're gonna have to do Yu Gi Oh. So. The gun. That's the, the big thing. I'm surprised Book of Memories isn't really a contender at all. Oh, that one's kind of surprising to me. Are you going to put the top plushie in a jar, Wondrous? I mean, at some point, we're going to have to do it, though. I don't really know one actually wants to watch Book of Memories. I suppose that's fair. People ask about Manhunt. You see, though, I'm actually going to down the speed on Manhunt at some point, though. stuff. I just don't like hearing about how manhunts banned every five seconds. Sorry. No, come back here. I swear I'll kill you if you hurt Alice. Do you hear me? Come back here. We he had Alice, and he wanted the manuscript because he thought it held. As I was watch, the speedrun is actually pretty good too. No manuscript to give him. I had to get back to Barry and figure out my next move. Like, I genuinely want to learn the manhunt speed run at some point. this way that's right okay try making it luckily this game has a generous mini map that's on the upsides I put us and drive on the neighbors night but I would hope so I would hope so wondrous and that's pretty fun my only problem is I don't want to keep hearing that it's banned I have not ran American nightmare I thought about it and then I just didn't do it Tally's ran it, though. Maybe someday, Chess. Hey, right, then we can follow. Much appreciated. I'm glad you've been enjoying the stream. Oh, shit, that's just death. If I could fall down there. be worse i don't even know man edge happens to the best of us what can we say 
God damn. I didn't even follow as well. Go, Ellen, go! God, I really want to crack my back, man. Like, just a giant crack. I'm not getting that crack anytime soon. God damn, I hate these axes. By the way, Chad, in case you're wondering about this game speedrun, I can tell you right now what the score is. Fucking two out of five. It's too goddamn long for what it is. Like, I think American Nightmare is, like, better by far. By virtue, it's not three hours. Kind of degree of speed run that, uh, you know, I don't care how good your game is, like, at a certain point, if you're not doing something transcendent, uh, you should not be three hours long. Ever play American Nightmare? It's solid. It runs re it is crafting. This runs long as fucking hell. You said this an Alan mistake? No, I can sort of an Alan sleep. So are so good. Kick this down. What is the sweet spot length? Honestly, most speedruns can serve to be uh, 30 minutes to two hours. 30 minutes to two hours is the sweet spot. Oh, so I was going to day, but we didn't get today. That's a poor Allen rate. It is. And the scanner's only skips. It has some. It does it, like it doesn't really have anything like significant. Like nothing that's gonna save like you know hours or like. I kind of wish this game had a game breaking skip. The game is pretty linear for what it's worth. There we go. I was Rob Best. Am I doing good today? On day three of running every game I've ever done. And you know what? I think it's been going well, all things considered. That's been nice. Almost there. Good job, Alan. Salvador mentioned. Yes. No random better stories. I agree. As a man on sleep, have a good night, Phantom Box. Rest easy. Yeah, not a whole lot of skips in this game. It's pretty uh, pretty light. Ah, the malicious. I've been doing good. We're crushing it. Day three. However, we're uh. I was out of the We're definitely behind on the hour spread, but that's also because I ended up losing in, uh, what's the word? The oh, shit. Uh, Haunting Ground, Dead Rising, and Sound Holy Arcade kind of fucked my time. Apparently, I can add three games and be a more accurate counter, but, like, also it's not. Like, time-wise, I should be three games ahead. I thought I used to be one Alan Wake ahead, so I'd be 23 of 24. Yeah, Sound of the Arcade was a sad one. And then Alan Wake, the rider, just ran over everyone with a sweet car. Oh, it really was. What can we say? 
I mean, I'm glad it worked out, though. Like, we're, we're in a very nice position for uh, games, chat. We looking good. Or not bad. A good shit right now. Keep moving. Oh, God. I gotta get back to Barry. Gotta get back to Barry. Today's been a better pace. Like, actually, I'm trying to think if any game really, like, messed up today at all. Like, not really, right? I can't aim anything. Can you chat? The flare gun was probably the best weapon I could imagine against the dark things I was facing. So much fun. I'm glad I like silly bro. It's crashing haunts ground, but it was yesterday. I mean today. Like I'm going on day three. Like day three is been pretty nice, I think. It's a good question order does. Because Alan's a loser. A he doesn't bitch. know how to write a good book. Enough horseplay, wake. You deliver the manuscript and you can have your woman back. Simple as that. Of course I took a bit. Honestly though, like all things considered, I thought uh Corpse Party was gonna be like on Nightmare on Elm Street levels. Like the fact that it was as good as it was was shocking to me. Like don't get me wrong, I would definitely have to go back later and like grind it out, maybe for a new time. Especially now that I know more about the game, but like Middle it's the, uh, I'm glad that we hit a point where I wasn't as bad at that game as I thought yes. I'd be. Yes, I, I get you. Like, Nightmare on Elm Street's probably been the worst game so far in terms of, like, scuff. Uh, 4 p.m. 4 Dota night? Well, who are you playing Dota is the real question. Sadie says, oh, absolutely. Like, that game, like, I, I played it very safe, which is good. All right, chat. One set of birds. We're gonna shoot flare gun. Also, Alan Wake's kind of a fucking monster, chat. I'm not gonna lie to you. Like, what kind of guy shoots fl a flare gun at a, like, birds? I don't care how deadly these birds are. Like, he's shooting a flare gun at them. That's how you end up on a list. Good. Wind Rage and Luna Sniper. Nice. Is Tidehunter good? I like Tidehunter. I think he's cool. A version of Quark Party? Whatever's on Steam. I don't know. I don't know a lot about Quark Party. I never played it casually. I sped ran it because it sounded like a neat idea. I think someone talked me into it. Barry, you can open the door now. They're gone. Get the ammo. I'm, I'm Eat flare. You were having a psychotic Previous. Oh, we did it, chat. Yeah, we're Alan Waking. Help you folks. Name's Randolph. I'm the manager. Alan Wake, American oopsies. Oh, of course. Waitress down at the diner. Rose, sure. I should do a bunch of birds trying to eat your spine. You know what? All Alan had to do was not write that the birds eat his spine. And then the birds brought down an AK-47. And, like, they gave it to me for free and everything. It was, like, totally awesome. See, if he wrote that in his book, he would have been fine. But instead he wrote, and then the birds decided to lacerate my back. It hurt like a bitch. Much fun? Good enough. They're nano machines. Oh, of course. They're nano machines, huh? Maybe Alan really likes the grind set. Alan wake me up inside. Alan can't wake up. There was an island there owned by a guy called Thomas Zane. Now, some of the articles I found about him make him out to be a famous writer. But I ran a bunch of searches. Birds flew me to the person that's causing me all my problems. The suplex and I can never walk again. Uh, of course, that's what happened. I mean, Alan would do that, actually. Is Kermit? No. Under the lake erupted in 1970, and Zane went down with the island. I like Barry's Hawaiian shirt, a Chad. Local girl, Barbara Jagger, drowned in Cauldron Lake just a week earlier. 
they were lovers. Sure, Jagger's a local spooks. Okay, let's go. The scratching hag. Time for the best part, chat. You ready for Alan Wake's a totally believable police chase? Welcome to... to... Oh dear. Mr. Wake. I'm... Also, how do you know this chick's really possessed? Like, mean, she, you know, she's living in, like, a trailer park. How do you know she's not high on, like... I don't know. Something. Please, come in. And she just like, you know, out of her mind right now. She wasn't expecting company. You know, she wants to live the way she lives. Kept me going. Rose took a day for me. I had less than 12 hours left to meet the kidnapper. All I could do was get Barry into the car, work something out once I got on the road. My gun and flashlight were gone. I'd have to find a way to get Barry into the car as quickly as possible. There was no time to waste. All right, here we go. Yeah, they look she's high. Oh, you're gonna get it. Now. I agree, April. I hated to leave Barry behind, but there was no way I. All right, chat. Time for the best part of the game. Alan Wake outruns the local police department. The out of shape author. My difficulty? Oh, I'm so easy. So the Josh, most speedrunning is kind of in a weird sense. Unless you uh, specifically uh, amp up the challenge, most games will put it on the default, like, easiest difficulty. Uh, the reason why is because it tends to be the fastest. Some games don't do that. Some games say you play hard in difficulties. Uh, for all the games I'm doing, because right now, what I'm doing here, uh, I'm doing every game I've ever done as a speedrun. So, I'm doing what I would call the primary category for each one is. Uh, at least, or what I think is the primary category. Which could be what I've done before. So in this case, for this game, I never ran anything other than easy mode, so... Easy mode. But, like, later when we get to, like, Resident Evil 3, because that's gonna be one, like, we're gonna have to play that on hard mode. Because that's the main category. As well, in order to do the, uh, the challenge I'm setting to myself, I have to have a legitimate, like, time. Like, anything I should get could be leaderboard viable, essentially, is what I'm putting. Easiest usually makes sense. Yeah. Gold. Every split today is going to be gold, though. Alright, realistic guys to play Alan Wake's Swim Marathon. So we can see Alan Wake, the overweight. Oh, he's not overweight. He's out of shape. That's the difference. They don't know why he's out of shape. Actually, I don't know why. It's probably because he's an alcoholic. His liver is shot. It's a fact. He's draining his body of resources, and his lungs have to put in overtime. Are you on any PBs? No. As well, if I did, I won't. I wouldn't know, as I didn't factor in setup time. I kind of just like the moment I beat a game, I go to the next game. So an accurate timing method will do that to you. Red and gold. You know. The only way I'd be able to do that is I'd have to put, like, a setup time before every game and, like, make sure I end it properly. This I'd be the game burning after with this game. I went, circling me. The cops didn't stand right chance. in the darkness attacking they the police. Riot, well, the funniest part is he starts by, um, just outrunning them straight up. I'm just saying, alright. If you can run more than 10 seconds, you should be able to outrun Alan Wake. I'm pretty sure, like, even the most overweight of cops should be able to run more than 10 seconds. Ah, uh, there's one on Big Dog. We doing good. Uh, how you doing, by the way, one Ash? I imagine that the broadcast tower in the distance was part of the local radio station. May seem like a decent Howdy. Perhaps you could give me directions to the coal mine. Is he faster than RA7E? Then he might be. Actually, you run longer than 10 seconds. Me too. I can, I can, do, I can definitely outrun Alan Wake. Like, I feel like I could chat. There was no power to the searchlight. Oh God damn it! 
Hey, I play video games to, to, you know, have characters that are faster than me. I'm not playing them to have characters that are slower than me. Uh, I don't usually see around this time. Well, you can always try to go back to bed, potentially. Go, Ellen, go! It took me a moment All to righty. recognize the flashbang grenades. They were an ideal weapon for my situation. As the marathon's going, it is a going. It's going good too. I'm actually having a really good, like, it's been a really good time. It's super safe right now. Sweet. Uh, Star can run Alan's sleep. I feel like uh, anyone can outrun Alan's sleep. This time I'm going to do it again someday, and that's a terrifying thought. What? I mean, I was trying earlier. I kind of make this more, maybe more of like an annual thing we could. That could be a fun idea, right? I really don't think it's a bad idea. Could be fun, even. Could be. And then we can have three hours of time save in the future. It'd be quite important. Uh, Star could have run out and sleep. Oh, I already read that one. I'll be a trendsetter. I mean, nobody is going to speedrun this category. In order to speedrun this category, a person would have to run every single game I run and also, like, have the time dedicated, which would take up to weeks. At Maine. Alan's there should be a flashing that close to him. He'll walk it off. He'll walk it off. Tobbs, the raid. Welcome, Tobbs. Well, the other spot go. Welcome, Tobbs Raiders. Have a nice day. I will have a nice day. We're going long today, by the way. We're playing a game about an out of shape uh, rider because his liver is shot and he can only run for 10 seconds. You can out. If you run for longer than 10 seconds, you've been this man. Tab, if you don't know Tobbs, you should. Do the fancy shout out too for Tobbs. Tobbs is great. Welcome, this game is the best. I like that Alan Wake writes that he's a total loser who cannot run the cops. He talks about, like... I, I don't even know. Also, you can't read the best part. You have the guy who, who uh, shouts author names at Alan Wake. However, this game has aged in a weird way. Or not in the age. I mean, that age when it was said. The enemy just called Alan Wake HP Lovecraft, meaning I'm rooting now for the, the enemy. He's an author. He is an I, I, authors could run more than ten seconds. He writes a bunch of bullshit. I like the part where he wrote about how, how his dick was so big, yet he still managed to outrun the stupid police officers. That was my favorite part. Anyway, welcome on in, everyone. I am McDysis. I do a lot of horror games. I bet you're wondering what's going on. What the fuck am I doing? Well, I've ran a lot of horror games in my time. Quite a lot of them, right? So, I decided. What if I did a speedrun marathon where I run every single one of them? This is about 160 games. I'm currently 25 hours into this across three days. Why can't he write about his loved wife loving him? Because he hates his wife. His wife took him to small town America and made him write a book. 
Well, don't, definitely don't do that one. Definitely don't do that one. We're not typing that either. That would be an immediate ban if you type that. Can't get the shout out to an hour later. I should be fat more than an hour. I think it's like usually a few minutes, right? As bitch wife? Exactly. How many games I got left? Well, we're currently on game 23 of about 160. Hello? So, um... Yeah. Alright, if anyone has any questions, why you're more welcome to ask. We do uh, quite a lot of uh, horror stuff. By the chat, if you don't know Tobbs, you should. Tobbs is great. Uh, she is a chaotic VTuber. Uh, she's also... I, you know, I aspire to hit some of the sponsorship goals that Tobbs has hit. I'm fucking... Uh, just, I love the fact that she scored a 4 loco care package. Or today, we're gonna be doing tops as well. What? Yeah, she like four loco like gave her a bunch of shit. It was awesome. Oh, the next guy was good. But that was the only thing that hadn't been right with the call. How was the? Uh, you're doing a couple of games today. How was the space outlaw for one? Me. I could see a railway bridge up ahead, and a warehouse of some sort on the opposite shore. Dude, I, I wait, Todd. By the way, you you like an idea I have? I want to. I want to. I want to tell you this, because I have a great idea. I don't, uh, do you know anything about an event called RTA in Japan? It's a sp it's a speedrunning event. A bunch of uh, Japanese speedrunners get together, they play games, right? You think so? So what I wanted to do is I want to go to Japan sometime, like, either this year or next year. Now, in Japan, but well, they got this thing. Uh, it is a, a Chuhai. It's called Strong Zero. Uh, it's pretty much like White Claw uh, is a good way of defining it. And the thing is, uh, I have a friend who, uh, she lives in uh, Japan, and when she visited the U.S., um, I, got a, I got to hang out with her and a bunch of other people. Uh, but she brought uh, Strong Zero. And whenever I talk to Japanese streamers, it's Strong Zero, Strong Zero. It's, it's an awesome fucking thing. What I want to do, that was at the store, what store? Wait, what store? Hold on, which one? I thought about all the inanimate objects that had come to life. Oh, that was one college. have been doing good. No one is safe in a good horror store. Yeah. I think it was base, I think it was great. Hold on, I think it's just... 404, by the way, I think the Prime oh. Gaming for two months. Enjoy the emotes in the series, and thank you very much. I should do a whole song to I, badass. Peachy, the drinks, uh, drinks are base. Yeah. Chat. The plan I have, though, Tom, is since all the Japanese streamers are telling me about the wonders of Strong Zero, what I want to do is I would like to uh, go to Japan and while I go, I want to bring four locos. Because obviously, you know, the Japanese rave about the uh, the strong zero, you, you gotta bring the uh, the good old American, the good old American brewski right there. Exactly, like, I, 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 sorry, I was watching a stream of um, a Japanese speedrunner. What the hell am I doing? What the fuck am I doing right now? Hold on, it's like an elevator, right? Where the fuck am I? Oh, fucking stairs. Yeah, I was watching his stream and I mentioned the, uh... Anyone would seize a can uh, if you put on a flight? They might. Everyone was surprised because I mentioned, oh yeah, 13% alcohol. And they're like, wait, 13? What the fuck are you talking? He's like, yeah, 13. It's for a loco, baby. Like a four low can to explore. I mean, they brought, they managed to get strong zero over here, so I'm kind of wondering. But I might try it out. I might, I might try it out rapid carefully. But it's a good plan, right? It sounds like a cheeky idea. Oh god, the dumpster! Shit, dude, I thought the dumpster was safe. Oh god, I'm getting rammed! Okay, we're good. We did it. Today, I would meet the kidnapper. Yeah, strong zero is uh like about eight to nine percent, eight percent, eight percenters. They're good. They're actually, really fucking good, like candy. I would assume I will. Definitely, uh, you know, do what you need, wind down, have a good uh, have a good rest of the day. But I wanted to tell you that. Hold on. I think it's this way. Yeah, it's this way. I was a fugitive from the FBI. 
There we go. Taken over by the dark presence was trying to destroy me. Oh God! How are you moving? But it matched a text. Ranch, a little bit. So true, Lemonsoda. Oh God, though, man. You know what? I might need to hit that arc. I have to be able to pound down four locos of the best of them if I go to Japan. That's like being a representative, chat. A booze. Anyway, yeah, Alan Wake. This game's long as shit. It's like a three hour speed run. I think we're like an hour in. I miss this game happening. Are they all fake? Alan Wake is actively writing what's happening. At any moment, Alan Wake can write the story to say, and then I won, and it's all over. But he doesn't do it because he's stupid. If Alan Wake was cool, he would write that his wife just, you know, didn't hate him or something. I don't know. It's because of his wife. Well, again, like Todd mentioned it earlier, all he had to do is write down that his wife loves him, but he doesn't do that. And then Alan drove directly off a cliff and died. But then he came back to life because, like, he's really cool. You see, he could have done that disaster millennium, but he didn't. This is one of the wife bad games. Absolutely. Exactly, Monk Ave. You get on that too. Well, there's a dark part of version of my wife. She glimpsed my dark reality. <laughs> that doesn't sell books, it needs drama. Well, that's why he added in the chapter where he outran the police while carrying his, like, you know, 20 inch dick. He had to, like, coil it up like a spring and carry it. Like, the fucking. I don't know who he ran like, but he, he ran away. He had to coil it up, but he still outran the police because they're totally lame. I'll tell you write a book right there. Perfect. Your legs are in danger? They are. Erotica sells books? Well, then he should have wrote more about his wife then. But he didn't. Do I have a gun? Wait, I never grabbed the gun. Wait, why did I miss the gun? Wait, where the fuck did the gun go? That's fine. Okay, let's go. Hold on. I don't remember where the fuck the gun is. Surprisingly enough, the memory of Alan Wake hasn't stuck with me on where Alan gets a gun. Actually, I don't think he gets a gun yet now I think about it. Or does he? Stupid soft lock? I don't think I'm soft locked. The game's usually pretty good about not soft locking you, in fact. There it is, I'm stupid. That's the answer. Damn. Nah, now we Gucci. I have been playing over fucking 25 hours of games in the past three days. Which, not that bad. I think it's been what, about 10 hours a day? Probably like 30 hours a day. We'll be good. Oh, God. Honestly, oh, so I'm just saying, we're talking about Alan writing about things that sells. Why did he write about furniture attacking him? And then my couch started attacking me. Maybe he just really hated his wife's furniture choices. I mean, I get it, man. I get it. What rough. God damn it. This is one of the cocaine chapters. Oh, of course, of course. I'm afraid of Ikea. Maybe he had a really bad time with his wife going to Ikea once. 
I mean, I get it, man. I totally get it. You have one bad uh, experience. You're gonna write about that forever. You really believe she's writing. Her interior decorating was not appreciated. <laughs> All right, so Chad, I gotta ask you, what do you think was the bad furniture choice that made Alan hate his wife and write the furniture chapter? You know she chose something. Carpet choice. What kind of carpet did she get? The Ottoman. She probably bought him a chair to use her writing and he was stuck with it. Burgundy, floral pattern. Carpet in the bathroom. You know, that sounds pretty vile. I got carpet that's in the Dragon Con Hotel. All right, well then you gotta explain that to me. I've never been to Dragon Con. I don't know that, how cursed that is. Does it look bad? You can tell all that I hit his knee on every time. That sounds accurate. Carpet in the shower. Oh God. I was like a galaxy print. The only carpet I know about is that Portland apparently has a really trippy carpet thing. People re apparently really get into carpet there. Or, yeah, I think it's the carpet. My favorite part about Alan Wake as well is the fact that Alan is just writing that he's murdering everyone in the small town. So apparently it's his ass beat. Holy shit. And there, Mark, you there. What's wrong with the card plan? I've heard you mention. Can't blame Alan. Well, it really stuck with him. Oh, God. Here we go. Awesome. I'm learning more about the world of interesting furniture choices, I suppose. Oh, I'm not gonna lie. I really feel like Alan would be the one making a terrible furniture choice and then blaming his wife. Flashbang grenades were standard power company equipment. And hey, if you're going to a furry convention, more power to you. I believe you, but more power to you if you are going to one. Ow! Fuck it, just awesome. He forgot. I forgot that I actually bought the terrible furniture. It wasn't my wife, it was me. Okay. His wife had the bathroom all removed his carpet. Ah yes, he actually wanted the carpet the whole time. So many enemies? Well, yeah, Alan's pretty much murdering the equivalent of a small town. Why? He kind of felt like plan. it. I was going to give the kidnapper all the manuscript pages I had for Alice. If like, he murders enough, a lot of dudes. And make him talk. Furry con seemed fun. I don't know if I want to go to a furry con, but I definitely want to party with, like, furries at some point. I'm not a furry, but I hear furries party pretty fun. I, I, I gotta be down to drink with some. I think it's pretty gung-ho to drink with people in general. I think it's fun. All the different, all the dr different drinking vibes. You see, Joe, I'm not talking about that. That's all you right there. Good drinking. The I've heard that. I've heard that. Of me in the same direction I was going. A cold feeling settled itself in the pit of my stomach. Was it going for Alice? I understand. Alan's saving the town by murdering every single uh, person inside of the town. You don't need to save anyone if they're all dead. God damn. Okay. It is quite accurate.
Fighting game players. Fighting game players fun. I went to Evo um a ghost town. this last summer. For decades. And I like going to Evo. I thought it was quite fun. I went 7-10. 7 wins, 10 losses. Did pretty good if you ask me. I did go to a sewer rave. Last TwitchCon, I got a party in a sewer. That was a blast. I want to go to another sewer rave. Go next week. Have fun. Sounds awesome. It was. That's nice about running. I only need to run, uh, run a bit to ignore them. It's great. Rat rave? You're damn right. You know, it's really weird that I've managed to embrace the rat thing. I don't know why. I can identify all the rats, chat. Ow. Locked, hold on. Uh, keys in here, keys in there. Grungy, grungy little lads trying to get the cheese on the grind set. I get it, man. Alan, open the fucking door. Alan almost died because he decided to take a literal year opening the door here. Holy shit. Anything outside of riding is a struggle. I feel ill. I managed to make my way downstairs. There's a shoebox filled with books. There we go. Once again, oh, it can't be. Did I get that cheese? Exactly. We're in the year of the rat, I kept saying, just the rat gets the cheese. You know what? The rat does get the cheese. Exactly, Ross. Not a player, you're a watcher. Jewel, what the fuck do you mean you're not, you're, uh, you're not a player, you're a watcher? Jewel, are you sitting down in the cuck chair? The kidnapper had sent me a text. Is that what you're doing, Jewel? Don't, don't, don't go in the cuck chair, man. It was telling me to hurry up. Listen. What do you mean, listen? Birds. I don't know how the fuck the uh, the cuck chair memes became a thing, but they're fucking hilarious. Oh god. Oh, it's not a duo chair. That's right. Gollum wasn't the cuck chair. You're actually right. So he's the culprit. Who? Alan Wake? Yeah. Alright, it's time for Alan Wake to run through the cave. Alan? Yeah, he's listening to the, the vague voice of his wife. It is, that's the entirety of the game. Goodbye. All right, we got him. Well, like, nice and easy. Also, yeah, you pretty much zoom. Oh, that was Zero Colby doing good. You just fucking zoom through this shit, man. Also, there's one speedrun skip you can do right here. I'm not gonna do it. Why? I'm fucking I'm washed. Alan Wick's speedrun career ended before it started, but the idea behind the glitch is like you uh, do this. Where, uh, sorry, but you activate the thing while you are on it, and then you can just go to the top. I can never land it. I don't know how to land it. I can never manage to do it. Not sure why. So, we're not going to. But it's not like a super amount of time save. It's just not the end of the world. But no. No first try there, sadly. And yeah, that's the revelation Alan wakes up to. He has to run a lot. 
I think for a guy who wrote so much running in his story, he would write... You know what? Why didn't he just write down in his book? And then I was so terrified of what was happening. My lungs grew three sizes and I could run for days. And you see, if he wrote that down, he would have had a bestseller. That's why he doesn't have a bestseller. That's why he goes like hell by the end of this. I think he goes to hell. I don't remember what the fuck he's actually implying. I guess I never played Control. No, he goes to... You no, know, he does go to hell. He goes to Arizona. That's right. I remember now. Wait a minute. Canonically, he does go somewhere pretty fucking hot. Same difference. I mean, I like Arizona, don't get me wrong. It just, it's fucking hot out there, man. Like, I'm more of a, a visit, not a, not live out there. One, two, three. Oh, great. Another cable car. Hey. Just great. So Joe Connor Allen wrote. You see, he should have wrote that down. This book would have been a bestseller immediately. In the hell said best Arizona. Not wrong. From Arizona, I got like uh, friends who live in Arizona. And again, it's, I love visiting them. It's nice. It's nice. It's fucking boiling. Oh, of course. Okay. Oh my god. You think Alan Wake really just hates birds? By the way, why the fuck did he write these birds who lacerate his spine? What, what, what the fuck do you think motivated this story? Maybe one time he went to the beach and then he just got into a brutal fight with a seagull. He was taking a sandwich to the beach and just couldn't have it. Then he vowed that day that he would just write, like, slander. Uh, dude, just man for 10 minutes walking to the sub where he literally cooked it. Uh, it's pretty fucking. I'm sorry. See, uh, see, uh, seagull skull is soft survived some gun once. You know, I'm not gonna lie, if a bird stole my ice cream, I'd probably write books about hating birds, too. Like, I get it, man. I get it. My god. Oh, that was Peter Jordan again. He's actually a Ninja Gaiden runner. Oh, of course. He runs Ninja Gaiden. I imagine there's a lot of birds in that game. Uh, uh. You think there's an army of crows that really hates Alan Wake having ice cream? Like, what do you, what do you think he did to piss off the army of crows? Like, if they're unionizing against you, like, what the fuck did you do? Don't piss off crows? But what could he have done to piss off all the crows in this town? Yeah, it's cheese in his pockets. Oh, of course. Of course. Cat of a trunk, I remember so many sourdough of bread. Not sure if love would be forgiven. By your cat? Oh my god, Syrinx, it reminds me of cats, by the way. I've been following the best Twitter account lately, and I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna advertise it every chance I get. I've been I've been I've been loving it. It's uh, about Pepito, the cat. Are cats? Adorable. Back or gone? Not sure right now uh, which one. Chat might know. Yeah, I love Pepito. Wait, Chad, is he in or out right now? That's, that's the real question. On a lock How long does Alan take? About three Alan hours. I don't know how long we're in right now, though. I wonder hope you're how doing good today, Auto Ako. Thank you for the Prime it's Gaming dicey. for 26 months. Enjoy the emotes and the scissors. Thank you. Hope you're doing well, and cheers, Auto Ako. Oh, wait, wrong way. 
Uh, I'm going up and get there. Crozier Pissay told. Oh, of course. You wrote about his Johnson. That's right. Does that mean the bird is just pecking at Alan's dick? That doesn't sound very nice. It sounds painful. Where's my selfie sound come from? The thing. Last night of the day? Nice. We're probably gonna do another game after Alan Wake, by the way. I'm probably gonna look into doing, uh, Stonehill. Or not look into doing it, we're just gonna be doing it. So let's take the kills. I like how the wall is there. <laughs> Fuck this game. The wall is there so you can't pass it. How can you rest someone from skipping that? Put a wall. That's that movie in ages. Oh, I love the thing. It's great. He goes back home. That's good news, chat. We are, we're winning out here. Brings joy to my day seeing Peter return, go in and out of his house. I could see Cauldron Lake. I thought I Good could find the spot where the island and the cabin had been. Or a poor view there. for the Crow Angel of Darkness. I mean the city of. Oh wait, you know, I think. Wait, no, what is it? No, it's Crow City of Angels, I think. Or I was close now. Oh, I was saying the Crow uh, sequel. I don't think it's Angel of Darkness. Fine. I think it's City of Angels. I think it's a method actor who gets too into its roles. Could be. Okay, I must. Previously. All right. I want to watch the first Crow movie. That's the good Crow movie. I felt groggy. Whatever Hartman had bumped in me was making me numb. I felt like this was happening to someone else. Someone I was watching on television. My fair, you know my favorite chapter of uh, Crow City of Angels? Okay, there it is, the City of Angels. I was a prisoner here. There were only empty sheets of paper here. No manuscript. My favorite chapter in the Alan Wake story is when he writes that he's so hungover he has to wear sunglasses. It's the best part of the story by far. Are we feeling better now? Good, Topaz. I got what you meant. I see you brought your pet gorilla with you. So sure, I'm calm. I get the message. Loud and clear. Quite right. That's the spirit. You're being very brave, Alan. I understand you're confused. I'd right. be more concerned if One you time. So I'm be like that. So I'm going to do. Blame you for it. Big of you. Where'd my phone go? Why don't you come with me? We'll reacquaint you. I want to check Twitter during this part. For everything you might have forgotten. Little walk and some fresh air. Yes, it will do you good. I got. Oh wait. This oh, there corridor is for patients. Most of them aren't here. Did right Alan deck this guy? Yeah, Alan saw this guy and immediately punched him in the Except face. Except for the ones who are particularly vulnerable, of course. I encourage creativity. Is that the crow stairway to heaven like the song? Here at Cauldron Lake Lodge. No stairway. I specialize in treating artists. I bet you do. Splendid, Alan. I honestly believe we can get this thing mm. under control if we work together. In X, yes. This way, Alan. I don't like the the name X, but chat. I just hate the letter X. That's a shit tier letter. Now, Alan, from anything done with X can be easily replaced with better right better alternatives. Of the matter as quickly as I can after an episode, so I'm just going to say this: Alice is dead. Oh no! no. You're in a very vulnerable hmm. state until okay. you understand and accept. I'm not a fan of letter X. Alice drowned. And you couldn't face that. You're suffering from hallucinations, paranoid delusions, unusual thinking, an obsession about love. Bit brought it back? Why did they bring it back? A feeling that everything revolves around Those you. Those Oh, that's different. Dreams. Oh, hey, Chad, this your is perfect. So I need to play an ad right now because I have the Twitch thing, right? I prefer referring to my L wife. I like, see, that's better. I like that one, silly. For you. It's not your ex wife, it's your L wife. <laughs> and she, she lost me. Trying to stop you. She lost you, King. You go this way, Alan. I wasn't. I was in Gax. Shot. 
So Good question. Along with it. Anyway, I got to plan that really quick. Right now, we're following the sky for lore. It's nothing going on right now. If you want to avoid the ad, ad block to turbo our server to the channel. By the time you're back, we'll probably have actual gameplay or we'll still be talking to the sky. This is a long section. Uh, so use this time to get a snack, man. Prime gaming. All right, plan the ad now, right? All right, here it comes. Yeah. Unless we fight the fantasy, it will return. I know the instinct is to resist. Uh, Think about it. Doesn't this make sense? Well, Superman S would be cool, though. The insane supernatural conspiracy you have concocted in your mind? You're a like horizontal coordinates? We both There's a better way. Why not make it H? Can be explained logically. Well, I thought it was funny, Roz. I never get tired of this view. Very inspiring, isn't it? Cauldron Lake spread below us. I could see Mira Peak on the other side of the lake. I thought I could make out the spot where Diver's Isle had been oh. when I arrived with Alice. Now there was nothing but waves. Oh, Alan. It Look at him fucking just waiting. A storm coming. Oh, Alan. Funny, I don't recall there being a mention of that in the weather forecast. Well, what do you do? Uh, oh, I'm saying the thing way. is based. Follow me. Alan, what I'm telling you is good news. Right now we're Dude, in it's control. been tripping me the fuck Every up lately. We're doing puns behaving. Well, actually, chat's been talking about how Alan is uh, Not a weird writer. Your profession. Imagination is what you work with. After it's been nice of you, Smith. I hope you're having a good day. Come as an immense relief to you. If it doesn't, why is that? Because I'm lying. And then the therapist course, turned himself into a pickle. Funny as shit I've ever seen. It's very natural for you to of course. think of me as your enemy. It's part of the illness. I let him talk. All, Hartman obviously loved his own voice. His words echoed madly inside my head. But I, can't I dug do my nails into myself. the palms of my hands to stay focused. To work with oh, Alan. Once you accept that, we can begin the journey towards... It happens to the best of us, Roz. Come along. Let's go hmm. inside. Chat, I have a terrifying jump well, scare for you. I have to warn you. I'm sorry. That's for staff only. Scary, you scary, scary. Hold on. Hold on. I'm sorry. <laughs> like, you know he had to do it to you. <laughs> Pretty damn wonderful, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I got you. Got you good. Well, he was building up to it. I'm a real bad dream, mister. You should be afraid of me. Don't want to run into me in the night, that's for sure. Why is this guy like that? Emerson, Mr. Wake He's like the guy from Shadows of the Dam who has a, di yeah, a literal I'm dickhead. Go away so you won't be scared. But you can't just decide what kind of dream you have or when you have it. Emerson. Okay. Exactly, hey, Vitor Smith. You, you hit him with the round yeah. two. That's Emerson. We're actually making some progress with him, I'm happy to say. He works on video Elbow games. It's trash, of course. I can't believe he's a gamer. Small creative effort, which makes him receptive to my therapy. Welcome back from the ad, by the way, everyone. No kidding. Oh, so I got this lady just waiting on cue to sing her song. She's faking it. That's too scary. I, that's why I had to give him the warning. You know I had to. You might have noticed the typewriter in your room. You've been writing. Can I, can I alt tab this game? As soon as you feel up to it. I can't. It freezes. Okay. You should continue. My rheumatism is killing me. There's a storm coming. That's right. By the oh, way, I was in tow. What a storm! Is I'll wait. I hope it wipes this place off the face. On Yeah, you gotta love it, right? He just and fucking these two are the waiting. That's why I mentioned, like, perfect time for not. We're literally just waiting. Tour. They had a. How should I put this? A heavy metal band in the 70s and 80s called Old Gods of Asgard. They even adopted new Am I stuck? names to oh, okay. complete the image of Viking gods. After the band broke up, they lived Not on a scary farm as the ghost. It could be. They are, well, in advanced stages of dementia. They are well cared for. TLC and all that. There's nothing more that can be done. What do you mean TLC? I'm afraid Tables, ladders, the chairs? The lifestyle has left its mark. Yeah, we should be able to do sound a little bit there. 
My head was clearing up, or according to Hartman, I was sinking back into the fantasy. I was convinced he was lying to me yeah. about Good everything. Thing he's not overreacting Crazy or not, the Andersons made more sense. I may need a hand here later All right, on, let's or, go. Storm's bound to make you know who's jumpy. You know how to play. All right. I didn't know what the we gave Alan the typewriter. But it could be my own. Uh, his his wife. I like that, by the way, that apparently the old men, like, the old dudes beat, beat the shit out of the orderlies. The crazy old fart hit her hard. If she was one of Hartman's goons, she had it coming. I had to get to Hartman's office. He had taken all my manuscripts. Then Alan says, you know, she had it coming. Tomatoes, cheese, and lettuce. I agree, you know what it is? So why the fuck does Dr. Hartman have the Alan Wake cut out? That nurse okay? She got hit with a hammer. Uh, I don't think she is, chat. I'm not gonna lie to you. Abuse? I don't even think it's abuse. It's outright assault. Which I guess in fairness, it's, you know, I guess these guys living in a mental uh, asylum, uh, want to escape. Am I hydrating? Carefully. That is true, actually, yes. Alan decided that the best-selling novel should have a, uh, a dementia patient, uh, beat the shit out of an orderly. He figured that was the, uh, the most important thing to write in the novel. Chat, I want to hit a point in my life where I matter enough to have a cardboard cutout. That'd be cool, right? And it's okay. She'll walk it. Oh, I already done. She'll walk it off, though. Burn me in effigy? When did I get burned in effigy? No, the Alan Wake run is not 25 hours. I've been doing 20. This is game 23 after 20. Uh, Barry, I don't have a light. Take this, Al. After 25 hours. Oh God! Look at the house, Al. Yeah. Oh, Alright, but chat, I don't know Stephen King. I'm not nearly addicted enough to cocaine. I don't think he does cocaine anymore. Isn't Alan Wake taking off steam? I bought it before it was taking off steam. Oh god, I'm filling the hedge maze! You don't need a casual play that Alan Wake is 25 hours. Could be. Ow. Okay, we're good. All right, go, Alan, go. You actually buy on Steam now? That makes sense. All right, let's go. I play it once. Well, uh, Bill, he probably bought it this game was like, literally a game of the year at one point. Like, it was like the game everyone was talking about. It's okay. But I enjoy it. It's just long as hell. It's the main reason I don't run it.
Also, this game's really weird because a lot of people remember it for the blatant advertising. Like the Verizon wireless ads and the Energizer ads. Which, doesn't it make- like, why the fuck would you want your batteries advertised in this game? Wouldn't it, it not make sense if your batteries are constantly, uh, terrible? Like, if your battery only lasts, like, 30 seconds, like, isn't that bad? Iran American Nightmare? No. How's oh, it, Michael? I'll be doing good. Thanks. Only our batteries to fight the darkness creatures. I'd rather just take a battery that didn't die in 30 seconds. I haven't? No, I'm not. I've never did American Nightmare. I, I played it casually, but never uh, sped around it. Oh god. Maybe. Shit. Oh god. No, no, this game straight up. I'll, I'll show you when we get there. Oh, God damn it. And Alan's spine was eviscerated. Unlucky. All right, back to back to the waiting section. Ow, you're alive. Let's get out of here. Can you open the marketing director? I feel like I would hey. care though. Like, all right, Verizon Wireless is fine for that point, but like, I feel like for batteries specifically, like. Like, out hair, right? And then I was cut in two by a weirdo with an axe. But it was okay, because I came back to life. Then Alan murdered everyone in small town America. Okay. I'm saying it's bad PR. I don't know. I feel like for batteries specifically, you might run into issues with that, right? I mean, I guess, you know, being able to kill demons with a battery is pretty I cool, but like... Gone in the crash. Barry was nowhere to be seen. Barry! Barry! Oh, man, you're okay! Jeez, it's good to hear your voice! I don't know, I feel like I'm maybe I'm too good at marketing, hard. Chad. That's what I've learned. Boy. Probably we're too good at marketing here. What a drop! Don't worry, your cutout is fine. Forget that. Are you okay? I hit some bushes, didn't get a scratch! There's no way you can climb down. Let's trust the brand and flash on the hands up shaking. Oh, of course. Help! There's something moving down here! Mm. Barry is a taken! Fucking Alan Wake. Anyway, chat, I'll say it right now as well, in terms of speedrunning, you can imagine why I don't run this game every day. You're gonna have to find your way around to the floor, Mal. I'll be waiting. Barry, just wait for me, okay? Ow! Mm. I'm not staying here! It's suicide! I'm going to the floor! I'm gonna go ahead and secure the area. Oh, six hours? Don't worry. Alright, Jasana. I'm on the case. Now he's Rambo. This would turn into a disaster if I didn't get you.
I think I next one on Barry, but Barry has better ideas than Alan entirely. Oh god. You don't understand? Oh well, yeah, it's about a, a you know an out of shape author not being able to run for more than ten seconds. Getting beat by furniture. How am I doing? Doing alright. A little bit sleepy, but not bad. Shadows crawled over the gate. I needed a light to destroy them to get through. Be chillin'. Day three, 25 hours in. Doing good. 25 hours of gaming, chat. Yep. Give it up for day three. Good, get the flashlight. I sense the movement in the woods ahead. Facing the enemy without a weapon was dangerous, but I had no choice. You know what's weird? Apparently the Alan Wake creators don't consider this to be like uh like a survival horror game at all. With every minute. I'm glad chat's been enjoying it. I asked like fun ideas. Good times. All right, not bad. Go, Ellen, go, go! Oh, Lord. There's a third version of the horror elements. That's only about a horror author. general direction as I was. For all I knew, it was Barry, caught in the consequences of leaping before looking. All right. Let's go, Alan. Go. I'm glad he got the flashlight upgrade. It's a long fucking game, man. It wasn't far. Any tips or advice we want to learn to speedrun? Just do it. Find like, all right. Honestly, if you want to learn, all right. Uh, if you've never ran a game, pick five games that you like. Well, let's plant the worm right now. I imagine a lot, a lot of there's a lot of uh, fishermen in chat. I'm trying to deliver each page to the right time and place. I'm trying or Barry, to happens the best the story goes. of us. Can you hydrate? There you go. I had seen glimpses of the light before. I had seen it in my dream. It was a strange spaceman or a diver in a bulky suit. He was the one who'd been placing the pages on my path. There's so many fucking bear traps out here. Exactly. Yeah, honestly though, so pick five games that you want to do. Alright, five games that you like, and then just uh try running. Try doing it. I don't need ammo, what the fuck am I doing? I hope that helps. See. Oh god. Oh, the help Zako. And then, yeah, honestly, there's a lot of like people who just try to like, oh, I must get the best time. No, you don't. Just fucking do it. You mostly be with yourself. I ran a long game. We should say you mean. That's fair. I'll try something you might like. Uh, preferably something you've Hello? played, because then at that Anybody point you'll here? actually uh, have a good idea of what you're doing. Barry. A lot of games are pretty linear. I know you. You were in jail the other day. Ah, my eyes. I've run through every possible course in my head. Hold on, I think it's like down here. Yep. Ow. Get out the window, holy shit. There we go. I need a car to get there fast. 
answer at all. Let's go. Yep, there's really no wrong answer to what you want to do. It's based on what you want to do. I felt bad for doubting him. After all, I made it this far myself. But Barry was Barry. God. So, I'm sure you have games you mind that you want to try. And then, I don't know, see how long it takes. If it takes a long time, you're not feeling up for it, no worries there. You can just pick a shorter game. Oh, God. I want to stand up after Alan Wake. That works. That's fine. Ten minutes. You can try running other short games. You can try doing a longer game. Well, you say never ran a longer game, but... It really depends on what you want to do. We did it. I can't stand up in a moment here. Alright, we're good. I think we're good. Known the brothers used to be some We'd be chilling. Brothers, but it hadn't really sunk in until I saw this. I need more caffeine, but I think I've had too much caffeine. Fox Tower Mobile, exactly. I'm so glad you decided to go it alone. Music's on three stopper. You got uh, the bone zone. You need skeletons, chat. You got the skeletons. Show them off. It's not skeletons. Uh, I mean, that's good. That's actually good. I like rats. And the boogie's always good. That was a bug bunny. We're doing good today. Yeah! Ow! I got in the life for all of a second and then I got hit with the fucking. Axe. Uh. Yeah! My speed speedrun doesn't really matter all that much. Mostly a preference thing. Ah, oh, the same issue. We didn't get, by the way. And then Alan Wake murdered everyone in this town. Alan sleep. I am getting quite Alan sleepy right now. Why would it be AI? Oh. I want to stand though. Holy shit. Oh God! Ah. There we go. Look beautiful, chat. New chair? Nah, I had this chair for a while. I've been, you know, sitting down a lot lately. Must well hold flares and stand up for a moment. Oh God. Oh. Alan Woke. He could be. I Alan woke up this morning. What's the premise of this game? Imagine Stephen King if he was addicted to cocaine. And also his books came to life. They're just like real Stephen King. Like, right, we're nice. I stood up for a moment so I can. I don't know. <laughs> nice. Exactly, Zexons. Yay! 
I like how that's the only difference they have. <laughs> Between Alan Wake and Alan Woke. Alan Wake, he hates his wife. And Alan Woke, he doesn't hate his wife. Awesome! You pick one of two directions to pick. Which way, Western man? Hey, Al! This way to the farm! That's going to be good. How's the third day going? It's going to arrive. You're going 26 hours of horror gaming. I am quite sleepy, though. That's been going good. See, bestseller, no reason to worry. Your cutout's good as new, right where I left it. Wife hates him. Ah, of course. Actually, I'm pretty sure his wife hates him in this game, too. <laughs> Wouldn't Alan Woke his wife love him? Hey, I think Alan Wake here has something to say. Uh, what's that, Al? Ooh, I'm Alan Wake. I'm always right about everything. And if I don't get... Alrighty. You look at that thing, Al? They really went all Time to climb. Alan was kicked out of the house. Oh, poor stuff. Alan. Hey, why did he kicked out of the house? The Viking boat looked imposing, almost like a battering ram. And this from the guy who learned about Ozzy Osbourne through reality TV. Oh, he was never on Elm Street. That was yesterday. So, yeah. Howdy, Mars. Hope you're doing good today. Mars and Vod? Yeah. Just one of these lads. I got Alan Wake with Goomba stomp that man. I've had some people ask me, uh, am I going to play, like, any, like, games repeated? Which... Oh, doing one and done for every game. What the fuck killed me? What? Say we're doing good. I'm really sleepy. I'm all right. Guy who learned about Ozzy Osbourne through reality TV. Oh God, that's a big crack. And crashes. That's true. Oh, Alan. Maybe he died because he touched a live wire. And then he ran away. Do you think Alan Wake has any money? He's an author. Come on, chat. Wow! Those geezers oh, God. have quite a production going on. Oh, you know what, Al? If we make it through this alive, I'm gonna start representing them. All the way up. <laughs> Unique climb is high. Alan, oh, of course. Yeah, he doesn't have more money than, you know, than it takes to serve him cocaine. That's his move right there, the Allen Classic. I could see the building that had to be the Anderson's home on the other side of the field. It wasn't far now. It wasn't really stretch. trusting the ramblings of two burned out geriatric wrecks. They had the goods. Okay. Hey, what am I doing? I guess I got flares. It's good. Big stretch. I, I want to like. I feel like I'm like barely missing the big stretch. You know. Oh, by the way.
Climb, Alan. Climb. Then he did it. Ease. 65 billion? What? Addictions to cocaine? Uh, Al? Is that you out there, buddy? Yeah, it's or what? Me. Hey, let's go, man. Imagine if that's much like hamburgers. Uh, 65 million of pork. What? I mean, I don't know how many pigs there are in the world. I'm assuming you're, like, hey, trying to I do a dig? I have no... What the field. fuck are you talking We're about? This farm is a crazy place for crazy people. We should feel right at home, then. Alright, let's go. Alright, I suppose you'll have to do better. Pretty, uh, pretty low effort. You just toss the demon. No. The lights are out. I guess we better check the fuse box. You know, this place looks kind of lifted. I thought the Andersons were in the tube he had. All right, there we go. Now I have to wait. Of course. I'm zoning out of it, by the way. This is the remake? No, this is the original game. The remake I heard was not very good, and I don't really care to buy it. I'm confused. Yeah, I'm confused. I didn't miss anything in the story, did I? I kind of zone out when it comes to the story of this game, because the story of this game is just Alan Wake talks for six hours. Yeah, I heard that one that's short. Oh, hey, chat, I have the chat where you do nothing and wait. Well? Which part? And clock out? Oh, what happens? I hope you get good rest, Roz. Hope you had a good uh, rum adventure. It was the truth, a suppressed memory unearthed by the Andersons' moonshine. I was there. I don't have any natties, Roz. I'm all nattied out. The night Alice and I had arrived at Bright Falls, the night Alice had disappeared. Alice. I had a chance to find out what had happened. I remembered being surprised to see the cabin dark. Alice would have never turned the lights off. Ugh. I remembered thinking. I caught a glimpse yeah, I can finally stand the up. Water, sinking into the darkness. Diving after her was the last vague memory I had of that night. All right, ready? After that, ready? Check it out. The next thing I could remember was waking up behind the wheel of the crash car and finding the first pages of the manuscript. Oh my god, I can finally Beyond fucking stand up. Memory, oh my god. There was nothing. I had to oh, follow move my legs. To my past self to find out what had happened that night. I couldn't find her in all that blackness. I must have thought she drowned. Alice. Jagger had Alice, Alice, and so she had me. Alice. I've been sitting down this whole fucking I time. All my legs to actually move. Look at the cabin. Is there someone in the window? Alice. Right? Maybe Actually standing up from that lead. Maybe she's inside. Yes. The dark presence had touched me. She had dug her nails into my brain and used me. Made me her puppet. There we go. Alright, back to business. She must be here somewhere. Maybe upstairs in the study. Alice! Yes, that's what And squats? Nah, not squats today, but it's like... Alice. Like, I don't know, like... I'm not sure what it's called, but... Like raises. She's not here. You were full of fucking hot as hell in my room. I don't know why. No, oh, it's summer. Did. She drowned. No, no, no. Yeah. Oh, yeah so a big dog. What the fuck are you talking about again? You never actually explained that. You are guilty. All she wanted was to help you right. You killed her. How much water I got? Have a lot. Cauldron Lake is a special place. Here, you have the power to change things. And you're not wrong, Jenny Jr. You're not wrong. She wanted you to write. Let's check Twitter. Tell you what to do. Let's see. You can write her back. The story will come true. I guess I am. I suppose. Well again. Hmm. She had Alice. 
and the manuscript was the ransom for her. Let's see. All right, back to business. I'm not gonna ever call it X's All chat. All the manuscript pages were gone. The FBI agent had taken them. I think. I think I still call it the Staples Center too. Crap in my mouth. Ugh. Oh, wait, we're in jail now. Ow! Oh, Ow! This is. I don't care good. for brand. That about sums it up. The Staples Center is another brand, but still. Never drinking again. Uh, I need to talk to Weaver. She's the one in the And then song. poor Barry. The what, the crazy lady? Ugh, whatever you say, what Alright, but we're I think we're on chapter now. fucking five? No, I'm four, I think. Reading to do first, Sheriff. And let me tell you, it was an interesting read. Well, I've got you now, Raymond Chandler. It's all here. All the evidence, including conspiracy to murder oh, God. a agent. No Chat. Oh, well, in a week. Brett Ellis. Huh? Oh, of course. I've heard about them, Jake Park Bench. I've heard about those well, videos. Thing, I wanted my... Good lord, man. Look, Fucking Alan Wake. Right now. Agent Nightingale. Question is, though, is Alan Wake the low point? So, what's all been the lowest point of this? Uh, probably Nightmare oh on Elm Street. I know it's been Nightmare on Elm Street. We need light. It's the only way to fight this thing. In my office. That's who's jail family. cell? Follow me. Oh, oh maybe they put bears in there. I was in Sullivan. I'll be doing good. The emergency power on. Okay, I've really been putting in the work with Alan Wake. Just saying. <clears throat> hmm. Oh, God. Here are your things. Wake, what do I need to know? What do you need from me? I don't remember Alan having a shotgun. Only in the light. And I need to find Cynthia Weaver. She can help me stop this. Light. All right, we good. Cynthia. She lives in the old decommissioned power plant. I can get you there pretty quickly in the rescue chopper. Uh, let's see, can I leave? No. no. God damn it, I have to wait. Oh, Barry. Is there anything else in here while I wait? Dude, there's a flare, holy shit. Two flares. I said I was dicking around. There's a lot of wait. Why is there so much fucking waiting in this game? That's my question. Anyway, chat, you may understand why I consider this game to be a two out of ten, two out of five. In terms of the speed running, the game itself is fine. As a speed run, fucking two out of five. It's too goddamn long. You'll come back for me though, right? As soon as we get the chopper ready. Thanks, Wheeler. I owe you one. Okay, let's go, Wake. Through the back. Hmm. It's also weird when I'm fine with being long and not fine with being long. And score on this game casually. What do you mean casually? You mean like as a speed run? I have actual time? I don't remember. Like, oh, five? Whatever took Nightingale must have broken the gate control. Not sure what five was, but like, five something. Not speedrun. Oh, you mean as the, like, a uh, hard air view? No, it's a solid game. It's pretty good. Like, pens out of five, probably like a four. I like this game, but I just don't like the speedrun, because the speedrun's fucking long as hell. It's a charming game, it's fun. And it's not anything that's good little cutscenes, it's the fact that it's fucking three hours. And also, Alan, you know, is, uh, you can only run for like ten seconds. Hey, Sheriff. Most tech Password. is Alan sprints, and then he, uh, about? starts wheezing, and then, uh, you jump. I like how Alan, the uh, the the uh, big city writer, says that smarts. Who the fuck wrote that line? Ow.
How do I try to, like, juke these guys? Okay, there we go. We did it. Probably Alan. You know, you got me there. I suppose that would track, wouldn't it? And then Alan murdered everybody in a small town. Holy shit. How's it going, music man? I'm having a nice day today. Man, this is a kill section, by the way. Let him cook? Let him cook. That was a good kid. That was a man, Mike. Good lord, I am sleeping. Demons made him do it. Yeah, yeah, the demon. That's right. Ooh. Lair. All right, keep going. That shooting skills for a rider. Well, Alan's clearly hunting his usual prey, which is um, the citizens of what the Northwest America. That's what Alan does. He actually uh, is writing biographies in his horror novels. What are the five nights that he dies to be like as a game? I have no idea. I assume it would be like a horror game. Watch my back, Wade. God, I'm so tired. What happened to Barry? He fell victim to Alan Wick's cocaine obsession. My favorite part of the speedrun coming up, or you just win an auto score by doing nothing. Right Barry, where's Barry? Hey, Mr. Stay with the Prime Game of Three Months. Enjoy the emotes and the decision once again. Thank you very much. Hope you're doing great. So, cheers. Enjoy your bloody scissor emotes and hope all is well. You got killed by the darkness, it means watch the game. And yeah, because, uh, you'll see. What happened to his jacket? What the fuck was that? Let's go, Wake. You know, all things considered. I'm actually not doing all that bad of this run. Okay, someone's messed with the fuse box here, but you should be able to jury rig it while I find the keys. I already got electrocuted once today. How about I look for the keys and you get burned for a change? The message was from Barry. See, there's was Barry. Worried at the station. He is that the police to... station? Ow. Wait, are the keys back? No, this isn't the keys, it's a coffee thermos. Where the fuck are the keys again? I don't remember. Hold on. That's one of the keys are over here. Oh, it's this room. Okay, Sheriff. I got the keys. There we go. There's the keys and flashbangs. Dude, I don't even remember these flashbangs here. Holy shit. It's the Sheriff. He's the Sheriff. Alright, come on, Alan Wake. Let's go. Slow and steady. That's 
the nature of this game. And then Alan bored his enemies to tears, and then they died. The old Alan Wake special. Ow. Oh, I made it. Don't hurt them? Well, don't worry. Alan walked into the light, and then his enemies melted. Somebody showed up. All the shooting in the air is idiotic. One of these days, they'll kill somebody. God, I'm gonna cock the fuck out tonight. I know. Go back to bed. We've got a point. On the upside, a lot of the longer games are pretty easy, weirdly enough, because it just play the game for the most part. There's a reason why they're so fucking long. I hope you're right. Come on, let me get this door open. Wait, you got the keys to the bookstore? Perks of being the sheriff. A girl needs to get around. I'm glad the sheriff's able to rob the bookstore of all their books. <laughs> they're really taking advantage of your presence here, Wake. I heard they're selling a lot of your Alex Casey books. Buy three, right pay now, for two. I'm not a big fan of my own writing. Is that a good deal? How many books is that? Only okay, this game? It's a solid game. It's very, very, very long. Is there any relevant glitches? Um, you wait a long period of time, and then maybe you, uh, wait a little bit more. Eventually, Alan decides, what if I wait more? There's very, very minor, like, tricks you do. It's mostly just play the game. Alan's not into speed tech. He just sort of chills. I'm gonna give Pastor Howard a piece of my Oh, God. I told him to get it fixed. Now, on the upside, you know what's kind of nice? We are chopping down one of the longer games. Hi, Galloran. I'm doing good today. Yeah, well, from my understanding, everyone was complaining about the remaster a while back. That's fine. Uh, as welcome. You can try it. I'm glad Alan Wake threw a flashbang at that guy point blank and then he exploded. And it's not fair. I can't have that much sympathy for a guy who explodes when he touches light. I can't believe that Alan Wake is fighting the average Discord mod. I play the DLC of the Kansas American Nightmare. I did American Nightmare. And then I did the I did the Barry campaign that happens okay, after the game before. Open. I didn't Let's speed on them though, I just did them casually. Okay. <laughs> Chat, Alan Wake's really testing my sleepiness. Yeah. There's no way going through the crypt will turn out to be a bad idea. I have become the sleepy, the goer to of bed. Not yet. Are they over soon for me? What, Alan Wake or sleepiness? Guess that one saw the light. Hey, look, it's Barry. Oh my god. You didn't like that one? A tough audience. Well, I got plenty more. All right. What? Either or. What are Christmas lights for. Protection, man. Like garlic. We shall see. The bright falls general store is now I want my AC to get cranked back on. I have no idea how much of the game we have left, though, is the problem. I usually base off my splits. How long have I been playing Alan Wake? I think we're approaching... Hey, I we're definitely in the back half. I know that much. Bastard. I also like how Alan Wake just ditches his friends entirely. Oh, chat, are you, be are you ready for the best speedrun strat in all of Alan Wake? New show? Yeah, it's gonna be the best one. Watch. You're asking, are there any glitches? Randy, watch. You'll like this one. Here's the amazing speed tech of Alan Wake. This is a section where you have to, like, do wave defense for a helicopter. The 
This part, yeah, this part's beautiful, isn't it? The bear needs to hurry the fuck up. Very fun. Dude, she's taking forever. Holy shit, she is quite literally taking her sweet ass time. Oh god. Alan's friend is nice. Yeah, well, it's Christmas lights. Alright, chat, check this out. Here's the ultimate speed tech. You ready? Alan Wake has to defend the helicopter before it takes off. Is that me, Jessica? It might be, but it's actually you, Jessica. I am sleepy. I hope you're doing good today. Ah, oh, shit, that was... Hold on, it's actually bad. Hold on, wrong gun. All right, here's the strap. Yeah, you just sort of loop them. That's all you have to do. It's based on enemies you kill, so they won't spawn if you just don't kill. And then the, uh, you know, this is time-oriented. So, um, yeah, you're just Toxic Survivor main. This is it. Beautiful, right? Oh my god, yeah, so stressful. How's me, Jessica, doing today? Like poetry? A little bit, yeah. Oh, oh, look at him go. Got the got the mix up. It's your Friday? Nice. Friday is tomorrow. Or today, I guess. Friday's tonight. Coming really hard? Yep, this is old school BBD. No bloodlust. Infinite loops. It was like back in the day, chat. I tried you, right? I wasn't kidding. This is all you have to do. What an amazing speed run. Truly, truly transcendent. There we go, we just fucking dip. That, that, I wasn't kidding, that's all you have to do. It's hard, yep. Made of gold stuff, what can I say? Same for me to get it right. You know what? Learning that trick took literal decades. 
I've been playing, I've been obviously speedrunning Alan Wake since its inception, even though I only played it in like, I don't know, 2016. It's now 2023. I spent a decade worth of time. I crammed more time into my years to not be world record holder. That's how hard it was to master that craft. What can we say? Oh my god, they just beat the shit out of him. Good job, Alan. There. Yep, put more work into speedrunning this game than the devs actually put into making the game. I've been practicing my whole life, Chad. Since I was born, I wanted to learn the Alan Wake speedrun. You think I'd have world record, but now. Nah. But I had to find a way across. Oh god. Oh my god, the AC finally turned on. Chat! Holy shit! I'm no longer boiling. Thank you, AC. We're living life. The AC life, that is. I got that guy shoved me. Oh god. Yeah, I'm not sure why. Whenever I go through this area, I'm reminded of Weezer and I don't know why. I made some Weezer joke at one point walking through this. And for, for the life of me, I can't remember what the fuck it was. I was in Tekton, now the run's been tonight. I am so sleepy. Pretty good though. We're getting to the point. Oh, of course, Woodkin. Or I was boiling chats, like the frog. Yeah, I think that's it. Yeah, if you touch the wires, you turn into El Scorcho. No, I think it was El Scorcho. Really, chat, there's never a bad time to reference El Scorcho. You know what? That's what you should do, chat. If you ever get married, your wedding song should be El Scorcho. Tell your wife that. If your wife disagrees, and clearly she's not the one for you. Like, I, there's not a lot of deal breakers out there, but that might genuinely be a deal breaker right there. Could you imagine getting married to the song El Scorcho? I think it's the latest album, but that's good too. Oh, of course. Really, any song you can't go wrong with. Now, chat, what's the worst Weezer song you can get married to? Maybe that's why your marriage failed. It, might have, it may have been. El Scorcho is quite important. I barely made that shit. Oh my god. Is that gun? Holy shit, it is. There we go. Hash might be questionable. I'm not gonna lie, I feel like... Uh, I feel like there's better so I feel like Hash Pipe's not one of the worst songs. And it's questionable, but I feel like uh, songs about him jerking off might be worse. Like, why bother? Or he talks about where he would rather keep whacking. Yeah, that's a good one right there, Dimmu. That'd be a terrible song to play at a wedding. Kumoville? What the fuck is... Wait, Kumo... What the, what, what the fuck's this song about? I like Margaritaville.
Then Metallica? Yeah, yeah. Well, they cover Inner Sandman. Here in Cuomoville, we don't need chains of gold. Whoa ho. Leave it for the Roman soldiers and their winged chariots. What the fuck is that lyric supposed to mean? Oh, god damn it, I got my ass beat. What if it was about the wife and she thought it was cute? Song Pink Triangle? Alright, hold on. How would Pink Triangle be about your wife? The song's about a man, uh, falling in love, uh, or, you know, uh, being attracted to a chick and then failing because he finds out that she's a lesbian. And obviously, uh, he can't get with her. I'd seen a version of it painted all over the area, signifying hidden caches as a Bumble. It's in the well lit room. Oh, but yeah. What you need to drive the darkness back. The well lit room is at the dam. I built the room to keep it safe. I like how they call it the well lit well, room. Well, as opposed to the poorly the lit farm. room. Let's go. I can get my friends to come back with the helicopter. Oh, I didn't talk with Weir yet. Oh, we won't go outside. Never at night. That's rule number one. You've been breaking the rules, young man. I don't I think you can, Shaq. Either one, you're not marrying your wife because you're a man marrying a lesbian, which you're not, that's not going to work for obvious reasons. Or two, you're in a lesbian marriage. Why would that work? Because... You're not failing. You you are, you're marrying. You have lesbian marriage. You want me to do it? Like there's. And in both cases, it doesn't work. I can't be outside in the dark. The kill switch is outside. You know that one probably too. Guitars. I like the uh, the cover. I like the uh, the YouTube videos of the song where it fast forwards every time he says something questionable. It's Pinkerton, but every time he has a questionable line, it speeds up, and then it just like, that song just fucking makes it like go like ten times the speed. I like an arranged marriage. Oh, I feel like at that point, if you have an arranged marriage, like at that point, it's just like oh, and heroin wealth. Okay, I feel. Oh, I get that. I get that one. Okay. I could see the kill switch that would cut. The I got you. That's fair. Alright, chat, time for one of the only speedrun skips in the game. I might die. We'll see. I died. Video lane, 10 seconds. I could see the Edge. kill switch that would cut the power to the transformer yard. Now, now wife walking down uh, to the tune of Buddy Holly. Oh, hey, we didn't skip. Look at that. Beautiful. Yeah, actually is a cool skip, right? At us. If I could figure out the gates, I could use them to get to the kills. Ah, that was good. Exactly. The transformer yard went dark and dead. We first wanted to pass and should be Thunderolls. All right, I feel like Say It Ain't So Ain't That Bad, though, and also that song is much more commonly accepted upon uh, among the Weezer these days. Like, I still feel like the song where uh, Rivers is singing about him falling in love with a high school girl, or the one where, uh, you know, he's uh, talking about jerking off might be worse for a marriage. Well, you mean only the Matt Sharp vocals? Cuomoville. All right, well, chat, we're now in the section where we have to wait for this woman to talk. So, uh, I need to play an ad because Alan Wake is so fucking long. If you want to avoid the ad, ad block puts turbo or sub to the channel. This section's so fucking long. So, um, doing it now, right? Prime Gaming works too, so. Also, subbing supports the stream, so. All right, doing it now. Yeah. Oh, God. I am uh, me, Jessica. Did you hear that the haunting ground went well somehow? I actually did it. 
I don't know how, but it actually worked. And I actually got a completed run of Corpse Party. It actually worked out. I didn't I didn't have to be gifted subs to kill the run for once. Out of the, the mercy of uh, Twitch chat. I had a completed run. Well, that's so appreciated. Hello, Ren, gifting a sub to Ada Fay. Enjoy the emotes and the scissors. Thank you. Oh, you trusted me, or perhaps used me a little. That's fun on you. Tom knew how I felt. Knew I wouldn't refuse him. I built the well-lit room and put it there. It's been waiting for you. We are characters trapped in a story you have written, and none of us will survive to see the end of it if the darkness isn't stopped. Nor add, nor edge. To her own dark ends. How do you know all this? God. Tom, it adds one show the stream in the little corner. I think it varies. I have no idea what it does. It, they do. Yeah, but I don't know. Oh, you can't hear me. But, uh, yeah, it's weird. Touched by the darkness, young man. He saved us both with light. The darkness oh, God. Stays with you. Use a screen. I actually didn't even open the well-lit room. She knew how to stay safe. Maybe. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Just making sure. Best recent Weezer song. Okay. I guess it's not really a Weezer song, but it counts. Wait, where the fuck am I going? I went the right way. I think I am, actually. All right, it's not really a Weezer, not Africa. No, it's not Africa. I really like their cover of Mr. Blue Sky. No covers? I haven't listened to Weezer outside of... Oh God, what's, last, what's the most recent Weezer song I've listened to? I don't know. The crash site looked bad, but as far as I could tell, the wreck was empty. No, oh, he doesn't want to marry a lesbian half-Japanese teenager. I'm just on the minor purpose promo. Well, El Scorcho is timeless, so clearly it has to be El Scorcho at that point. Also, my favorite part, my favorite tech in this game chat is that you ignore your friends and just go to the light immediately. As we are covered about a girl. Well, we've already peaked at about a girl covers. If there's none, then El Scorcho gets a pass. Uh, it's funny, I don't even think El Scorch is my favorite Weezer song. I like it, but I don't think it's my favorite one. Kind of ebb and flow based on how I'm feeling. You can't be a part of mine. I think the last time I had a real Weezer kick, though, funny enough, of all songs, it was Butterfly. I don't know why Butterfly stuck with me so much, but it did. I think it's a really sweet song. Exactly. You leave Barry behind, they'll attack him. And also, about a, about a girl already peaked with the covers, Jess. Like, we can't get any better than we have. Here they come. Oh no! Oh no! They're coming! We have to hold them off. You know, there's a lot of flare guns I don't remember being in the game. Oh no! Oh no! Oh god. I hope that works, Caladron. I'm gonna go Butterfly. I don't know, I really like Butterfly. It's kinda just chill. Oh, you know what? I also like Get You lately. I pretty much all the Pinkerton. I'm just gonna keep saying Pinkerton. Oh, I have enjoyed Hashpad lately too. I don't know, I feel like I started understanding what hash pipe's about. It's about smoking that hash pipe. Bum, bum. No, I'm not playing American Nightmare. After this is probably Silent Hill. It's like Butterfly. Butterfly's a nice one. I like Butterfly a lot. It's a sweet song. Yeah, actually, I don't even think it's really a sweet song. I guess it's more of one of lament and regret, but like, you get what I mean. 
hide the meaning. It is great. Well, I think Pinkerton is a great there. album. There's an entrance into the dam at the top. Wait, are you really? Are you wait, you're going to a Kiss concert. Something Zane left behind. Something to fix this. I can't believe Barry's dabbing. Holy shit, you're going to kiss your dad? Okay, that makes more sense. Zane? Seriously? Might as well be Paul Bunyan or Bigfoot. Yeah, well, he was real. Earned up from deep within his heart. Be a song by a beautiful person. It is. Let's be careful, okay? Which, I'm not going to lie, chat. All right. So, Pinkerton's an album that I wholeheartedly enjoy. I think it is one of the best albums ever made. Like, it's hard to say there is albums out there better than Pinkerton. I mean, there are, don't get me wrong, but... Pinkerton is definitely peak. Ellie is going with me. Hey, perfect. Like, it's not every day you get a true masterpiece of art. Of art. And from all bands, fucking Weezer. There you go. Hell, I'm trying to think what albums they can potentially even compare to Pinkerton. There's not a lot. What I compare to Pinkerton? I don't know. I mean, there's only good albums, and I would even say better albums out there, but like, rather being a masterpiece. Last time we saw true art, Todd's guy suspended for showing Goatsy. I suppose that's fair. No, I, mean, I always hold a large respect for the idea that you go from being, uh, what's the word? You kind of uh, go into your new rhythm of being the current rock trend to writing the... Nah, I don't think Maladroid hits the same degree. Like, going from the Blue album to Pinkerton is fucking wild. Killers. What happened in Sam's Town? All right, that was good. Oh, the Cosmic Weezer song? I did. All right, so chat. I can tell you why I defended so much, though. Why I like the album so much. You have Weezer making a very poppy rock album, coming an overnight sensation, essentially, with the Blue album. And then afterward, you hit Pinkerton, which it's not safe at all. Like, it, it didn't have traditional hits in the way that you think it would. It wasn't really made in the idea of, like, trying to, I guess, become radio hits. It was a guy becoming essentially an overnight sensation and then just talking about everything he kind of endured or everything he went through. Yeah, it's a huge fucking tonal shift. And it's wild just thinking about that. Well, yeah, and like, it's kind of funny because like, you know, as much as people like to meme about like across the sea, like even some of the songs where he's being very, uh, obviously very, uh, what's the word? Like, let's say creepy. It comes from a place of sincerity and, I guess, wonder, I suppose. I, I don't think he's more meaning that he's trying to hook up with a 15-year-old girl. I'm pretty sure it's more the idea that in another life he could have, uh, you know, gone with someone who truly just likes him for him or wants to know about him. He went from being an absolute playboy... So the guy from fucking Weezer being an absolute playboy just getting laid every other fucking week going to being a, uh... The guy who's awkwardly hitting on lesbians. The guy who's, uh... Yeah. It's a really weird area in the heart of Weezer.
be horny. Which, in fairness, I mean... Well, it's kind of funny because it also opens with him being the anti-horny. He's like the night man and the day man, but instead of that, it's the horny man and the... Celibate man, I, I guess? Is celibate the opposite of horny? I don't actually know. Hi, Pugadoo do. How are you? Wait, chat, we're on the best so chapter of the game. Alan Wake puts on his sunglasses. Holy I shit. My sunglasses and painkillers to dull the pain. I needed my sunglasses. In my finer moments of self-deception, I swore to quit drinking. He did it. Holy shit. Uh, the sunglasses made the world look bearable. Now I could keep my eyes open without feeling like a vampire in the sun. Get it, chat. Put on his sunglasses. It's like me on a night out. My future's too bright, chat. I gotta wear shades. All right. Has anyone here ever tried rocking sunglasses at night? All right. Honest, I won't judge you. I mean, I will, but like not entirely. There was a message waiting for me on the machine. You have one new message. Ow! Are you still asleep? I'm on. Who among you have? You can't really wear sunglasses? Wait, you can't? Why? I didn't say anything stupid if that's what you want to know. Okay, Grumpy. You want an aspirin or something? Are you going to start with Look at this man. You know what? Go back to sleep, Alan. And you broke your normal glasses. That, see, that makes sense. In daylight. Wait, chat. Time for the next best part of the game. Oh my god, is that Verizon Wireless? Holy shit. Time. I could still chalk everything it's a horror a game. A That's why I get I it now. Imagination to make up something like this. Yeah, chat. So support part. part. You you need the giant Verizon wireless ad. <laughs> Gone mad from grief over Alice's death, like Hartman had claimed. Oh uh, god, you did, but it was a passion on a highway. Okay, that that's reasonable. That's reasonable, right there, man. Like. My course was set. A nice news electron chain. That's all right, chat. So you're all you're all giving me reasonable answers. No one here has been just trying to say I wanted to look cool at the club. You're all giving very reasonable answers, and I'm surprised, chat. <sighs> you always looked cool at the club. Perfect. Wait, chat, hurting my favorite part of the speed runner. Alan Wake crashes like five cars and then just like. Was a link between us always would be he just gets a new I car every time again getting closer i will kill your wife all right good he moving you all look cool in the mall's account i count that so why did Alan Wake write down that he keeps finding cars, crashing them, and then getting into the next car? And then just repeating that to find his wife? Dude, I'm just so in awe, by the way. Like, I'm still kind of, like, just wondering, what the fuck was the guy doing the other, like, yesterday? But Chad, for those of you who are coming in now, or have been here now, or in the beginning of the stream, I mentioned when I went to go get chicken yesterday, I saw some guy just... He boned some other guy on the on like on the road, but like it was wild because like the guy was stopped next to me, and then like we're at the red and then he just went. What? Yeah. Like for the other side, like the light was turned green. I was like, ah, oh, this guy's chilling. Like you know, like me and me and the guy next to me are chilling. And the guy next to me just like, it's red for us. He just goes, and then just yeah. Ah, chat, my favorite part of Alan Wake, where he keeps crashing into cars. I still thought it was green, distracted. I'm pretty sure the guy was on his phone or something. I just, uh, I'm not gonna lie, chat. I think that was the first time I ever witnessed, like, a, you know, uh, someone just e-boning someone else and, like, and directly in front of me, I suppose.
E-boning? No, not E-boning. That's probably something very different. Can't believe it, chat. He found another car. Very hard. Right? I, I when I was driving by, I, I double checked, uh, look around, and uh, the guy like he looked like he was like okay. I'm pretty sure he was gonna feel it in the morning, but uh, yeah. I'll be doing good, but I'm all good. Also, why did that guy get a sweet monster truck? I started we're joking about the Alan Wake getting a monster truck earlier, but that guy actually does get one. Morning, Chilo. You're doing good. Can't see what we were. Oh, it wasn't too bad. Uh, EV9K. Oh. That was kind of, uh, I don't know, a bit... It was definitely a trip. Oh, chat, am I weird if I feel kind of like, uh... What's the word? I suppose grateful. Not the DLC. You mean American Nightmare? I never ran American Nightmare. It's its own separate uh, game, technically. I've only ever done this one. I don't know. I always like very uh, sobering, grateful moments. That's not in case this is going to be an intersection. Ah, oh, that's unfortunate. I mean, glad to hear you okay, though. Good. I was drunk. That would definitely do it. Uh, so I don't care. I think things can go wrong. Yeah. Also, chat. Rise and Wireless is back. Nah. All things considered, I guess I'm pretty grateful about a lot. Also, I guess the song in Korean uh, definitely worked uh, in terms of the uh, effective song. Talk about Weezer for like fucking 15 minutes. I'm just looking at the the time there. Like, we talked a lot about Weezer. Special episodes. I played those offline, but I never sped ran them. That's good. Oh, there it is. Got it. Making progress though, chat. Oh, Alan Wake. Yeah! Oh, it's actually, you know, that's such a weird fuck. Like, wait. Wh why the fuck is Weezer opening for Kiss? Like, that's kind of weird, actually, now think about it, right? Is there that much of an overlap between Weezer and Kiss fans? There might be, and I don't know about that. Weezing comes after a kiss. Oh, of course. You know, I suppose you got me there. Van Weezer? No, not Van Weezer! Every time I see Alan Wake, the way Weezer comes up. See, that's what I was saying. That's actually why, uh, another reason why we we're talking about Weezer. As I mentioned uh, last time I did it, I was like, why the fuck did I talk about Weezer when I was playing this game? And I'm pretty sure it's because I mentioned that whenever we uh, send someone into the lightning, they become El Scorcho with all the fucking lights. Well, so Weezer is on top of the world right now. You shush over there. Did you say Weezer open for Slayer?
I like how the car instantly fucking broke. Holy shit. Why is it a little tractor? That's Alan Wake's favorite fight. It's fighting the uh, the working man, apparently. I'm going to green it. So that makes more sense, though. Like, they kind of were in the same era. Memes are helping their popularity. Well, that's good at least. Oh, I just like music in general, chat. I love talking about musical stuff. Like a lot of different albums. When I told Barry my plan back in the well lit room, I'd acted as if I knew what I was doing. I suppose it would break the car. I'm more surprised, like, it broke immediately. Like, the first hit didn't break it, but the second hit where I was in the car, he just like, all right, in the car, out of the car. I had to write a happy ending to a horror story. I had to save my wife from the dark prison she was being held in. I don't actually know the end of the game, by the way, chat. Like, we're really close. I will never give her to you. And we're not right at the end, but we're close. Am I into our pop? Give me my art pop. Oh, he just said art pop. Um, I don't know what art pop is. You have to explain. My way to the lake through the horrors of the night. I had to flick an old battered light switch. Fire arcade fire. Childhood magic. I don't know what the genre is. I may have listened to it, but I don't know what it is. I had to save my wife from the dark prison she was being held in. And blind by the light, it could. Never give her to you. I don't like his bougie scum. He he is fighting the working man. Oh, but kind of RC. I don't. I have to look into if I know any bands. Off the top of my head, not sure. Fire. How about Yoshi Ime Battles of the Pink Robots? I like that song. Kind of? Cool, I like that one. Let's go with that one. Is in the airplane over the sea count, though. I count it. I could see Mirror Peak in the distance. That's where Cauldron Lake was. Yeah, they count? Hell yeah, I'm gonna go in the, in the airplane over the sea. Let's go with that one. But specifically, the one song I can always listen to from that album. Like, all, I have it like on all my fucking playlists. You know damn well what song it is. Holland, 1945. No, Kanai Joe does not count. No, Kanai Joe does not count. I know Yoshi means the flaming lips. I'm just saying, like, for our pop. Cartoon 3. You do get to do the I love you Jesus Christ part. It is pretty fun. That's pretty badass, Zuber. All their radio head counts. Well, Radiohead, Radiohead's absolutely coffee shop hipster core. Like, if you know a guy in a coffee shop who, like, tells you about all the fancy ways he drinks coffee, he listens to Radiohead. I don't make the rules, Chad. I just how it goes. Oh, when I think about Radiohead, I just think about the Benz. No, not that one, Whiskey. That's Bioshock. We're talking about, uh, in the airplane over the sea, the I love you, Jesus. <laughs> and then he just holds it the whole time. Foxy gun. That sounds fun. Maybe it's an Android. There's a creepy Zilla Radiohead song you know. Probably. Go, Alan Wake, go! Oh god, there's goo on the ground. Oh, 
Hold on. Almost done. It might be. It might just be. What are they on Radiohead, though? I think of the Benz. I don't know why. I was almost scared we didn't get it, eh? The Benz. Fuck that guy, like, give me the jump scare. Did we have any shit after work yesterday? I hear that. Oh, uh, they're able to chill now. Unwind all that. I get into Kendrick Lamar. Kendrick Lamar is fun. God, don't kill me. Please don't kill me. Hold on. Let go. Keep going, Alan. Keep going. Gotta keep using the flares. Alan bakes. He could bake. Oh, chat's amping up the Alan Wake puns again. Go, Alan, go! My heart just fucking, like, flops on the ground. Oh my god, chat! It's the mystery box. It's a boat. There we go. Go, Ellen, go! Chat, you have to understand, if Alan... If Alan Wake... Decided he was really, uh, you know, he was really into a meat dish and wanted to change his name to that meat dish. He'd be Alan Hamburger. Be Alan Bakes? That's fair. Oh, that's one of my favorite ones, uh, Dene Jin. If Alan Wake was really into Japanese liquor, he'd be called Alan Sake. It'd be Alan Makes. What else can we have? A worse? Is it the Alan Sake one? One, two, three. All right, cool. We're almost done. No, don't do slow motion, you dick. Approaching Pete Cringe? No, that's how Alan Wake's runs are. It's about how Alan Wake writes his stories and then it's making puns with Alan Wake's name. That's about the Alan Wake experience. It's half the fun of playing these games. Oh god. I'm learning we haven't made yet though, chat. You know, I'm surprised. We're actually, yeah, we're right, right, right at the end of the game. Hold on, chat. We're, we're making good time. Hold on. We're actually making pretty good time right now. Go, Alan, go! Turn back now. A little over three hours. I mean, it's not going to be much better, but like, it's not terrible, I guess. There we 
go. Go, Ellen, go! Oh, you're gonna be a ram ranching. I'm just gonna create Alan Lake. Well, no, it's not an Alan Lake, it's an Alan Ocean. We learned that back at the game. Alright, final boss time, chat. Final boss time. And there's amping up the Alan Wake. Oh my god. Yeah, I'm very happy we got one of our long games done. When Alan's with his wife. Wait, wait, wife. When Alan's with his wife, he Alan fakes it. Not enough time for writing. That's kind of insane, isn't it? The power's out. Oh my god, Alan's wife! Come back to bed and I'll make you forget all about your fear in the dark. My fear? It's your fear. Why aren't you I, I just realized, wait a minute, what, what does she Turn mean you to make him down. forget about his fear of the, the dark? Trigger? What did you do with it? Come back to bed, Alan. Come back to bed, Tom. <gasps> the wife? It is. Chat, spam McDicey wife is going to the very end. We're almost done. Yells at her? My favorite part is he doesn't only yell at her, he also runs away. I mean, that's why it's a horror game. It's the wife. I'm leaving you. What? I'm leaving you, Alan. I met someone. I'm in love with someone else. I have no idea where the fuck this dialogue comes from, because, like, this never is, like, a plot point in the game at any fucking point. I'm leaving you, Alan. Wait, this is the first I'm hearing about it. What? Bird. Alright, chat, ready? It wasn't true. GG. We did it. Wait, we did it. Oh god, my neck. Alan Wake. Now you will never. If Alan get Wake back. was a horror game streamer. He'd be Alan Kick. Oh god. I am much older than you. Older than your. Oh shit! Sure. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna lean back. I'm gonna. I'm gonna do a lean. I'm. Uh, someone else there, yeah. to dream me free. Oh god, bedtime. We did it! Fucking Alan Wake took a decade. Oh god. Alright, now we get to watch the the years-long ending. We'll watch the ending. I feel like we earned it. Alright, chat, how about this? We're doing Silent Hill 1 after this, but I oh god. Now if I need to play the album, I'll well do it then. Oh no, because I need to plug in consoles and shit too. This game is longer. I spent three hours playing it. I also sped ran through it. I could feel Alice's presence. God damn, Alan Wake's long. Chat, two out of five. It's too I fucking long. I had to do now. I knew As a speedrun, two out of five. It's a solid C tier. Like low C, low C. Cause and effect. There's guilt and Say the order is somewhat uh, the order you ran them. Kind of, but the thing is, I'm also letting longer games happen out of order, so it's hard to say. Like tomorrow, we're probably doing Until Dawn or You Go for Memories, depending on what wins. Alice? Alice? 
All right, chat. I need to pee, by the way. So I'm gonna let you watch the ending. I'm not gonna play an ad here. I'll play an ad when I start setting up. I run you from memories. I've done one run oh, of it, no. uh, where I complete it, and it took me 12 hours. Uh, I did for uh, April Fools because it was one of the first five games I ever wanted to do. Uh, it was a pain in the ass, but I did it. Well, like I don't mind long games for what this game does. It's too fucking long. Vanilla, yeah, damn right. I should get 15 card mod, but I like the suffering. Not the suffering of the game, that game sucks, because the PC port sucks. The actual game, it's neat, but, uh, I like the, yeah, I like the rough rides. Oh, God. Anyway, chat, really quick, uh, I, uh, I'm gonna let the ending play out. I'm gonna go pee. No, behave. I'm not gonna play an ad, I'll do it when I'm playing my PS2, so. Good luck? Oh, believe me, I know. I know. Alright, so you behave, chat. I'm gonna go pee. Oh god, I've been holding it in that whole fucking run. It's not a whole one afterward. Dick, you're in charge. Fuck you, Alan. Alan. Wake up. They play Weezer and Sot Hill. No, they play Portishead. Like, uh, Portishead's on a youth. Right? I can't believe it. Chat, I can't believe this is the second time today I played Sot Hill 1. It it's wild, ain't it? Yeah, I take it easy, Cypher. Uh, I will say that this is probably be the last game of the day. And that because uh, the game after this will be longer. You know what? We're opening tomorrow with a nightmare before Christmas. Wait, no. We're opening Sunday with this game. Tomorrow's gonna be the long game. That's on the PS2? Yeah. Opening Sunday with Nightmare Before Christmas, most likely. Okay. I was like, wait, no. I have to add more games after, though. I have to start adding the next, uh, the next batch. Talk to everybody afterward. Well, I, I mean, depends. Yeah, I'm taking Friday and Saturday off. I post everything in, uh, in the on Discord and Twitter. I'm liking that. Just that's just an excuse to link it. I no, I think you're actually in Discord, but yeah, I'm taking Friday and Saturday off so I can watch Twisted Metal and then Barbenheimer. And also my stepdad's birthday. Bring Terra's Realm. That's easy. I routed it. Yeah, of course you can. No, number 15, number 15 is Bioshock. 
Yeah, I'm gonna watch it. You know damn well I'm watching this now. I have to watch uh, Sweet Tooth giving Anthony Mackie back shots, right? Then they drive the cars. Is that a movie? Uh, which one? Barbenheimer? It's two movies. Barbie and Oppenheimer. And Twist and Metal, they're making a new TV show. That was nature happy. Doing doing good. Yeah. How are you doing, Pretty Short? That too. Alrighty, chat. Twist and Metal. Yeah, it's a, well, it's a video game franchise, but now it's going to be a main TV show. Chat, I don't even need to tell you about this game, man. I don't even need to tell you. Where's number 15 from? Oh, number 15 is from, uh, there's a guy who made a video about, like, I think it was, like, the weirdest things on the internet. It's like, I think it's, like, Chills, or his name is, like, Chills. And the way you said 15 is weird. Hard mode? Nope, standard, 80%. It's gonna be easy. It'll be, uh, what's the word? Uh. Bad plus. Right, chat? Cheryl? I don't make them Is like they Cheryl? used to. No hard mode. Actually, it's gold. It's the way we keep track. There's also red gold, but there's also red. Where are you going? Pretty much, there's no definitive splits, so they're all just hey, wait, plus gold, stop. plus zero point one gold, or zero point zero gold. I don't know why it does that. It just does that. Oh God, chat! Now this is a this is a game to end it on. This is a this is the spicy one. This is the good game. This is the shit. This is old school like dice is at its best. Oh God, man! This is a comfy game. I fucking love Silent Hill One. I have thousands of attempts in this game. I'm not good. What am I drinking? Well, I was drinking one of the white monsters because for the meme, but uh, ah, some pizza get. Like, I love Silent Hill 1. I've been running this game for so long, and I do wish I were a little bit better at the game, but even then, I just, I adore this game. Chat, this is quite literally the first horror game I ever played, and it's my, it's one of my favorites. It is an absolute classic game. That being said, I still grind this one? Yes. Yeah. Uh, well, I mean, I'm not grinding much of anything, but like, What's this game absolutely still shows up. Hell, oh, chat, this game is actually my default, uh, if chat tries fucking around with votes, uh, I make it so that this is the tiebreaker. This is my, okay, fine, chat doesn't want to pick, then I'll pick. I'll pick this one. Yeah, I played this game when I was a kid. That being said, speedrun-wise, this game's kind of weird. Like... How do I put this? It's not exactly... Like, bad? In fact, quite the contrary, it's actually really good. It's just... What's when comparing to a lot of the Silent Hill games... Huh. Radio. What's going actually, on with that radio? I can tell you what I think of it. It's probably the second best Silent Hill speedrun. Good morning, Candy Quartz. Hope you're doing good today. I just do think Homecoming is the best Silent Hill speedrun. This is not a dream. But outside of Homecoming, I'd probably give this one five out five out of five. This is either this is very solid A S tier. It's high. For anyone wondering, chat, I'm ranking all my speedruns as we go. If you're wondering, games I'm ranking earlier, I know very quickly how I feel about them. Yeah, Homecoming is, uh, oh my, why am I bonking? Homecoming is, uh, the best Silent Hill speedrun. It's just really unique. It really changes the way the game works. Adds, like, revives a game that's normally, like, crash. Don't get me wrong, this game's pretty awesome, but, uh, even then, it just, it doesn't quite edge out Homecoming. 
A good lord, man. For personal favorites, like, all right. For personal favorite, oh my god, I'm like having terrible movement, by the way. For personal favorites, this is probably above homecoming to me. That's personal. Morning, one degree. Could be doing good. I'll we'll have to go back once I'm done with all these and uh, review the total rankings. Oh, well, we need to see how I rank over 160 games or so. I feel like we've had a pretty even spread so far. I feel like a lot of things are fair. I feel like we haven't just been leaning towards the top or bottoms. I feel like we've been pretty well thought out. I chat very often. I always see, like... I think people are afraid to give games low scores. Not that I'm giving this a low score. This is actually getting a really high one. It's just the idea that I think people are always afraid to use the bottom of a tier list. That's always... Oh, uh, here's the top. You have too many games low scores? Well, that's the opposite problem. Like, one of my side goals with Cake is that uh, with all the uh, all the horror game runs, I want to also rank what I, how I feel that they are as horror game speedruns, because, hey, there's so many games and so many different types. Uh, no, I have not, Icky Tub, so I'm trying to actually think maybe I can do that. What are the three of my worst games ever played? Ever played? I don't really remember. I'm trying to think of all the bad oh. games. It'd probably be something I uh, would ignore. Also, Visage. Haha! <laughs> Bada boom. Sound of one's better than two. Oh. That is a hot take. Other plus shitty games that you can't rate something lower mid why even rate to begin with. I agree. Oh, I just really like Sonal 2 as well. But also, there's something to be said. Alright, games shouldn't only work on good to bad. Like, games also should have fun factors. Like, a, f a bad game can still be very, very fun. Like, if I'm going for personal enjoyment, I think it should go negative 10 to 10. With negative 10 and 10 being very good. And then the worst you can be is a zero. Because a zero means you're boring. Ironic enjoyment is still enjoyment. So bad it's good. It is a thing. There we go. A little smoother. Smoother in which sense? I don't really agree on the open world and the definitely better combat, funny enough. It just, um... Harry Mason is arguably some of the worst tank controls in all of horror. I love this man. I really do. But it's really weird that he is the only character that really seems to carry his weight. Like, I love playing Resident Evil, like, 3, RE, like, you know, RE3 Classic, RE2 Classic, RE1 Classic, Dino Crisis. Like, those games, holy fuck, they feel good. This game, Harry does not stop on a dime. He will go. Sounds like it feels jankier. Wait, in which sense? No, this is, uh, any percent. It is bad plus. Harry has momentum. It's really weird he carries momentum. That's it, right? Is it the tank control movement or the directional movement? A giant slaw, of course, of course. Tank control? I'm not gonna lie, I haven't played genuine tank controls in Sonal 2, uh... In years. Oh, I know. Actually, hold on. I do that in the run sometimes. I don't know. All right, let's go, by the way, Mr. Harry Mason. Also, Chad. I guess going back to the history of Sonal 1 channel-wise. I really like Sonal 1. Atmosphere is better. In some parts. At Alan Wake go, shit was long as hell. Wait, you dipped during Alan Wake?
Fell asleep? Well, that would do it. Makes sense. Alan Wake does put you to Alan's sleep. And there's a strat? Yeah, but it's only really at the end of the game. It's you're barely actually interacting with it. There we go. But that being said, it's kind of funny because I used to run Silent Hill 1 more than 2. And I think I still have ran Silent Hill 1 more than 2. Here's your favorite, but you're in the minority. I wouldn't call it the minority these days. That's like second most popular, in fact. That wasn't Johnny Raz. Morning to you. Is it? Yes. Uh, normally, if someone's picking a favorite, it tends to be Silent Hill 2 or 3. I think 2 tends to be the popular pick, and then people will then default to 3. Um, after that, it's 1. And um, then people more these days are defending a 4. Which, Silent Hill 4 is neat, but uh, there is a... How would I award this? I definitely think a lot of people hype up 4 because it's not the Western games. And they don't appreciate 4 for what it is. I'm not saying Silent Hill 4 is bad. I'm merely just saying that a lot of people are like, Oh my god, Japanese game good, Western game bad. And there's absolutely a bias there. That's you? I mean, the, you know, I'm not gonna lie, the Team Sonic games are definitely better than the Western games, but, uh... Like, I don't know the Western games are trash. Like, Shattered Memories is really fucking good. Some flaws, but, I mean... Even still. Nice. And this and the game we do all the previous levels. It's neat in a way, but Eileen's really annoying. Admittedly, I can't really critique four in any reasonable light. I don't feel like I can ever be a person who can critique four. My only real experience with Silent Four before I started speedrunning it was when I was in high school. I uh, watched my uh, my goth GF at the time uh, play Silent Four when I was at her house. What game doesn't have flaws? Clock Tower. <laughs> uh baby, there we go. Da -da -da -da. You name a flaw, you're lying. You know, I actually try I can't name a flaw of clock tower. It's too short. Not long. It's not it's not longer. Is your man as a boy? Oh, that's fine. Oh, did you clock tower didn't have drink movement? What are you talking about? Do you mean the PS1 game or do you mean the uh, the SNES? Because SNES is absolutely not jank. It's fucking immaculate. It plays very well. PS1, yeah, that well, move that game is kind of weird, but SNES new plays very well. Oh, chat, I got a flawless game for you. How about the graveyard? Does that count? Literally the perfect game is exactly what it wants to do. Now it's perfect. SNES? Alright, hold on. You not working with point and click games doesn't make it weird, though. For a point and click game, it moves very, very well. Oh, it makes it even better on a uh, controller because it's very seamless to make Jennifer move. Like, PS1 has an awkward thing because sprinting doesn't quite work half the time. You have to, like, double click in very awkward ways. And it's kind of hard to get Jennifer moving in the PS. Alright, Jennifer or Helen in the PS1 game. However, in the SNES game, oh boy, yeah, yeah, if you want to get her moving, you can get her moving pretty much anywhere. Ah, I was going to say, so doing good.
Which, if you're on the PC port, I get that part, because, you know, point and click is a little bit awkward, but, like, it being on the Super Nintendo, the original version of the game, is really helpful for it. As weird as that sounds. For a point and click game, you think you're on a point and click, but you end up having more liberties of movement on controller, as weird as that would seem. But I can probably just because controllers have more options than mice. So, makes sense there. Oh, God. I hope you're doing good, assisted. Oh, the so Silent Hill 2 does have flaws. The early game uh, lags a bit. There's really bad boss design for what it's worth. Like, when bosses are good, they're good, but they quite literally reuse a boss throughout the game, and it's like the fucking final boss. And it's really weird. It's like, hey... Maybe don't make the final boss an earlier boss. Like, maybe make her a little bit different. Like, it's always been a really weird design choice for me. Like, I don't know why they do that. As much as I love Sonal 2, like... A student cheating? How do they cheat? two mile track they cut through the middle how how did they think that would work like wouldn't that just be super obvious oh yeah sure, I'm gonna do I'm gonna do so I'm gonna do my plugs I've been going longer than eight hours yeah if you've been enjoying the stream follow the channel it's appreciated and it is free it hurts nobody there's also social media to check out for updates. I mean, also, like, kind of mentioning the highlights of each day on Twitter. Uh, last but not least, if you've really been enjoying the stream, consider subbing to the channel. It gives you emote, scissors, and ad reviewing. Also, Prime Gaming. If you don't, haven't used your Prime, use it here. Because it is appreciated. I mean, I appreciate it in many places, but you're being reminded. I guess that would make sense, then. Any primers in chat? There might be. I also was saying. Oh, not the Oilers. Mm. Um, in terms of games, we're talking about how we think about Sound Hole 1 and 2, and really all the Sound Hole games. I think personal input's gonna mean quite a lot in how you view the game. Like, talking with a lot of people, like, you can normally tell who, like, so you can point at people and you can normally tell what their spare sound hill is. To a nice degree. One. Two, three. Sure, Silent Hill? Well, I have no way of seeing us in a name. Buy the guest bus, Silent Hill 2. In most cases, it's going to be two. You can probably say that and probably be on the ball most part. Uh, if they look older, you can probably pick Silent Hill 1, or if they look like they don't care about, uh, you know, relationship drama. Um. There we go. Hold on. Yeah, rabbit, rabbit. Now I don't, I don't know how to do the fucking backward slide. I'm not. I'm not good enough at that. Like, dude, there's some wild Silent Hill one runners. That is one of the downsides. Thank you, Flamer. Rizzo's really good at a lot of Tango Pool games. He's not only amazing at this one, but I know he's been putting in work on the, uh, the Ring Terrors realm. Which, dude, I fucking hate that him and Punchy have been putting work in on the terrors, uh, Ring Terrors realm. Not for the reason you think. I'm very happy that people are actually running the game I put a lot of work into routing now. 
But I'm now sad because now I have to work. Back in the day, chat, there are no runs to verify for the Ring Terror's Realm. I routed the game. I never had to work. It was great. And now, oh, speedrun.com, waiting for verification. And then, oh no. Hey, I know that feeling. I did that for I Have No Mouth and I Must Scream once. Chad, do you know at one point I had the world record for I Have No Mouth and I Must Scream? And I got on like my second run. And immediately got beat, but like I had it for a day. And that makes me base. <sighs> I see your girlfriend this week and make some Greek spaghetti. What is Greek spaghetti? How is it different from Italian spaghetti? Either way, it does sound good. Yeah, I found out that you didn't have to do all the extra shit. You just had to play, um, play as a uh, Nimdok. And then just, you know, take out Am. Which apparently nobody knew that but me somehow. I don't know how. Like, every playthrough I looked up, I was like, oh, to get the good ending, you have to do blank. On my end, I was like, okay, I'm gonna do this. Hey, I got the good ending. And then I apparently proved that's all you need. Sounds fun, though, in a Greek. I feel like I've heard about Mazurna Falls. I don't know what it is, but I feel like I've heard about it vaguely. That being said as well, though, Chad, uh, going back to, at least in terms of, like, games and possible favorites, depending on how you view a game, you're definitely gonna have a lot more input on it. Like, with Silent Hill 2, I think at the time I played it, I like it quite a lot because, uh, I don't know. I think being a young man, you look to a lot of things that relate to you, and... The game hits certain marks that I think many people can feel. I'm not saying that, you know, young men are idolizing James, it's just I think a lot of uh, people can quite very often see themselves in the perspective of trying to do the right decision, but not always hitting that mark. A flawed human being. I why people like flawed human beings, by the way, Chad. A lot of people want to do good, and they kind of can see many of these characters want to do good, but it doesn't quite hit that mark. Oh, fine enough. Uh, it was available on the limited run edition, Neoletta. Uh, at least they had it on, uh, they had the cutscene on a USB. Gotcha. Ah, oh, of course, Wonders. Of course. Gotcha. Oh. Hmm. God, I am sleepy. I'm gonna conk the fuck out tonight. Although, what will win, chat? Untold Dawn or Yu-Gi-Oh! Forbidden Memories? I kind of hope Untold Dawn wins. This game being too comfy. Well, this game's always been nice. Like, this game just reminds me of my childhood. I mean, playing games with my brothers. I was stay in bed working today. I want to go to bed right when I'm done. You're reading for until dawn? Oh, we'll see. Check him out right now. Are you doing Nightmare Tonight or ending on Sound Hill? Uh, ending on Sound Hill. Uh, Nightmare on Elm. Uh, sorry, Nightmare for Christmas is probably going to be, um, Sunday. Mizerna is made by human. Wait, Mizerna? Human? Are you guys talking about Twilight Syndrome? Bad plus. Standard any percent. Good times. 
For category, I'm pretty much picking either the category I ran or like, if I ran multiple, then probably my favorite category or category I feel like is what I would probably do. I'm not doing like the, oh, I do a 30 second speed on the category unless it's like, yeah. Just the games I have on voting are 55 hours. Good fucking lord. That's right, that means that counts as 55 games, right? Is it voting in the Discord? It is. And right now, I think Until Dawn is slightly losing to Yu-Gi-Oh. Yu-Gi-Oh fans might be winning. Then he shows actually the mother ending. Nice. I got weirdly decent at Silent Hill 4. I'm not good, but like... I have no idea as someone who quite literally never had any attachment to that game. I, uh... I have a decent time now. I don't know if I ever submitted, but I think I beat Bach at one point. Oh, it's until dawn. We shall see what wins. Harden the master. I definitely enjoy it. I aspire to be like the greats of Silent Hill 4, of the Latin American speedrunning community. I have an immense respect for the, uh, the LAN runners. You can't have that. Well, clear make battery acid. We talk about Galarians? Wait, are we talking about fucking Galarians? Love Galarians. Ever Shadows of the Dam? You can go for as many games as you want, by the way, chat. Where do we vote? I put it under, it's a channel called Schedule and Votes. And then normally it's like, there's a little icon of like an emote, you just add on to the number you want. I usually put it up like every Tuesday morning and then leave it to like Thursday night. And I don't know what's winning right now. And normally I have like more like casual games or new games or like reviving games. But considering we're doing every game I've ever done, now we're kind of doing the uh... What's the word? I'm putting all the longer games on that one because otherwise I have to find days to do that. So that makes sense. Hey, if we, we need something to vote for, why not vote for the long hauls? Yeah, you know what's kind of fun? I don't have to change my title on Twitch. I can just leave it every a uh, speedrun marathon every game I've ever done. Alright, one. Two. By five? Hey, we'll see. Then everyone's over you guys. I mean, the longer games that get taken out, they'll be ran twice. What do you mean? Oh. Oh. Well, all those longer games would be decently far away from coming up naturally. If the game comes up naturally, it won't go up. Like, I didn't add Alan Wake to that one because Alan Wake is, um... You know, it happened today. So if a game would come up naturally, I'll just do it. And for longer games, I'll make it voting. No, they're not gonna show back up. Like, once it's done, it's done. Like, uh, if Yu-Gi-Oh wins, it's not coming back later. If Until Dawn wins, it's not coming back later. Every game will happen once. It's a matter of, I kind of needed a way to have voting exist and solve meaning. So, deciding when we'll tackle some of the uh, tougher games, I thought would be a fun way of doing that. More immediacy and all that. RA6 all campaigns? Yep. RE6 isn't exactly uh, one speedrun, it's only four speedruns, and they're all 
pretty unique. Let's see. Yeah, I thought it'd be fun. But until dawn. Well, let's see what wins. All right, cool. Not doing bad though, man. I seen run until dawn. I haven't ran until dawn in a while. Oh shit, wrong way. Yep, that's why I, uh, I figure we do all endings. That makes sense, right? Wait, no, not all endings. All campaigns for RE6. Hey, you're allowed to vote for as many games as you want. And also, I'm making a ranked choice if shorter games happen. So we can tackle multiple long games in one stream, or I can just default to, like... Uh, oh, hold on. Do I keep going the wrong way? I don't know why. Uh, well, I'm probably because I'm tired, but... That's copium chat. Is it still worth the playthrough? Uh, but honestly, yeah. I, I think it is. Like, fucking, what, ten bucks these days? Have you buy it on sale? Yeah, buy it on sale. I don't have a hate boner for RE6. I played it, um... I played it back when it came out. Uh, well, I didn't really play it back. I have a story when it came out. But I ended up playing it solo, uh... Last year. And honestly, it's really not that bad. Does it have issues? Yes. However, I mean, all things considered, I have played much worse games, especially in the Resident Evil franchise. Like, as an actual game, it's really fun. It doesn't have a whole lot of flaws as a, as a game. A lot of its flaws kind of come in... Story beats. They come in, uh... I guess game design, I suppose. Pacing. Pacing is the issue. That's what I'm looking for. Like, as an actual game, it's a fun blend of action and horror. Like, you know, you have a good chunk of everything you kind of wanted. You have a lot more freedom in movement and hittings. You're not as rigid as the games prior, but RE6 is arguably the weakest mainline game. How can you say that when RE0 exists? about that one? Yep. You have a violence of this day? I'm just saying, like, if you want to bitch about the story of Resident Evil, I will absolutely bitch about RE0. Ah, yes. Rebecca can take down two tyrants, but she can't take down a single hunter. Why the fuck can't she take out a single hunter? It's because she's sleepy. I mean, I'm sleepy, but, like, I don't know, I feel like if I took down two tyrants, maybe a little bit more, like, I don't know, I feel like crushing an ant will be easy after that. You fought two fucking lions. Crush an ant. She's sleepy. Oh, of course. I want to mention Code Veronica kind of has um, a learning curve that's kind of a pain in the ass. I think Code Veronica really requires a subsequent playthrough to enjoy it. Or rose-tinted goggles. Good. Shit. I can't believe I'm fucking this up. I must never fuck this up. Got it. Use up all our ammo on those tyrants? Oh, of course. I'm pretending to be weak? How would being weak or well in the Spencer Mansion uh cause that? That's fun, Hero Duke Star. I like PS1 graphics a lot. My favorite part, by the way, is when people try telling me, oh, th that's a problem of Resident Evil 1. It's not an RE0 problem. It's like, no. RE1 came out in 1996 and had this plot point. RE0 should have adapted to that.
And I really slept all day in the Spencer Mansion. People say that? Yes, I had multiple people say that whenever I bitch about this. I don't know if she, like, my, the only logic is that she's sleepy. Like, I don't mind Rebecca being a badass, but how can she be a badass and then magically not be a badass? That, that's, that's my only problem. Like, I don't mind that she can take down two a tyrant single-handedly with her fist. Uh, I mind the fact that, why can't she do that to one hunter? That's awkward. That, that's fine. Ow. Uh, she does take down a boss in RA1, but that's about it. I feel like taking down a boss in RA1 should be more impressive than, like, at that point, the hunter should be easy, right? Oh, so I'm gonna have a buddy. Also, with RE6, okay, I can tell you my problem with RE6. RE6 doesn't need half of the fucking repeats it gets. By the way, I don't trust this run. Reset? No. I wanted to heal. Here, should I talk about RE6? I'm gonna do it right now. You know what RE6's fucking problem is? It, uh... Pacing. For what? I'm not even gonna go into some of the problems like the Leon chapter just having so many set pieces that don't need to exist. There's a whole chapter dedicated to Leon riding in a car, like, around, like, fog. I, I don't need to watch Leon, like, ride in a car for three fucking minutes. Turn that shit off. It is. More importantly, along in the pacing... Alright, here's the problem. And this is actually not even, like... I don't even mind the idea of Leon taking his sweet-ass time in the intro. What I mind is... Oh, hey, okay, let's go with the... Let's go with the Jake campaign, right? So, you play Jake. You're chilling. You have fun. Uh, oh, hey, you have a chapter. You have to fight the Ustanak. Uh, and then... Or, no, not the Ustanak. You have to fight the Gorilla Men, the Ogre Men. And you have to, like, work with Chris Redfield and Piers, and you're playing as Jake and Sherry. And then later, you play the J uh, the Chris campaign. And then, you need to fight the Ogreman with Jake and Sherry, but now you're playing as Chris. Why the fuck do I have to do that shit again? Like, I, don't make me redo the exact same fight from the other perspective. I really don't want to do that. I don't care about that. From their perspective, but you know how you can make that better? RA6 shouldn't be a campaign game. Or it shouldn't be a multi-campaign game. It should just be a multi-character game. Make it one really long fucking campaign. Like, I mean really long campaign. And then what you do is you have it take place during the game's major events and have it go in the chronological timeline. Or hell, if they want to jump around the timeline, they can fucking do that too. But the idea is... You know, you start early with one character, and then you go to the next available character, then how that would work. I don't know, I don't think that should be the case, because so that's my idea with it would be, instead of having it be, oh, you already play this chapter, what it should do is, oh, hey, okay, you're hitting this chapter. Who would you like to play as? And then you can pick either between Jake and Sherry, you can pick uh, Chris and Piers, you can actually decide who you want to pick. Sounds like a lot of padding of the game, which is weird because RA6 is by far the longest game, even without the, like, duplicates. Yeah, and that'd be really neat because then you could hop around like, oh, you start the game by playing as, uh, I don't know, have it start on, I think, Chris, right? He's the first one in the story. Uh, you have him going in the, um, the very early one, and then later you can have it be, uh, Jake, and then, you know, as you get into the story, you start getting Leon's part, you hop to Leon. And it makes a lot more sense that way. But instead, they kind of give you this bullshit where it's the, hey, you have to do everything. Hell, it would actually make some of the moments stick out a lot more, because then you would be getting the boss fights as they happen in real time, and then you can see what happens immediately without having to play the other campaign, and then forgetting, oh yeah, that happened. You can also still give every character their, you know, final boss phase. 
The only catch is I think Ado should remain the same. I think Ado's fine as this, because Ado's a solo campaign. It's meant to be a, hey, you know, this is what Ada's been up to. I think Ada should be entirely her own thing, which is fine. She's ready there right now. Well, clearly no check. Clearly, if they're going to remake any Resident Evil game, it's going to be Survivor. Come on. Come on, chat. They're bringing back Ark. A platform? PlayStation 1. Oh god, you dick. That ain't better than Survivor. You shut your mouth. Ark Thompson's the greatest man. He's Leon's best friend. How many characters in the Resident Evil franchise can say they're Leon's best friend? Not a lot of them can. Only Ark. Leon never mentions him. Ark doesn't need patronizing words. Although, unironically, <laughs> I'm pretty sure that they uh, they sent Le uh, they sent Ark to die on that island. <laughs> Leon got annoyed by Ark and told him, "Hey, Ark, I know this island uh, that's uh, has umbrella activity. You should go check it out." Then he knew that they were making tyrants there, so he hoped Ark would die. <laughs> Remake code Ronica? That's what a lot of people are saying. Which, by the way, I'm not... Alright. Code Veronica is a weird game for me. On first playthrough, the game's ass. Uh, upon thinking about it, I think the game's pretty good. And I speak Spanish? A little bit. Not a whole lot. I know enough, but, like, not a lot. I like how your problem is bats and not the fact that you can quite literally softlock yourself because the game decided to pull bullshit on you. Chat, my favorite part about Code Veronica was when I said out loud, Oh, hey, we're probably gearing up for a boss fight. I should go get a bunch of health. But first, let me grab the sniper rifle. And then I grabbed the sniper rifle. And then the game decided, hey, that's how you enter the boss fight. Like, what? Why? Why is that the way you go into the boss fight? Like, what the fuck is wrong with that game? Like, upon, re upon thinking about it, I like the game a lot. I really enjoyed the vibe. I enjoyed the aesthetics. A lot of the design choices are fun when they work, but the problem is, unless you know what you're doing, like, what the fuck? <laughs> like, it really shouldn't be that mean. I agree. Mm. All right, there we go. Mm. Oh, all right, we're good. Anyway, chat, anyone here see Resident Evil Death Island yet? Watch me the Steve fight. That was such a rough fight. It didn't have to be. I've got to open or save often. See, I saved often and I realized I fucked my resources. Mm. No? I got invited to the premiere, but I didn't want to go because it was far.
Where's the premiere? So, uh, I think it was like around Beverly Hills. Wait, chat, I could have listened to the Weezer song. Beverly Hills. That's where I want to be. I could have done it, chat. It was really dumb with cake. I fucking hated that fight. Like, I didn't have the health. And it was rough. Hi, like, Cabello. I hope you're doing good today. Like, that being said, upon, like, thinking about Code Veronica, I thought it was, like, everything was really cool. I like the story. I like what was going on. Ow. It just, in practice, is like, oh. Okay, this is rough. Hmm. Chat, I'm definitely hitting the sleepy, by the way. I can feel it. Runs on your favorite games. I mean, that's fair. I, I don't think it's bad at all if you like a Veronica. I like the game for what it's worth. In a crash after stream, I I'm probably gonna just knock the fuck out for a while. I think. Just conk out. Like a rock. Oh shit. Maybe. I mean, one of the only problems though is in many cases, not a lot of people realize that, uh, what's the word? Bad games don't get remade. Other remakes make new games. They're making Resident Evil 9. They're doing both. That, that, that doesn't quite work when they're quite literally doing both. Nothing wrong with that. I played Coveronic for the first time very recently. I'm doing remakes to do more new games. I mean, it'd be nice. He's doing his best. Chat, look, oh my god, Harry Mason. God, I can't wait to just haunt the fuck out. Sybil, wake up, snap out of it. Sybil, Sybil. I think RA, you know what, chat? RA Survivor doesn't need a remake. I don't think it does. Shh, don't talk. I'll take care of you. Oh, also, chat, let's go to the other end. Like, for the Silent Hill 2 remake, they're making like four Silent Hill games. One of them is a remake, three of them are original product. Like, we're getting a good amount of both, in all honesty. I don't think the remake thing's all that bad. It's perfect as it is. I mean, again, I don't ever really understand. That doesn't matter. Well, the protagonist be? It's still James. Oh, the Silent 2 remake. I, they're not changing that. Oh, yes, okay, just making sure. I thought you were talking about Silent 2. I was like, well, they don't really quite really care all that much on that end. You are correct, then, man, Mike. My apologies. Dude, oh, I'm excited about the uh, Silent Hill Ascension. Because they say that fans get to decide what's going on. Wait, is that Top Force? I think it's Ascension, right? The fans get to decide. So if enough of us talk about it, chat, in the ARG, we can make the foreskin theory real. Or is that Townfall? Which one? I don't remember. Townfall, right? It is Ryan Cola. They said fans get to decide what happens. I think if enough of us mention it, the foreskin theory can be real. They should make Silent Hills. They're making four Silent Hills. Haha, <laughs> I get it. Because it's multiple games. Why do they do turn like that? Oh, yeah, I don't fucking know. 
What is this theory? Uh, long story short, there was a, uh, the Sonten Hill wiki. There was a guy who named himself, uh, Alex Shepard, who kept, uh, arguing that Walter Sullivan was motivated by his foreskin getting circum a circumcision. So, yeah, he just kept pushing the theory on the, uh, the wiki, and it was, like, it was a whole thing. Yeah. But no, that's not by arguing, like, uh, I meant, like, yeah, he kept, like, editing the articles, and people were telling him, like, hey, cut that out. I was like, no, no, it's a theory, it works. Give it back. Yeah, probably session one. <laughs> that foreskin isn't or anything. No, I made a dumb video about Ethan's foreskin because they mentioned that he had Wolverine type powers. I thought it was funny to make the video. So. There we go. Anyway, I hope that helps. Yeah, they're making multiple Silent Hill games. If you mean, you know, the PT game, I don't really say I was going offline soon. I said I was going offline around Silent Hill 1 or The Nightmare Before Christmas. That was me, Phoenix. Forcing an excellent band name, you're not wrong. This is so awkward, what the fuck? Alright, that's fine. Good. Alright, chat, we're not doing bad. I think Lynx is hard to work, but which part? Oh, you mean for watching the YouTube videos? I mean, it's a video for later if you want it. It was during detention. I, I started my stream around detention. I said that was the five hour mark. I said normally I go to like, I said normally I'd probably finishing up around Silent Hill 1 or Nightmare or Christmas. Like at the bare minimum, my stream's gonna be eight hours. Alright, chat, we're, re we're rearing to the end of this game. All good. Yeah, I tend to go pretty long. It's hard to do as you get older. Yeah, sounds. I've been doing it for, uh. Three years now, I think. A little take is a thing. I have that. I'm really been feeling better, like, lately, really enough. How are we talking? It varies. I mean, like, the way I figured that was cake. All right, so this is my full time job, right? Like, you know, a full time job you do 40 hours. It makes sense. I do 40 hours here. Is that Bobby? The Bobby with a tier one for 13 months. Always good to see you, my friend. An absolute homie. Of all as well, Bobby. By the way, Bobby, I got someone in the mail. I can show you. Hope you're doing well though. How's the uh rest of the I, mean, I, I don't remember the name of it. It's the charity thing. I'll just say, I might be hopping into the, uh, some more fighting games soonish, soon TM. Here, I'll whip it out during the, uh, the final boss, or after the final boss. Yeah, to reserve all twice. That sounds about right. Hey, did your, uh, pull close for RE1 and, uh, oh god, yeah, that's fine. Oh, you're damn well, you're absolutely damn well. 
Yeah, anyway, that's the whole thing with my end. Like, I do long streams because, I, you know, I used to work the fucking 40-hour work week. So. That's one. Two. I don't think if I was working outside of Twitch, it would be more of a pain in the ass, but, like, for now, it really works. Although, I've definitely been uh, having a lot more cough drops lately. Helps my throat. I know my limits. Yeah, I try to keep that reasonable. I imagine things will change as, you know, get, getting older works. I'm trying to work out, um, well, like, I want to, you know, try to walk around more so I don't have to worry about sitting down as much. Let's see. All right, chat ready? Boom! <laughs> By the way. Oh. Sweet. 28, 20, 52. Daddy. GG's, GG's. Cheryl. Yeah, well, that's what's the beauty of this gig. I've kind of tailored my stream to where I can just play a bunch of different games. Hell, I've played, uh, how many games is that now? In 28 hours, I've done... Hold on. Number 15. 20, 24 games in 28 hours. Last 28 hours of streaming. 24 unique games. By the way, it's Hammer's Pots, because, uh, yeah. <sighs> yeah. I gotta post it on Twitter, obviously, Bobby. I wanna post it on Twitter. But, uh, I got it in the mail, I think, literally last night, or this morning. But, yeah, this morning. Carry. Go. Open it up. Oh, no, tomorrow's, uh, Thursday. Uh, it's me voting, so it's me one of the long games. Um. Is it a Halloween or Christmas movie? Christmas. Yeah, the night for Christmas is Christmas. Don't even let, don't let anyone tell you lies. I think an ape right now. How about the box? Sunday? Yeah. I'll attack the box yet. Yeah, I'll tell you about that right now, by the way. Hot take. Nightmare for Christmas? Christmas. I don't know, now I'm not custom parts and stuff. I don't want to know. How do you do the... You don't have to do the artwork? Because I have nothing about the one for artwork. It's on a shit post. I gotta find out how I want to do that. Why not both? It's a Halloween setting. They never celebrate Halloween. In the movie, they never celebrate. Like Halloween's oh, actually no, they never say they never celebrate Halloween in the movie. I'm proud badass. Yeah, check this out. I finally sprung, so I can enter my my fight, my actual decent at fighting game era. Unboxes. Watch every Halloween. Snack box? Damn right. The Sheener box, man. <laughs> Look at that. Boom, baby. Look at that. I gotta try it out with Bobby at GEQ and he talked me into it. So I'm excited, uh, excited to mess around with it. I gotta get a template for. That's not snackies. It's the junk. It's not, it's not a snack. It's a controller. It's called the Snack Box Micro. 3228, shit run, but you know what? Not that bad, all things considered. Yeah, I gotta post it on Twitter, though. Dude, Bobby converted me. I'll say it right now. Like, I absolutely got one. I gotta get some art for it, but, uh, I'll get that figured out. I know Chad Sano won. Pretty good stuff. I feel pretty good about that run. Can you eat it? I mean, you, I don't think it'll taste very good, Mars. I'm not gonna lie to you. <laughs> anyway. That was pretty good. You know, that worked out well. But, Chad, uh, I'll tell you what's going on right now. Oh, he does. He does. I was playing uh, Street Fighter 6 and I actually felt better playing a fighting game for once. 
So, honestly, not bad right there. We're doing some good stuff. And, chat, before we wrap it on up for the night, let me give you the breakdown. So. Alright, ready? Sound of, by the way, I can't show under Sound of one. It's either a low five out of five, a low like it's either a low S or high A, one of the two. It's it's definitely in the A range. Like it's good, it's a good game. Probably give it five out of five for speed run horror speed runs here. It's a good one. It's a classic. Anyway, chat, let us go over what has happened. Alrighty, chat, you've seen the splits here. Also, let me save my splits for the next. Uh, hold on, save splits. There you go. All right, ready? Hold on. All righty, chat. So if you don't know what I've been doing, this is what I've been doing. So we've ended today at 28 28 52. We have now done 28 hours of unique games. We have now beaten 24 games. Uh, once again, we've gone through quite a lot. Today, we started at Haunting Ground. Haunting Ground was rough last time, worked a lot better this time. I was quite surprised. We got the Quark Party pretty well. Five, uh, we had the meme block of four, uh, four silly games, are pretty sure, followed immediately by Alan Wake. Uh, and, and Attention. Attention was obviously pretty good. Silly games went quick. But yeah, we made good progress, made good headway on our games. Now, before the next stream, um, the next one's gonna be kind of weird because we're hitting our first real Thursday. Uh, Thursday is gonna be a voted on stream. So, the next game will not be the night before Christmas. It's actually going to be something in Discord, which will be voted on there. Uh, as well, you know, we ended on Sonal 1, so 24 games in 28 hours. I did fuck up on a few games. Uh, notably, Sonal the Arcade went bad, Dead Rising went bad. I mean, a few went bad in general. I guess you can say Nightmare on Elm Street went bad, but like... So far, we're making good steam. Uh, but yeah, tomorrow's game is going to be one of the long hauls. We're going to be putting in work. Uh, it's going to be one of the really long ones. Uh, and let's see, right now, it looks like Yu-Gi-Oh! Forbidden Memories is winning. We might have to face one of the meanest games on our list. So, that might be brutal, chat. Or Until Dawn can win and we get a pretty chill day. Pretty much, Until Dawn's a chill day. Yu-Gi-Oh! Forbidden Memories is a rough day. So, what kind of day do you want a Dices to have? A good day or a bad day? <laughs> So, that's a good way of putting it. Anyway, chat, that being said, I...